Good evening, everybody. How's everyone doing tonight? Thank you all so much for being here. I uh, I know I'm going against the State of the Union, so that's uh, that's a thing. <laughs> so thank you all for deciding that be uh, beavers, virtual beavers, uh, are more important than the, the State of the United States. You know, um, and if you're not from the U.S. and you <laughs> more chair now, <laughs> you decided a chair is better than the State of the Union. So you know, thank you. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so we're gonna be playing a little bit more Timberborn again tonight, and today I want to. Uh, <laughs> Today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to build some big infrastructure. So we'll have to see how it how it works. Chairs, the chair might be done. I might I might have uh, commissioned um, a new background. We'll see. We'll see how it works. We'll see how it works. It'll either be for stream or it'll be for master plan music. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> yeah, well, the State of the Union's an it, it's an uh, State of the Union is interesting right now. I, I'm so I'm from Wisconsin. It's a purple state. And as a result, we are just about to get slammed with political ads up until November in a way that is just absolutely miserable. So, yeah, it's a certain it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a thing. The State of the Union address is always theatrical. So I'm not sad to miss it. Um, I will catch the, the highlights afterwards. Florida's crazy like that, too. Yeah, it's basically any any state where it's like 50, 50, 52, 48, whatever you end up with, with that. When I lived in California and Colorado, it was certainly a lot less to the point that you kind of felt ignored sometimes. So yeah, you're on here to, uh, you're, you're all on here to avoid it. You're from Georgia. Yeah, I get, I get imagine you would get Ohio, Georgia, Pennsylvania, uh, Michigan, any of those states. Yeah, just a mess. So <clears throat> you're in Massachusetts and no one bothers you. Yeah, not the, the same, same thing as, is, uh, as some of the other states. So yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to take a break from politics and play video games. I'd much rather do that. So thank you all so much for uh, joining me tonight. So the first thing I want to do is figure out what beer we're drinking. And then as I'm opening my beer up, I'll, uh, I'll ask where you guys are from. It's a it's a lighter crowd tonight, which makes sense. <laughs> we're going against the president. So <laughs> uh, we have two choices. Uh, let's see. We're going to go with the Rasputin or... Chief Blackhawk. Chief Blackhawk is from Lake Mills, Wisconsin. And I don't know, oh, North Coast. Where's North Coast? Uh, Fort Bragg, California. So I'm going to leave a poll on Twitch and you guys can help me figure it out. So give me just one second and I will cue that up. Why not both? I mean, you never know. I'm, I'm, I, uh, I changed some camera settings. So now... You guys, oh no, oh no. I think I just really screwed up. <laughs> <clears throat> so I have a button. I have a button, which is basically a kill switch to my main camera. And I haven't figured out how to stop that yet. So I'm gonna try to get this fixed. Give me one second. Yes, that's, this is what I was worried about. <laughs> I am going to put the room camera on for a second while I fix this. So basically the issue is that it believes <laughs> it's fancy broken base uh, uh, or broken. Basically the issue as I see it is that it believes that the lens is disconnected. So I have to reconnect it if I inadvertently hit that button. So give me, give me one second guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's almost working. <laughs> oh. Whew. So uh, that's the joy of live. Everything can get screwed up all the time. And uh, stuff will just get screwed up because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> Back to the beer poll, and for some reason, you're now seeing my light bar, and yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be, it's gonna be one of those nights, I guess. <laughs> All right, back to the poll. I need that beer, so you guys are gonna have to help me out. Um, which beer? Old Rasputin 
want to spell this right. I want to spell this right. It's a whole lot less complicated than it might seem. <laughs> and the Chief Blackhawk. Uh, and I should kind of explain what they are. So the Chief Blackhawk is a porter. Old Rasputin is an Imperial Stout, a Russian Imperial Stout. So both very good options. I think I couldn't go couldn't go wrong with either. Now I am I am just bothered by the way that this looks right now. <laughs> you can say go for the stout. That's uh, I'm gonna do one thing. Now you guys get really close to me and blurry, so that's cool too. I mean we've got lots of things going on. Um, fix it. I'm, I'm I'm trying to fix it. I'm trying to fix it while the pole's going on. Can't tell. Does that look better? Don't let perfect get in the way of good. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm totally going for perfect and screwing everything up. <laughs> so it's it's 50 50 guys. It's within one vote right now. Old Rasputin's winning by 10. So if you have channel points and you want to spend them, you can sway the vote. All you got to do is drop 50 and your beer of choice wins. Chief Blackhawk is pulling away. And it wins. And it's, my chair contributed, so city planner chair thank you <laughs> and to that i will say bottoms up salute enjoy if you're drinking a beer tonight yes very good cheers so where is everyone from tonight let's start on twitch but youtube if you're hearing this tell me because you're 15 seconds behind you buy batch you buy votes every time you lose Anaheim, DC, Cleveland, Boise, Pittsburgh, Georgia, Portland, Denver, Indianapolis, Toronto, Utah, Georgia, South Bend, uh, Saskatchewan, Slovakia. Oh, it's late for you. Thank you for being here. Budapest, Perth, Golden, Colorado, Florida, Seattle, Montgomery, Reno, Georgia, Kentucky, Earth. That's a good place to be. Calgary, Mexico, California, near near Anaheim, Germany. Um. Murfreesboro, Ireland, again, late for you. So thank you for being here. Northern British Columbia, Sydney, Australia, Florida, Twin Cities, Panama, Germany, Vermont, Philly, the Netherlands. Thank you all so much. I should be providing the beer. Uh, I, no, you think Southpaw should be? I think I should be providing beer. To anyone who's willing to be up at that time of day, it's wild. Thank you so much. And a Green Bay and a Madison. Gotta love that too. YouTube. Let me see where you guys are at. Texas, Central Illinois, Minnesota, Wyoming, v Vietnam. Funky Town, Australia, Australia again, uh, DMV, which I believe is DC. This came up before and I screwed it up. Hamburg, uh, Texarkana, Memphis, Grand Junction, Baltimore, New Zealand, Portugal, Atlanta, Vancouver, Green Bay, uh, Caledonia, New Zealand again, North Carolina, Danish guy living in Florida. Thank you for being here. Buenos Aires. Buffalo, Montreal, North Carolina, Puerto Vallarta, beautiful. Montreal, Riverside, Pennsylvania, Texas, Alberta, Canada, Ch Chechnya, Ottawa, Chicago, Billy Dilly, and Jamaica. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you all so much. Yes, DMV is DC, Maryland, Virginia. I always forget that one. <laughs> so before we get to the game, though, I, I want to give you guys one more opportunity to uh to get the save file for my one tile challenge so the one tile challenge actually let me, well, i'm gonna i'm gonna pull it up real quick so we'll get we'll get give me one second basically i decided to do a one tile challenge everyone's done a one tile challenge but i wanted to do a real one tile challenge where you actually have one tile so uh i decided to take the corral reaches map and modify it get rid of all the infrastructure and have just one actual tile so if you play on this it's going to be you and your single tile so give me just one second i'm going to pull it up and ooh, i'm almost crossing a thousand hours in city skylines too i don't i don't know if i should be uh i don't know if i if i should be impressed by that or not <laughs> but we're gonna roll with it And let's see you tried you tried and it's hard yeah so i'm gonna paste the link real quick in both youtube 
and Twitch. This, it's an installer. If you take this and you run the installer, you'll be able to play it just as I'm playing it on my machine. So you have one hour and the goal is to get the highest population out of anyone that plays. And so I want you in the comments to go ahead and you'll need to go through and do this and ignore that one. I screwed up and I missed the timer, so I have to redo it. So that's a, that's a, that's a fun one. But yes, this is one tile, one real tile, not nine tiles, one tile, one road going to the tile, a little bit of coast on a map that has no snow. So it's Smallville. Yes, it should be a it should be a really fun one. So I, I encourage you to give it a shot. It's uh, it's really challenging. I mean, there's some significant issues that you're going to have trying to keep it within this one tile. I mean, just reasonably check this out. <laughs> it is a. So uh, this is a uh, what 700 meters across less than 600 meters by 600 meters. So I'm not sure what you can get in there, but give it a shot. Yeah. So this is a, uh, <laughs> you guys might be renaming the video at this point. I'll just have to call this the Sim City challenge. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. That's what we're going to do. It's about the size of Tropic Utah. Yeah. It, 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 so I think it is going to be a really fun challenge. I just think it's going to be because progression is still enabled on this you have to do a little bit of cheese to be able to get to higher density so yes what about building a college town well i i think that if you place the college on this map it would take up a good chunk of it <laughs> so be a little bit of a problem so yeah anyway i encourage you to give it a shot and uh yeah we'll uh we'll have to see we'll have to see who uh who wins in the meantime I'm going to start loading up Timberborn. Just give me just one second. And then we'll we'll go through a refresher. If you guys recall, if you just college town, no town. Yeah, just just college, no town. So if you can get to skyscrapers, I think that you'll you'll be able to do really well. The problem is the low density residential demand is going to be nuts. Uh it's it's a coral riches but modified it's it's yeah so no we're not doing we're not doing cs2 tonight we are doing timberborn in fact i will remind it's a good reminder to change this to timberborn in our category there we go and i will give you guys all a brief refresher as to where we left off at the end of the last stream so we were building points Webcam at 480p. Is it? Does it look bad? <laughs> Nothing I can do about it right now. <laughs> oh. I see it looks really bad on YouTube. Or maybe that's just not what I'm seeing. I'm not sure. Um, anyway, so we were building this. We ended up expanding our population, tripling it. We have almost 90 beavers at this point. 80, 80, what, 85 actually? And we have a pretty big colony at this point. We have the ability to do a little bit of everything. We've got a lot of electricity. We're starting to produce. Uh, we have a centrifuge available. We aren't doing anything with it. And we almost killed the entire colony by running out of food. So that was where we left less than 700 food. And we've got plenty of water, but we haven't really set up a reservoir system. And we are a uh, half a day away from a bad water tide. So, yeah, we, we're in a rough spot right now. Cinnamon uh, Havana, yeah, right before bad water cycle. Uh, webcam is fine. Watch on YouTube. Yeah, I don't know what's uh, what's going on. Hopefully it's hopefully it's okay for everyone on Twitch. <laughs> Either way, I'm gonna try to remember. At this point, we need to try to remember. Oh, we just had a hype train. I'm sorry, I've missed all of the activity because I got so distracted by the camera. So before we we start this, I do want to thank everyone. Thank you so much for the hype train, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, let's see. Damon, thank you so much for that for resubbing with your prime. Uh, Ty Balls, thank you so much for the bits. Mets, thank you so much for the prime. Crappens, thank you so much uh, for the prime. And Lola Bug, thank you so much for the tier one resub for four months. I appreciate you. And his thirty, thank you so much for the prime as well. Trapper Zero, thank you so much for the tier one for four months as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, so yes, this game is in early access. Uh, it's there's, it's been wild. They they are not. What's been wild to me is that they keep adding content that they reasonably probably could charge for. 
fairly easily. Um, so I wanted to remind myself of what's going on here. What I think we're going to do, we built this right before we ended. We're probably going to close this up and close that up. I'm going to pause this for a moment because I want to... Let's load this up as much as we can with water. And then as soon as the bad tide hits, we're going to close this one and this one. And that should divert all the bad water around our settlement. And we'll lower this one right here as well. Uh, you need to find, Phil, a game, uh, uh, a chair-themed game. If you find a chair-themed game, I will play it. <laughs> Sitting simulator. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Several of the major updates could have been 5 to 10 on a DS DLC. Completely agree. I, I think that the Timberborn developers, uh, if, if you're going to do early access... This is the way to do it. Like, this is the way to do it and make people like you anyway. Musical chair simulator. <laughs> what uh, what do you say when the when the when the bad water tide hits? Damn, that's right. <laughs> All right, we're spilling over here, which is fine. There's the bad water. Let's close it up. Close up shop. I am gonna open this one because why not? And then we'll open this one up as well. And honestly, that should do really well for us. Except for right here. Actually, oh, shoot. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. It wasn't finished. It wasn't finished. Okay. <laughs> Just in time. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, Chairs and Benches DLC when for City Skylines 2? That's the next one. <laughs> it's going to be my favorite one. Wait, there is a legitimate chair simulator? Oh, boy. You guys are going to make me look. I shouldn't. I shouldn't look. I shouldn't look. I'm going to I'm gonna drop this down a little bit. I'm wondering if we can get... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I can't. That's... If we had one more set of floodgates right here, we could have filled this all up as well. And we definitely should have done that. Also... We've got plenty of water. I should turn all these off. So let me turn this stuff off. And then I've got to look at this. You see that there's a chair simulator on, on Steam? I've got to look. So we'll leave those ones off. Let's see. This is it's four and a half days. I think we're going to be just fine. I'm not, I'm not overly concerned. Okay, hold on. Uh, store. <laughs> chair simulator oh my goodness it's free welcome to chair simulator, chair simulator. Chair simulator. pick from 14 your characters character. <laughs> it has very positive reviews i mean i feel i feel like i feel like we have to get it <laughs> So yeah, we've added that to the library. Welcome to Chair Simulator. Chair Simulator. Uh, what else? Chair Simulator. Chair Simulator. What? Wait, there's two. So, oh. This one, you are the chair. <laughs> there's, a, there's an ad on Twitch. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone on Twitch. Uh, we are going to add this one as well. <laughs> I don't know why anyone would play these, except that they're they're they must be amazing. So apparently this game is similar to Untitled uh, Goose Game, which I love. So we are we're gonna do that. And let me see, do I have to install it? I should. Let's see. Uh... Chair Simulator. I will bite. I will bite. This might be the very first time these games were played on Twitch, and we're doing it. <laughs> yes, I am. I am super sidetracked. Uh, we're we're good. We're installing those games. We uh we are going to do it uh, because City Planner Chair needs us to. So, uh, in the meantime, <laughs> we have our, our little colony, and we're we're actually improving on pretty much everything. It seems like so. 
since nothing matters right now, we're just kind of waiting for the bad water tide to pass. I've got a couple of ideas on what we could do. So the first is we could try to cap this right here. And uh, basically, we could build one of these bad water rigs, which would allow us to collect bad water from this closed source and turn this entire area into a clean water supply. So that's something that we could do. Uh, <laughs> you just picked up timber water two days ago and it's consuming your life. It will. <laughs> um, so that is one thing that we could do. The other option is we could come back here and we had this whole idea to basically reroute the river uh, only during a bad water tide, basically make it turn around right here and leave the map. We'd have to do it right here and then maybe even right here, basically loop these back around to leave. And then during normal tides, we open it up and maybe even add a whole bunch of levees to raise this up to have a lot of water. So I guess I'm curious to know uh, what you guys think. And does it ever go below 20? I don't, I don't know that it has. And I, truthfully, this game is worth every dollar. The amount of time that the developers have put into it, it's amazing. I did pick up a couple of copies of, of Timberborn, though, and I put it in the Discord um, under the giveaway. So that's the way to get it. The Mega Infrastructure Project, I, I think that's the way to go, too. We also need some research for this. So, yeah, we might, might, we might go straight for this project. Problem is, we can't really do much with it right now short of remove some of these trees. Actually, we could start to build the levee around here. So I think, why don't we, I'm going to do something fairly foolish. Let's get rid of all that. <laughs> uh, we should be able to start building our levee then. And I didn't realize that in the newest update of uh, Timberborn, you're able to basically go wherever you want. It's just really inefficient. So Vainglorious Gaming taught me that. So I appreciate that. Uh, were those ads? Is the chair simulator? Uh, the chair simulator is a go for tonight. We're gonna build. We will. Uh, we will build. And I'm. I'm. I'm totally happy to switch gears. I'm. I'm a little nervous, but all those positive reviews can't be bad. <laughs> and I mean, at that point, the State of the Union will be well underway. And anyone who, uh, you know, doesn't want to watch the chair simulator can go check that out. <laughs> oh, Timberborn was at 14 bucks on Epic. That's a heck of a deal. If you can get, if you can get it for 14 bucks, I'd say go for it. <laughs> the new patch for Cities 2 turns all the citizens into beavers, but it's still an agent-based game, so it's excellent. Let me talk to you. Transportation in this game is wildly efficient, so it's great. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing that we're going to need, and I can see it already, is some more storage. Honestly, I'd love to unlock some of the, the larger storage. Uh, and for, let me think. So for the levees, that's just wood. So having all the wood right here would be helpful anyway. It renders their teeth. <laughs> Yeah, this is uh this is we we make 15 minute cities. They're all very walkable. We render all the teeth. Um <laughs> No wood for those trees. All right, bad water tide has ended. So we'll open it. Well, I'll, I'll let this clear out. We got to let it we got to let it all wash out. I was getting a little excited there. I have a tendency to do that. Uh, let's see, wood and a path. And let's see, I also, let's see, we've got our explosives, they're going. I think we're gonna need those. We've got, we've got this going too. So we've got our extracts. That means that we can make bigger explosives. So that was something we were looking for last time. So we've un we haven't unlocked them yet. So we'll unlock the dynamite and the double dynamite. And the triple dynamite, because we've got to have them all. And, oh, I love the excavator so much. I love it. I love it so much. Probably shouldn't go for it. No public transit. <laughs> I, yeah, I'll, I, the swimming is public transit. <laughs> all right, so. We're going for it. I think... 
We'll just start a path going down. So I know that we need to get over here to block this off. So I'll just, we'll just, yeah, we'll send it straight down this way. Oh, and I just love that I can go anywhere now. That, that was always the biggest issue that I had in Timberborn is you have to start a brand new colony. And I, I understand it's super inefficient to do what we're about to do, but I don't care. <laughs> so I base this, this part is going to be just turning it around. So we'll go with something like this. The river is a super duper highway. I completely agree. Uh, what is one thing that you had to learn in school but never used in actual life? Oh, boy. So many things. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think. What, which, which one is the, the big one? Um, I would say I learned a lot. So because I was an undergrad for planning, which is pretty unusual, most people in, in grad school for planning have absolutely no experience in planning. Uh, so they, they end up with like just the, the super basic courses, which is totally cool. And I guess know that if you end up wanting to go into planning, you can totally you can totally do that with any type of undergrad degree. Um, but if you've had it, you don't need you don't need all those courses. So they let me take whatever I want as my electives. And I decided to take a bunch of engineering courses. And for one of those courses, they made me go to Boulder and sit at an intersection and just count cars. And it was, oh man, it's an hour of counting cars at a busy intersection with a clicker. And I, I thought at the time, this is gonna be a really important part of my world. This is what, this is what engineers and planners do all day. And then I got to be a real planner and I realized, actually, <laughs> we uh, we get data from uh, we get big data from like Inrix and, and different sources like that that actually source cell phone data, and that is is how you actually count cars now. Nobody's going out there with clickers. That's that's super old school. So yeah, <laughs> but that, that's the thing, Mark. It, it's unpaid labor if it's useful. I wasn't doing anything useful. I was just. I was sitting in a lawn chair, counting cars, having people stare at me going, what's he doing in our neighborhood? I don't know why he's doing this. I had my safety vest down, but I, I, I think I certainly looked sketchy. I looked out of place and uncomfortable. <laughs> and it was a very busy intersection. It's like a Yakuza side mission. <laughs> beaver fact, they can hold their breath for 15 minutes. I want more beaver facts. So if you guys have more, just drop them down there. <laughs> Anyone can buy a safety vest. That's true. My my wife actually basically bought a safety vest for running. So <laughs> where where if you're mode? Oh no no no. Let's see. Uh, uh, Dudingus, you are uh, you're trapped. What did you do? Why did you do this? You didn't need to do this. There was other ways. Oh, there's just no way to fix this easily ah uh, why'd you have to do this to me dude ingus okay we're gonna we're, we'll try to speed this up confused i'm confused too um the city planner chair i don't know if that's a real fact or a fake one <laughs> that's uh that's uncomfortable they're used in imitation vanilla. <laughs> I hope that's not the they, they mate for life. That sounds a little more reasonable. <laughs> uh, did you listen to Counting Blue Cars by Dishwalla when doing your job? That's the that's the fun thing about doing. Oh, whoa, whoa! There's oh a bunch God. of beavers. Imperial Jedi's out there, and he's 43, and he's abandoned, oh along with Max. Oh boy. We got to get Jedi out of there. We can't leave Jedi behind. My uh, my 5B1C uh, brethren right there. That's not good. Beavers are the largest rodent in North America. I'll have to tell my my my, uh, my father-in-law that. He's actually dealing with a legitimate beaver issue right now. So. <laughs> oh, I 
hope Jedi's not in here. I, I don't think he is. If if he is, I feel real bad. Oh, and look at this. They're taking a break. Jedi's up here, starving to death. And they decided to go to bed and not finish his staircase. I don't even know if he's gonna make it back to to get to get food. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So much distraction. Uh well, we're about to whoa. I can't believe I just did this. I forgot to lower these. As a result, we're not doing anything. Oh my goodness. Guys, what's going on here? <laughs> Gotta turn these back on. We're about to run out of water. I'm worried about Imperial Jedi, who he's gonna get out of there and not have any water out here. So, oh my goodness. This is, I've gotta pay more attention. Gotta pay more attention. <laughs> All right, I think the water should be running. There we go, lower it down. And here, whew, that was bad. That was that was really really bad guys i died oh no you know what if i die that's the right way to go old age that's it that's that's how i want to go it's 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 a lot better than uh what fate Je uh, jedi almost had apparently got out so we're, we're good we're good crisis averted now the real question is how do we build the rest of this stuff? So we'll have to build some scaffolding. Ooh, not that. <laughs> um, oh, we got the turn really early. I think. I think we'll do something like this. We'll go up here. And I'm going to go around the back side because then we can hit this side too. I think it'll I think it, I think it makes the most sense. But I'm gonna I, I will give that a shot. I will build this scaffolding and then we're gonna do it. Because we can't have another situation like that. That was that was not good. Uh that should yeah, this should do it right here. Okay. Now I wonder that priority thing, if that's gonna be resolved in an update someday, or if that's just like Oh, shoot. If that's just the way that they want the game to work. It's not a big deal either way. But if they didn't do that, that'd be cool too. <laughs> when everything's prioritized, nothing is. Exactly. That's, yes. <laughs> and that's the world that I live in. But yeah, I'm, I think we'll prioritize all of our scaffolding. Because if we've got our scaffolding, you should be able to get out. So yeah, this, oh, oh we'll, we'll prioritize that, I guess, as well. <laughs> okay, very good. Uh, I could just, oh. Oh, you know, you know, Jay-Z Schaefer, that makes way too much sense. <laughs> yeah, that, I, if I could get them on top, then I wouldn't have to worry about any of this, right? This is the way, okay. All right, I'll bite. I'll bite. I like when people are more efficient than me. So let's see what we can do. Uh, something like this. And then up three and one more. Oh, one more. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's great. That <laughs> that makes so much more sense. And in fact, then we could do something like this. Just to get this thing done. And then over here, we'll do the exact same thing. We're going to obviously... Uh, this is We're going to have some levees right here uh, to, to get past this. But for now... There we go. And then we don't even need this. This is a waste. Okay. Guys, I think that I think that you guys are nailing it right there. So the only thing that I'm a little concerned about 
so we're making this big so we're basically making this big bad water catching contrap contraption um or big levy we almost need two different layers of this which i have i wasn't really contemplating uh youtube keeps buffering weird i was having so i had problems maybe this is totally separate but i was having problems with all my google devices today so like behind me i have a, a google home and it started disconnecting along with my nest thermostat so i don't know if google's having issues today or, or what the case may be or maybe it's my internet and i'm i'm making all of you <laughs> have a bad time there's a beaver on the oregon flag for now <laughs> they better not remove the beaver from the oregon flag oregon or oregon gone it's the single most exciting thing about Oregon. That is not true. <laughs> from, every, from everything I hear, anyone who anyone who experiences Oregon, Oregon, one of the two, <laughs> loves it. Although I hear that the different halves of the state are dramatically different. Oregon. Oregon. Not, say, Oregon. So here's the thing. We have a suburb. You guys have Milwaukee spelled wrong. We have Oregon uh, uh, pronounced incorrectly. Oregon. Oregon is Wisconsin. Oregon is the state. <laughs> I will just... The Oregon. Okay, Oregon. All right. You're starting, you're starting school at uh, OSU this fall. Go Beavers. Ah, oh, congratulations. What uh, what program are you going in for? You live in Oregon and it's the uh, and it's uh, it's good for the most part. Eastern Oregon is the best. That's that's it's very that's very rural, which I like rural areas. I like cities too. I like I like a little bit of everything. I it, I've never I I've, I've been to Washington and I lived in California, but I've never actually been to your state. Uh I should visit Wyoming with my family. Oh man, I have I have uh, battle scars from Wyoming, from planning in Wyoming. <laughs> so <laughs> that is a uh, that is something that I I could do. <laughs> a couple of people I went to college with ended up moving to Bend. Um, a whole group of them, they love it there. You grew up in Portland, Michigan, not far from Charlotte. I was watching this channel. And he was going over all of the weird place names in the Midwest. Um, what is it? Mileage Man? Mileage Man? I want to say it. That's what it would. That's. Hold on. If I can, if I can find this, I would highly recommend him. Uh, YouTube. Hold on. Oh, I found this guy. <laughs> Did you guys ever look that guy up? He is a wild cat. Um, I'm live. Cool. And of course, I'm not going to be able to find this guy now. Uh, but wherever the case, he's a geographer. Oh, hold on. I'm going to see if I can find him because it's such a good channel. I got stuck on it last night. Uh, and I want you guys to get stuck on it too. So give me one second. I just subscribed to him. So it should be easy enough to find. So this guy, basically he's been going around the U S and Canada by car. Okay. Okay. Mileage Mike. That is his name. So I'm going to drop a link to him. Mileage Mike. After the stream, go check him out. He is awesome. So just lots and lots of uh, different interesting geography things. And uh, yeah, so I dropped the link in there. This is this is the oh. I'm on a different computer and it's not working as a result.
Right here, civil engineer, full-time traveler, and he took some time to just travel around the U.S. I watched this video where he traveled around the Midwest, learned some interesting things, tried some food, thought it was really good. So uh, you watch uh, Parker Parker in South Dakota, you watch uh, Mileage Mike all the time. It's awesome. Definitely. Uh, the other nice thing is I think some, I like channels where I can kind of put them on in the background too. And Mileage Mike is definitely one of those channels where you can just like listen to the video get some interesting facts he's got a really soothing relaxing voice uh you've been subscribed for months yeah definitely he's, he's a time traveler he's awesome he's awesome so definitely check him out anyway we're still doing this <laughs> um ad break on twitch so i want to thank uh uh, add in Termax for the Prime and JPM uh, 6210. Thank you so much for the resub, uh, for Prime resub. Three months. Appreciate you. Uh, if if you happen to be uh, a Prime sub like this or a sub of any kind, enjoy ad free and make sure you hop on the Discord. Uh, is the oh yeah the food is depleting fast, isn't it? Um, make sure you hop on the Discord. We have access to videos early and saves and lots of other fun stuff. So I wonder, I wonder why we have only berries. So we have garbage food and we've, okay, hold on. I think we need to focus on harvesting. So that's something that I, you, you let's see. This one is harvesting, harvesting. Uh, we'll do harvesting on that one and, and maybe prioritize with haulers. Avid ad hater. <laughs> Bad water's coming too. Totally missed all of this. So we're going to take a break. Take a quick second and breathe. <laughs> so this is also, this is going to complicate things. We've got to make sure that our beavers are calming down. Oh, there's no way to stop it. Oh, wait, wait. There is. There is. I will just... Get rid of these paths temporarily. And hopefully that'll prevent them from... Maybe they can clear the trees a little bit. Oh, shoot. There's beavers down there. Right? No, 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 no. Yes, there's one. Can they get out? Okay. They're out. Let's close up shop. And... Okay. Okay. Okay, we should be we should be fine. Uh, build the newer fields need storage. D d oh 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 oh! Yes, they do. Oh, that's the problem. That is one hundred percent the problem. There is no storage over here. Okay, hold on. Let's get this let's get this taken care of, and then we'll switch gears and we'll work uh, on that for a while. Okay. And we've got that loaded up there and we'll drop it down here. There we go. There we go. Safe. We're safe. So this is only four days. So this was our problem, I think. You're, you're spot on there. So I don't know where they're going to store food way over here. That's way too far away. Let's... We have a large warehouse. Maybe I'll do something. Nah, this is going to be super ugly if I put it up there. No, I'll, I'm going to I'll put it over here. It's not super close, but it's close enough. Um, honestly, I, I just kind of I, mean, I don't love that either. I think we might just clear part of this field. Truthfully, we can we can just get rid of a little bit. Uh, what map? Yeah, this is the lakes map. It's one of the beginner maps. Yeah, it's it's a good map. It's a good map. I like it. Uh, you have, you actually have a current playthrough on this exact exact map. Yeah. So, uh, Vainglorious Gaming, that's who we raided in the last stream or after the last stream. 
also working on this, and it was fascinating to see how efficient uh, Vainglorious' setup was. Wildly more efficient than what I'm up to. <laughs> um because i basically he had everything divided up into perfect grids and it was just i wish i wish that i could i could i could do that <laughs> just can't uh you think you're probably gonna try this map for your next playthrough wash in the uh, wash in the wind it's a it's a tough one to start out on because there's not a lot of wood but once you get past the beginning there's a ton of fertile ground if you play your cards right there's so many different paths to to adjust so yeah you haven't played release five so you're due this this has been a blast i've really enjoyed this one uh the update i mean the bad water update it's just been awesome like going from we have oh, i hate that i hate that so much hold on this is gonna be i'm gonna get super extra with it but we're gonna we're gonna go for it um I want it to look nice now. So I'm going to get rid of a whole bunch of resources. And we're going to blow some stuff up. Because why not? Uh, is there a tutorial for this game? Um, I mean, I would just say there's a lot of YouTube videos that go over it. It's, it's, it's not that hard. Um, I think that getting, getting your first colony to, to, to operate isn't hard. Getting your beavers happy is hard. The in-game tutorials are super basic stuff, Batch. Yeah, the update, it, it, it is a big change. It's a huge change. Yes, I can't wait to blow this stuff up. <laughs> We're just going to start blasting everything because I, I just want it to look nice. Uh, let's see. So I'm thinking, oh, actually, I can just go right over the top of these. I don't need to wait for clearing. And then we're going to tuck them behind here really nicely. Make it look great. And then we'll have some nice pads going to it. Oh, it's going to be lovely. It's going to be wonderful. You know what, Batch? I don't want to hear that. <laughs> so Batch already unlocked Iron Teeth. And uh, we are not. Any, I, I still haven't done it. I'm 15 away. And uh, we're not we're not anywhere close. I should probably focus on some of these other other uh, foods. I mean, the spatter dock's pretty easy. We could have wheat. Yeah, something. I missed something funny. <laughs> City planner chair. How did you end up with kids? <laughs> yeah, I haven't unlocked iron teeth yet. It's my shame. Uh, it is, uh, I don't know how I, so I know how I didn't do it. So basically, I never think about the happiness of my beavers. And I think more about my own happiness and wanting a gigantic colony in a huge apartment of, of beavers. So we've done that. And that's how I, I rapidly expanded this monstrosity and just kept it going up and up and up and up. And you guys convinced me that we needed to give them a dance hall and make them somewhat happy. But... It's, it's certainly not a huge priority of mine. <laughs> All right. I let a little bit of water out to try to get these fields working again. And it's making me realize just how much we need another dam over here. Because if we had that, this wouldn't have happened. Oh, we have one right here. It's just too big. All right. We finally get to blast some stuff blow some stuff up boom and boom love it <laughs> all right i'm just gonna put a bunch of storage over here oh that's 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 so much better and potato uh, it's draining. Oh shoot! You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I never turned the pumps off because I got I got I got surprised. That was all, and I got a whole bunch of pumps. So I, I reasonably these just can't be here. This is a terrible spot for them. Um. Oh. Uh. So this makes me think. Once we have our bad water trap done, 
maybe we just turn this into our reservoir. This would be an easy one once we had this all uh, all set up. <laughs> Make the river deeper. Oh, I like your style. I got to change the dam then, but I like your style. That is, that is awful smart. How much extract do we have right now? 20. Not very many. How do we not have more? Hmm. Probably lack of power. Um, it's a good idea to make your rivers and reservoirs uh, big squares. Yeah. I do kind of want to just like square it off a little bit. Let's okay. We've got this going. Let me lower everything. Let's see. Is it, are we are we clear? We're clearing out. Um. So I'll get them going again. Uh, once we can open this again, though, I'll just get it running, and then we'll start to we'll start to set up some explosives because I think that we need them. Our foods our foods looking better again. All right, wow, this thing is hold it's already holding the bad water back and kind of creating a problem for us. That is not what I intended to have happen. I think we can send the yeah, if we can hopefully that clears it up. Man, it look at that. It's just holding it all back. What a mess. <laughs> I created a mess. Hopefully this doesn't contaminate things too much. It'll be fine. There we go. Um, you need an update on the dancing. Well, no one's visiting right now. It's too early. We'll, we'll have to check it out in a second. We'll, we'll look at it tonight. When people aren't starving or, or thirsty. <laughs> Law school readings or watch the stream. I'm glad you're here, horse girl. And I mean, if you're if you're going to law school, you you're probably someone who also cares about the state of the union. So you could be doing that, but you're doing this, and I appreciate you. <laughs> you love the housing solution. Uh, well, once we get the food situation straightened out, I think that we need to go up another level, because that's that's basically all that I know how to do at this point is just keep going up and up and up and up. Let's see. We've got plenty of planks and wood for this. I'm going to prioritize all of these. Because that's that's my big priority. And then let's see. Potato. And I want to... We are going to farm somewhere else near here. And do some wheat. I mean, this is... I built an excessive amount of storage. So I feel like we've got to do more. So maybe we'll go over here and do that. Or we could do some spatter dock. That's another option. Uh, land use planning was one of your favorite classes in law school. Mine too. I love land use planning. Uh, I, I love planning law. Um, it's one of those things that like in a different life, I could have seen going into it and then realizing the class wasn't, well, realizing that the profession wasn't as fun as the class. <laughs> The state, of <laughs> the state of the union is scary. Stream gets chosen every time. Yeah. <laughs> well, I appreciate you. Well, there'll be plenty of time to, to hear about the state of the union and and uh, fret about it. So, <laughs> as as excited as I am as well. Oh 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 oh! I'm screwing up. I'm screwing up. So I want to do spatter dock back here. Uh, and cattail. Partially submerged though. Is that is it no, it's perfect. So we'll do that and we'll have some steps going down. And I will stop this from happening. Uh there we go. There we go. We need some steps down. Perfect. Perfect. Um we're just going to specialize in bird law or beaver beaver law. <laughs> bird law is superior. 
You prefer the state of the onion. It has a better ring to it. I mean, nothing wrong with an onion ring. <laughs> now you're making me hungry. And I, I wasn't before. I just had pizza. So I don't need, I don't need anything else. Why is it still selected? I thought that I made that stop. Um, what am I doing wrong? Leave it alone. Okay. There. Now we're good. And I think I... This is another situation where I have everything prioritized and therefore nothing is. And this is what I actually want done. And... We'll get the aquatic farming house. I think we'll do one right here. One right there. And then that. And... That. So this one will set up to harvest. And... It should be able to... Oh, that is terrible. Really? It's that bad. I would have thought that the coverage area was a lot better. Hmm. Well, now I'm disappointed. And I feel like we've got to do better. Um, how's the Rasputin tasting? I'm not sure. <laughs> we have the Blackhawk Porter. It is very good. You're craving a, a nice big burger? They need to be put out uh, over... Okay, okay, okay. Over the river. Gotcha. I can do that. Uh, so we'll do something like this. Ooh, I've got the perfect setup for this. We'll uh, do that. And then... Oh, I don't have the perfect setup for this. We've got to blast some more. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Um... Something like that. Yeah, we'll put that there. Steps down. And then we'll blast some more. Because I love doing that. And... We'll plant again. Okay. We're all set. There we go. All right. Um, <laughs> so here's what's going to happen. Speaking of the governor... Um, we are going to have a primary. The primary is going to take place, uh, in, uh, on, uh, on the discord between the YouTube members, uh, Twitch members, patrons, and then whoever the two there are that come out of that vote, uh, though, that will have a YouTube community poll and you guys are going to figure out who the next governor is. And... Whatever choice you guys make, it's going to dramatically change the way development occurs in the county. So I I just want you guys to choose carefully because I have an idea of how each of them will proceed. And you kind of know, you guys kind of know what Governor Johnson's going to do. We got, we've got that figured out. The real question is, what would a, what would a Governor Chuckles do? <laughs> you don't trust Chuckles? Something isn't right in the fry oil? Uh, well, you know, I think Chuckles just really wants, he wants less development. He wants to live in a pristine forest. That's what he wants. He, uh, he's, he's a, a big fan of the way things are today. And if given the chance, I think that he will speak for that contingent of people. Um, I think... Uh, Secretary Timmons is going to be more deliberate and considerate with development, uh, but at the same time, not a no vote on everything. Uh, and Governor Johnson, uh, she just wants to get stuff done. She just, uh, she's a complicated person, but ultimately that's, that's, that's her number one goal, get stuff done. And kind of consequences... Not not overly concerned about the consequences. She's willing to, to to take a couple of chances here and there too. So, oh, I keep I keep screwing this up. <laughs> okay, this is spatter dock. Okay, it is. There we go. There we go. Um, 
The best kind of leader is someone who doesn't want to be a leader. Someone somewhere. Yeah, that's the thing, though. Most. So I'm conflicted with that. Sometimes you want a leader that actually wants to be a leader, too. I mean, I've definitely seen leaders who were reluctant leaders who maybe didn't want to be a leader, but they wanted the uh, the fame that goes along with leading. And that's not good. <laughs> you definitely don't want that. All right. We got that going. Um, but yeah, if someone wants the job, there's a decent chance that they are training for it and they're competent at it. So, I mean, that's something that I've seen too. Uh, Nodders Johnson, uh, Johnson, who is what we need? An actual polit political race in the game is so exciting. Uh, you know, I think it is going to be. I, I honestly have no idea who's going to win. I've been surprised by the number of people. I've been surprised that any, uh, that people have opinions one way or the other that is, are as strong as they are. Uh, but yeah. Oh, yeah, we need, we need a grill and storage for the raw and grilled spatter dock. Okay. We will get that. Maybe we just put it right here. We got explosions or explosives. I like I like to blow things up, so we'll just that'll be our game plan. We're just gonna blow some more stuff up, and let's see. This is probably not the most efficient way to play the game, but uh, who doesn't love just you get you got a problem? You just boom. Uh, if you don't vote chuckles, are you a real magnoliaite? That's that might be the question of the year right there. Uh, will there be a debate? So I plan on putting together. I'm not sure if I'm going to put together a PDF one sheeter or a mini video where each of the candidates uh, discuss their visions, but there will be something. I do feel like you can't make a choice without being informed about uh, an elected official's opinions. In fact, I think that's one of the, the one of the things that we suffer with too much in the world right now is uh having these elected officials and choosing them because of the team that they're on and not necessarily because you understand their positions and like them youtube shorts oh that's a good idea <laughs> you can tell i'm an american because i like all the explosives yes <laughs> every day is the uh the fourth of july here in point <laughs> We just blow everything up. Sheila Johnson is the most corrupt governor in all 51 states. Chuckles for life. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't say that she's not corrupt. <laughs> uh, we have a, a short ad on Twitch. So I'm going to thank Wicked... Wicked Pisa, thank you so much for the, the Prime. Three months. Earth Angel, thank you so much for the resub tier one. Four months at tier one. Thank you so much. Um, let's see. Gary Kelsey, thank you so much for the uh, tier one. Four months. Hi, everyone. Hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well, too. I hope you're doing well. Uh, Vic. Oh. Vic, you are a moderator. I should be buying you. I should be buying you tier one. I thank you, Vic, but I, I'm I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna figure out how. I, I don't know how. From my dashboard. <laughs> but at some point I will and it's a stove. Thank you so much for the prime. I appreciate you. It's oh 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 oh. You're automatically okay. All right. Well I'm gonna find another way. I will find another way. Um Beta 4, does anyone mention to you that SimCity 3000 is now available on Steam and Game Pass? Do I plan on making a retro review of it? I do. I didn't know it was on Game Pass. Um, I'll probably get it on Steam just because Game Pass... I really have... I have Game Pass PC because I think it's like if I, it, it's not a bad idea. <laughs> but I really have Game Pass mostly for my Xbox. Oh, there's an EA sale right now. Why are you guys doing this to me? Um, well, I'll go on the screen where you guys can't see. And I'm going to buy it right now. 
<laughs> uh, in the meantime, explosives. So that's that's game three that you've got me to acquire tonight. So nice job, chat. Good job. Uh, let's see. SimCity 3000. You're right. It's two dollars. Oh, my goodness. Two bucks. Okay. Anyone who doesn't have this game. Take a break just for a quick second and buy it <laughs> because it's that good. It is that good. Oh, bad water tide approaching. Okay, I've got it. So I want to thank you guys for the heads up. Uh, I'm going to Does it show up in here. There it is. We'll install that. Oh, that's amazing. That is amazing. That is great. SimCity 3000 Unlimited, which is without a doubt one of the best Sim Cities. Uh, it is two bucks right now on uh, on uh, on Steam. So uh, honestly, it's an inexpensive game normally. I think it's five bucks normally, uh, but two bucks. I mean, that's a great deal. Bet you played it a lot as a kid too. Ah, yeah, me too. I, I I played the heck out of that. So I was one of those people who my first game that I played was uh, SimCity 2000. And then I didn't have hardware that could run it. My dad picked up this like green screen laptop and it was just garbage. But uh, I, I tried to run it on there. It didn't work. And then I ended up getting two, or SimCity, the original, on the SNES and I played that until basically my fingers were bleeding and then eventually I had a machine I well no no, no it was a PlayStation 1 at SimCity 2000 and that's where I got to play SimCity 2000 and then 3000s when I got a PC way down the line so yeah it was great it's funny that you tried to pitch they, yeah they, they, they're five dollars a month for EA play when the game is five dollars <laughs> what a great deal <laughs> just what you need uh, I'm going to slow all this stuff down. We've got to get a better way. This is, yeah, this, this, this stinks. <laughs> what we're doing right here is not good. Oh, look at that too. Another bad thing. And I also never built the gate right here because we could be storing so much water back here with two more gates. I'm going to just, while I'm thinking about it. Plug it right there and another one right here. Because once we get those, it's going to be awesome. Uh, we'll be able to basically flood this entire area out. And truthfully, we kind of need it now that we have the spatter dock. Because this is all going to die. So that stinks. <laughs> Remember P to pause. It's not working for me. P to pause. If I hover over this, will it tell me which one? No, mine's space bar. Mine's space bar. I'll put in a double. Actually, that is a great idea. Yeah, I like that idea. I mean, reasonably, we should have a double in both. And we also need one here. So I missed one. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. We'll start to we'll start to plan ahead. Uh double. Right here. I'll just put it right there. Um, some right here. And then in preparation of removing this, I think we'll do it right here. Oh, that's a dam. That's not going to work. Uh, there we go that's gonna be that when that's done that's gonna be awesome and i actually i think i think i 
I'll need some levees right there. And guys, we're not even done with what we were working on before. <laughs> and now I've got oh, I've got to, I've got to stop the beavers from the madness that they're about to do because they're going to want to go down here. Okay. Has anyone played black and white? Are you talking about Pokemon? <laughs> I mean, Pokemon Black and White was amazing. You know, we do have medicine. We could let the beavers be free. <laughs> it just feels wildly irresponsible. <laughs> okay, let's load up our reservoir. Load up here. Oh, oh my goodness, they're going to finish it. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Did not see that coming. Oh, 24 hours a day. Keep working, finish this thing. If they finish this, we won't lose all of our crap. Oh, no, we will. <laughs> we're still, we're still, uh, we've got water flying out right here, so we will still lose it. Ah, shoot. Ah, shoot. Well, we got that. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna be patient. I'm gonna let the water get as close as it can. There we go. Oh, 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 oh there it is. Oh, they're still going down. Don't do it, guys. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh shoot. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. I thought I thought it was good enough. I thought all, all I had to do was. Okay, well I guess. You wanna you wanna get sick. Y'all, you're going to still go. No, 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 no. Go over here. Go over here. Go over here. Okay. Maybe if I get them to prioritize these. Oh, no. <laughs> Is Pro the Doge in here? I would, tell, I would tell him to sell his Dogecoin when he has, uh, when he has a million. <laughs> uh, you still have black and white too, but you couldn't get it reinstalled on Windows 10? Hold on to your emulators. Uh, oh, that, that, that's. Well, this one's long too. So we're about to have a bad time. We've got about six days. We've got a lot of food and a lot of water. I'm going to turn this way, way down. Maybe we take it down to like 12 hours a day and use less water and we'll calm down. Um, got a lot of, a lot of beavers dying of old age too. So we've got this slight death wave going on. So our workforce is lower. This feels a bit like RCE's last Timberborn episode. I feel like we, we've got, we're doing, oh, oh, stop it. Oh my goodness. I can't believe they keep going th straight through the water. Oh, this is not what I wanted. Well, do we even have medicine? I don't think that we do. Okay, so we didn't build. What is that? What is it called? Um, I can't think of the name, guys. The herbalist. We never built an herbalist. So no time like the present. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, hold on. We gotta have our little explosion. Because here's where we're gonna put our spatter dock once it doesn't all die. And then our herbalist. I feel like we've gotta put that downtown. Um be like right here. And we're gonna speed that up. I, I can't believe we don't have any sick beavers yet, but it feels like it's just a matter of time. They just keep going through. There's nothing I can do to make it stop. It's just, yeah. Uh, bridge building time. There's no reason to go over here normally. So it seems like a bad idea to build a bridge right here. Um, but I also, I'm not thrilled with what they're doing. <laughs> uh, DJ, you're back. No more work for now. I love it. 
Uh, Campster, you just finished watching the newest episode of City Skylines 2. Just wondering, uh, where are all the Strodes? People want card-dependent development? Oh, don't worry. It's coming. <laughs> you think that that factory... Well, it depends. Actually, it depends. It depends on who Governor is. So, you, if you think that that factory exists out in that cornfield by itself for long with that many with that many employment opportunities if governor johnson's governor it's probably not gonna be the case if chuckles is the governor well it might it'll be a, a different um it'll be very different we'll have to we'll have to see and we might just have more balanced development if we have uh if we have emily timmons Do I have an idea of when the dense uh, city build will hit Magnolia County? Uh, it's going to start very soon. Um, so, actually, I, 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 one of the things that's holding me back right now is I need a name for it. Um, but basically, that area that we we currently build the, built the factory, um, that was actually where I intended. Like, I, I couldn't change the starting tile of the map. But I wanted the starting tile to be down there. And that's where the biggest city is supposed to be. So I've seen um, other people building on the map. Some people have, have, have seen it and seen like kind of the vision that I initially had on the map. Other people have not, but that's been the goal. I, I, I think that that's where the biggest city should be. Uh, does Chuckles have the funding to have a real shot at winning? Well, you got to remember, Chuckles' cousin... Is the largest landowner or largest landowner in Magnolia County? Uh, not sure if I heard, but the, new, the breaking news report is coming out from several witnesses. Saw a man meeting Chuckles' description near the start of the Great Magnolia County Fire. Uh, plus, his car was seen in the area. Coincidence? Maybe he's just an observer. Uh, maybe, maybe something else is going on. I think it's it's really hard to say. <laughs> Uh, I think I think anyone has a chance. I, I I do think that Chuckles will have the resources. Uh, if if he's one of the top two candidates, <laughs> out of the scene. Which campaign has paid me? I mean, I feel like I feel like I do have a preference. But it's it's like it's like real politics. I, I, nobody cares my nobody wants to know my opinion. <laughs> Has Chuckles ever spent any amount of time in Verde Beach? That's the funny thing. We've never touched on that. Here's the question: Does Chuckles still own his theme park? He does. Uh, if you return to that city. Oh, it's it's gone. It's gone. Sheila Johnson started the fire planner, uh, a city planner chair. Um, we need to see how the loss of a major employer of tourism would affect the economy and people. Speaking for myself, I think it'd be really interesting to see you explore stories, uh, both the boom and the bottom times and the bust of a city. Yeah, I, I completely agree. So that is that is a big part. That's been a part of what I've wanted to explore more in Magnolia County than in my other builds. That's been a thing that. Um, it's been fun to watch the reaction to certain... Oh, wow, I screwed up. Forgot to raise the height of this. We got we got real lucky. Um, anyway, uh, in Clearwater County, and I've mentioned this on a couple of other occasions, the goal was always to run a highway straight through the center of Van Buren. And there's this area that's kind of teed up for a bridge I meant to basically sweep the highway through the heart of Van Buren and then bridge right past the Capitol through old Van Buren and then link up with the highway and not have the highway kind of just peter off into an arterial. That was like, that was the goal. And it was supposed to be heartbreaking and terrible. But unfortunately, I got too attached to the build and decided that I couldn't Robert Moses my way through the build, just demolishing all of it. And... I walked away from the storyline that was that we were building to the entire time. So, yeah, that's a uh, uh, vainglorious. Thank you so much for the uh, for the tier one. Thank you so much for the biddies. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. Planner Duck, ten gifted subs. Planner Duck, 
first of all, thank you. Uh, like, and second of all, how did I miss that? I, I appreciate you, buddy. Thank you so much. And Vainglorious, four months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Brad is building. Thank you so much for the uh, two months on Prime. Thanks for the content. Hope you have. Uh, you hope you and the fam have a great week. Having a great week. It's warm. I spent a bunch of time out uh, uh, today uh, doing yard work. It's awesome. Uh, Alagash, thank you so much for the uh, tier one resub. Two months. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, calling a mulligan on the storyline. Yeah, I called a mulligan on the entire storyline. So I have been much more harsh with the storyline for Magnolia County. And I'm not letting myself get attached. I'm just going to do the things that are part of the story. And if it makes people upset and sad, that's okay. And myself included. So the, the highway going through the university is probably the most controversial thing that I've done in a video in a long time. And the number, I actually saw a number of people say, I, I just can't, you're going so American right now. I can't, I can't, I can't watch this anymore. Unsub. <laughs> and I'm not going to lie. Okay. <laughs> it's the story. I'm going with the story. We're not, yeah, we're, we're, we're not going to call a mulligan on the storyline anymore. Do I do all the voiceovers for different characters? Right now I do. Um, we, we, uh, we lived through the AI experience and we're not doing that again. <laughs> so what I have opened up and I've, I proposed is that in the future, I want members of the community that have a good audio setup. Um, I want to give them the opportunity to do some voiceover work and that will open up the ability for them to get a demo reel if they want to do that. Um, they'll need to have, it'll, it'll need to be quick turnaround time. I'm basically going to say, <laughs> Batch, you are going to be a character. The question is which one at this point. Um, what, what we're going to do, though, is basically uh, I'm going to say I need 24 hour turnaround on this. And it, it's going to be, you know five sentences so as long as you can make time and you're not like out of town it should be fairly simple so that's that is my new goal and uh we'll see how that works we're letting all the bad water straight through here it's gonna be amazing it's not too bad we should be able to wash through this uh hey cpb any thoughts on taking a random viewers uh city with x hours the save uh, touring and improving it i've done that i have a submission form and in fact, um, it's probably about time that we do that again. I, I mean, I've been trying recently, and I, I'm hoping you guys are noticing and liking it, um, but I've, I've just really wanted to have a better variety of content on the channel. Um, so, you know, City Skylines 2, it's very polarizing right now. And I'm having a lot of fun with my build, but I don't want it to break. And I'm, I'm afraid that if I get too far and I incorporate too many mods... I will lose Magnolia County, and that would kind of that would, that would kill me. So <laughs> I, don't, I don't want that to be the case. So what we're doing instead is, you know, doing other things. And I, I should bring back another city, uh, uh, um, uh, another uh, uh, another city tips episode. It's been a little while. The last, the la the only one that we've done for City Skylines Two was basically a, a tour of a British build. Um, the thing that's tough right now is. At that point in time, I didn't realize how broken certain aspects of the game were. And I think I was a little more critical of certain aspects of the game than I should have been. Of, of the build than I should have been because it was out of the out of the builder's control. And that's that's the part I'm struggling with right now. Like how do I how do I walk in those waters? You like to see more City Skylines one? yeah uh so we will have more city skylines one i i just you know i find myself struggling and i've seen people post about this on reddit too where basically i still love city skylines one but when i play it now it feels old and i hate that i i absolutely hate that it feels old now but that doesn't change the fact that it does. It feels, it feels dated, and, um, yeah, that sucks. <laughs> so, that's kind of what I'm, what I'm, what I'm dealing with. Um, so I, when I'm, when I'm playing with it, I'm, I guess, trying to do things that don't feel dated. So not trying to do a lot of road building stuff, and all the projects that I have left, 
in my series are kind of the same. So I don't want you guys to just think I'm I'm like milking a whole bunch of parks because that's kind of what's left. Fish to play Dwarf, Dwarf Fortress. I was talking to Zardis about that, or not? I didn't I didn't talk to Zardis. I I was involved in a conversation with Zardis where uh, he mentioned how much fun he was having with Dwarf Fortress. Or not Dwarf? Well, oh no 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 no. Was that Dwarf Fortress? No 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 no. Hold on. Not Dwarf Fortress. It's the it's another uh another building game. Can't think of what it is. Papa Ponderosa's in here. And Diana's in here too. Uh Diana, yeah, it does kind of feel dated. It's it's it stinks. I mean that's I think that's the biggest reason why you see the big drop off in player numbers right now is just straight up that uh City Skylines 2 makes City Skylines 1 feel old and some things are broken. So that <laughs> it's it's kind of Kind of the worst of all worlds. Mm, so we need a bakery. And a grill. And then lots of storage. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do, I'll do something like this. And this should give us everything that we need. And then I'll have some small storages over here handle this stuff so let's see we honestly we don't need i mean they've got these gigantic storages over here for spatter dock and cattail roots totally un unnecessary ah. oh we've got contaminated beavers of course uh yar yar yara simmer Yara Simmer Vicky, you are gonna have to heal all of the contaminated beavers that I have I have created with my madness. Uh Cities by uh, you, uh, you still have a lot of fun in Cities by One. I, I still have a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun with the with the with the, the freedom I have. And ooh, 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 ooh. But I would be lying if if I if I didn't say that like it even the graphics like i hear people say that the graphics are um better in city skylines one they're more customizable the assets are better and the custom assets are clearly better but i mean the lighting effects i mean it's 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 all like just kind of if we're being honest with ourselves it's it's better in city skylines too so it's it's it, they put themselves at a really weird spot <laughs> it's reasonably it's a real weird spot. We do have medical beds. We, have, we I think we have like, uh, I want to say six. Yeah, three right here, three right here. So we're good with medical beds. You want City Skylines 1 with City Skylines 2 camera and lighting and the road tool. Um, but I will tell you, the zoning tools are just, oh man. I wish that they would have figured out zoning. It like City Skylines 1 zoning stunk. But I was okay with it. City Skylines 2 zoning is absolutely terrible. And there's just like, it's just, it feels like there's no fix for it. And there won't be. Zoning is what killed the game for you. It's just, you can't control it. I just, you, you can't control it in any reasonable way. I've seen people with all their different hacks and, and okay, maybe you can have some hacks that work. But I, I found that for the most part, they don't work. Um, and even when you think you've figured out something predictable, you end up finding out that it's not. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I get frustrated very fast as well with, with the zoning. In fact, for the challenge that, uh, and I mean, you guys, you guys missed that. Uh, I will share this one more time. Hold on. So this is a link. So Vainglorious, Diana, you might be interested in this. You might not be, and that's fine if you're not. Uh, I'll, I'll drop it over on YouTube as well. Um, basically, I'm doing a, a true one tile challenge. And the goal is you have an hour to get the, the largest population that you can. So yeah. <laughs> you want me to stream Solitaire? I, I actually, uh, I love 
playing solitaire. So I would gladly do that, but I'm not going to talk then. <laughs> uh, we need hacks to control it in City Skylines 1 as well. I mean, if you, uh, but if you want fully, custo fully customized, there's always Rico. Uh, so there is Rico for City Skylines 2. Um, so I will play with Rico, but I would much rather not. I, like for me, I would, what I really wanted was building themes manager built into the game and the ability to say, okay, mine's I'm terrible at minesweeper. Um, I wanted to be able to make my own themes in the game on the fly for specific districts. And we didn't get that. That's so that's disappointing to me. Cause I'd love to be able to say this residential neighborhood has all this kind of housing or these five homes. Um, so yeah, that's a, a bit of a, a disappointment for me. Um, but it's, it's, it's fine is what it is. CS2 Rico is still clumsy. I haven't, I haven't even tried it. There's just so few assets. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Mr. Mo. Hello. Thank you for being here. You need more than two themes. You mean you don't like having a uh, vaguely, vaguely American and vaguely Finnish as the, as your themes. And by vaguely American, I mean, trailer to mansion. <laughs> It's a it's a way that you could play. It's a it's a way that uh, America could be. <laughs> uh, yeah, I miss Park Life as well. At least I'm okay with the dev mode. I mean, obviously, I would prefer that the tools are actually in the game, but uh, I've been having a fine time playing around with dev mode. High density looks like 1980s Brooklyn. Yeah, it does. It's a real rags to McMansion story for every sim. Yes. <laughs> And everyone will get there if given the time, except for little Jeff, who is living by himself, apparently because uh, children, after their parents died, which is what I assume happened, that Jeffrey's parents died, he gets to live in his house by himself and not make mortgage payments. So he's got that going for him. <laughs> There's the head of the time on income inequality. Everyone is poor, though. There, so... I want I want to give Chuckles a mansion and he can live in the forest by himself. But the thing is, I will build him a mansion and he will end up impoverished in his mansion. <laughs> you think you think Jeffrey's parents moved on without him? Maybe they did. Children plus dogs, no adults. I love when you have a household and it's like a single person with like four dogs and the dogs are their life. They take them to work. That's a lifestyle choice. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bold choice. I wish I was that. I mean, I love banjo, but uh, I, I never had take your dog to work day. <laughs> Maybe I should have. Oh. So we've got all these projects going on, and I know I should just like calm down, but I have no calm in me. So I've prioritized those. There's no way to get to them, I think. Is that the problem? too far from a district okay I'm gonna I'm gonna demolish these we'll get over here I'm I want to I want to blow stuff up so I think we're gonna do that too because we have to slow things down and big kabooms all throughout here and I want to square it up, make it look. I want to. Uh, we we got a uh, key wall edition. I think we'll go straight through here, and we need to get that uh, the excavator going. Although, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is dumb. I don't even want to have the water here. I guess I could keep it here if I had a gigantic reservoir. And maybe it doesn't matter as much. Yeah. What do you guys think? Should we just blow this up? I think I think we do it. I think we just... We'll clean it up. We'll make it look nice and straight. And... Like, a, I, I'm going to get the excavator. We'll straighten this out. Make it look super nice. Add some blocks right here. And uh, this will be our, our riverfront. It's going to be great. Okay, we're going for it. We're going for it. This is going to be intense. Okay. I think that should get us all the way back. Yeah. 
and then we need a way down so temporarily whoops there we go and i'm gonna i'm gonna prioritize these two because everything's a priority let's see extract we get 20 well we're just a little bit shy <laughs> oh that's oh oh we don't have storage for this that is oh that's super sad um yeah that was big unforced error let's take this one and we'll switch it over to extract because i think I, we we even have workers there they're not doing anything oh uh nuking the river is never dumb <laughs> i just want i, I just want a a 1980s style cleveland river that i can light on fire so i went i'd like to nuke it and then let the bad water in and then hopefully in the long run we can just light it on fire <laughs> blow everything up yes we're gonna we're gonna blast this whole place out and okay while that's going let's get the next bit going as well because we're gonna keep we just we're gonna keep on keeping on and now remember what i said i don't like leaving this with unfinished projects so i'm creating all sorts of problems all right where do we put this maybe we blast the spot to make this work too yeah that's that's the most reasonable solution we are going to oh wait 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 okay so for this one if I blast this in, because the access is actually second story. And the power is second story, too. I'm going to put it right... Oh, oh, oh I got to be careful. Because if I go on the river, I'll flood this thing. So I'll put it right here. I'm going to hold my finger on the screen so I remember. And... Okay. All of the explosives. There we go. <laughs> you guys are going to have to forgive me. Because there's going to be a while during the stream where we're just hanging out, talking, waiting. Uh, but. Fifth element vibes here. Uh, yeah, we're going to blow everything up. Everything. And then we also have to get underneath these bridges. At some point. Um, United States Gaming. This is the first time you have to you've had to stay up to do a high school uh, high school project, and for some reason it is a lot easier to come with ideas when watching your channel. United States Gaming. I'm I'm happy to hear that, and I also oh oh thank you. Longer shifts. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. More beavers. Longer shifts. Um, well, good luck on your project. What is your project, United States Gaming? I. I uh I will admit to being a procrastinator. Uh and I only figured it out once I basically once I stopped procrastinating, that's when I became a good student. It took me a while. <laughs> I was I was a very bad student for a while. Not not very bad. I was a B student. Uh C C plus B student. And then I finally became organized. My 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 trick was always uh, I, the reason it worked for me eventually was in college, being able to take a laptop. I was that weirdo in class that had to uh, take notes on my laptop all the time. Never looked at them, but if I took the notes on my laptop, I would for sure remember them forever. So that was my that was my thing okay where do we get them how do we get them up there now hmm i kind of made this very difficult to get to the next level unless of course i do something like this something super ugly rotate this around here and then like i don't love this but i don't i i think it's what we have to do That's a lot of, this is going to be a lot of, lot of extra beavers. I, you know, we really should be figuring out how many beavers live on each floor. Let's see, this will be, so three, this pot will be 12, um, and then another six, seven, eight. 
So, yeah. I mean, we're looking at 20 more beavers. That's probably going to be really helpful. Panda sauce. Thanks for being here. Uh, we are we are just continuing to expand our beaver colony, poisoning beavers, uh, hoping for the best. Sometimes having the worst happen. It's fine. We're doing all right. And uh, our big problem now, as, as many have pointed out, we don't have enough beavers to finish everything. So... See cattail flower, and right here grilled spatter dock and cattail crackers. There we go. We're all set up. We just need the beavers to to for the work. Uh, the water storage is low. Oh, Woo. thank you. We are going to raise the priority here. Uh, why? Why is the water storage so low? I think we just, we are not prioritizing these. That's wild. That is super not okay. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Cinnamon. <laughs> Cinnamon, you just saved the entire colony. I would have totally missed that. Hopefully now. We're going to be okay. Speaking of note-taking, have I used Remarkable Digital Notepad? No, I, I, uh, I have not. Um, I So I try different things, and I've looked at things like that. My problem is I was an Evernote guy. I, I, had a, I, I probably had a Surface laptop in grad school. Everyone thought I was super lame um, with, when everyone's got their MacBooks, and I've got my Surface, but I, I loved it for note-taking. Um, and then I switched over to OneNote, and it's just so hard. I mean, I have OneNote on my Mac. I have OneNote on my PCs. I have OneNote on my iPhone. It's just awesome. So it would have to be a really remarkable digital notepad <laughs> to get me to switch. And I don't know that I don't know that anything's that good. You've always preferred handwriting notes. You have to have good handwriting to to to, to do that and patience and I have neither <laughs> so <laughs> that's my problem with handwriting uh make farms and water the top priority I feel like I feel like we've made farms the priority and that's why except for this um but yeah like science at this point I'm gonna turn this off it's kind of a waste of power and we have so much. I mean, we could basically unlock everything, I think, at this point. I mean, I'd love to unlock this. <laughs> For, we'll take a break from that. What else can we take a break from? Uh, let's see. Grilled potatoes. Grilled potatoes. Do we even have any potatoes? One. <laughs> we probably don't need two potato grillers, but that's it's fine. Builder's hut. Yeah, I we just need more beavers. I I I, I think. Oh, oh, what a waste! Oh, that is a bunch of workers that weren't were not. Yeah, that was that was yeah. Uh, city planner chair, thank you for being here. Good night. I don't know how you're leaving. I guess that means that I get to like. I, I guess, I guess, is that is that my is that my night? <laughs> If you're not here, I don't know where I go. Uh, make house building a priority. I have so many priorities right now. <laughs> it's a standing stream. That's the problem. I don't have a standing desk. I, I did the uh, typical YouTuber. Uh, I went to Milwaukee and I ordered a bunch of Ikea stuff and made an L-shaped desk. And I love it, but I can't. I can't stand it. <laughs> and now I must get a standing desk. I, there was somebody who I actually wanted to, to sponsor a standing desk, and I was like, ah, standing desk. I just I, I had one at work, and I just never used it as a standing desk. Loud noises. You love the streams. Thank thank you so much. I'm trying to keep it chill around here. Uh, city planner couch. Uh, what what I okay. I probably shouldn't. I shouldn't show the mess of my office, but. Uh, what do we? I'll slow it down. I'll slow it down. 
And let me see. I will. We'll take a, a quick break. Oh, wow. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I know the problem with this. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Oh, there we go. Fixed it. Um, so what I wanted to do was actually show. Yeah, we're gonna we we've got explodey time soon. But let's go to the room cam for a minute. I'm gonna turn it the way that you guys never get to see. Um, so I don't even know. Okay, so this is the chair. So this is. This is where I could be. This is the other chair. This is the better chair. So yeah. Um, so yes. So who, I mean, we've got one, we've got one chair, but who is the other chair? Who is the other chair? Uh, Ian the Wonder Dog, hello. Hola, thank you for being here. Uh, when does the other chair get to stream? I mean, I feel like that chair deserves the stream more. I, I've sat in that chair so little. It's a it's a it's a disappointment <laughs> to the chair. Uh love the acoustic panels, mind sharing where one can pick those up. These are those are the Elgato acoustic panels. Honestly, though, the better acoustic panels. Okay, okay. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do a little little show and tell. Hold on. One more, one more. So those acoustic panels at the top, those are the much better ones. And they're the ones that matter a lot more. When I added the, those, the, they're called uh, ceiling clouds. When I added those, everything changed. <laughs> I should probably find a better way to show off the room than, uh, than that. <laughs> but, but it definitely, it definitely, it worked. Uh, yeah, that is a Verde Beach transit map on the wall. So, uh, yeah, putting that right over there. Uh, it's it's merch, so it's cool. Uh, thank you. Yeah, I, I I've been with my setup. I'm constantly adding one thing at a time. Uh, so that all those boxes in the side that uh, that I was showing before, it's um, I have one more wall panel because I don't like the way it ends back here. So I'm gonna wrap it around that spot right there i got oh, actually it's two more wall panels and then um i have a new light so always just every now and then add add one thing uh, and that's kind of been my philosophy with content creation is always keep investing in it um so now that i now that i'm showing things on camera keep keep making it cooler to look at <laughs> um and yeah, I'm happy to share my space. My space exists because of you guys. So um, I feel like I should be sharing. Like if I'm going to show my face and do face cam, I should definitely show you the space that I'm in. And you know, thank you guys for the support that has allowed me to uh, pursue creating what is honestly like the coolest space that I've ever uh, got the game in. So need more RGB? Oh, I didn't even. I have RGB underneath my desk, but it's not. I didn't. I didn't turn it on. And I have it behind my chair, but you don't get to see that I do. So, <laughs> but yeah, underneath my desk, I have uh, light strips. So, but I, I do plan on the stuff behind me. Um, I, I actually, I have an Amaran light, which is RGB being glorious. Uh, it's actually the very next thing. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to come back. Last, last, last show and tell thing. So that's this right here so i have a whole lighting thing that i'm going to be mounting probably tomorrow and once that's set up um i'll be able to change the colors in the room so yeah under uh, the rgb underneath the desk where it belongs i completely agree <laughs> so yeah i i'm always trying to tinker with it at this point so we'll see we'll see how it works well you guys will have to tell me if you like it or not um we we just had an ad break so i missed the uh the thank yous but i'm gonna i'm gonna get i'm gonna get to them really quickly uh 
EJ, thank you so much for the tier one. Three months. Loving the Timberborn streams. I've, I've been really enjoying it. Thank you. I'm glad that you're enjoying it as well. Lance Guns, thank you so much for the tier one. Three months. Appreciate you. Uh, Plen Plenodium, thank you so much for tier one. Two months. You're awesome. Thank you. Uh, Crazy, Crazy Maggie, thank you so much for tier one. Three months. You're awesome as well. Uh, Bustlin Fungus. Uh, thank you so much for the, uh, the for the prime and something nefarious tier one three months thank you so much i'm gonna level with you phil the room decor chef's kiss very good space uses thank you yeah this uh so i wish i could have uh shown you guys around my last space so where i started my content creation journey was a corner of the basement and don't get me wrong i'm happy to have a basement and i'm happy to have a corner of the basement i was happy to have that um but I ended up basically finding, we had this spot in the corner of our basement that was eight feet by eight feet. And uh, I ended up taking wood panel, like pine panel boards. I wonder, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see if I can get a picture of it. Um, if I can, it, so pine panel boards, and it was just, it looked like a sauna. That's just reasonably the best, I, I mean, uh, and it was fine. I'm happy that I have my little sauna, but uh, not not ideal. <laughs> Very small, heated up a lot. Um, so when we moved, that was something I really cared about having a space that uh, was a little bit a little bit bigger, uh, so that I could I, I so I could cool down. And you know, with City Skylines two requiring what it does. <laughs> Uh, in terms of hardware and the amount of heat that it produces, I think I would have died in that room. So let's see. I I don't know where it is. Unfortunate. I I will look. I will look for a picture. Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm getting close. All right, so this was my old office. And don't get me wrong, great space. Great space. However, very small. Very, very small. And it would heat up in that little room. Um, and I did wood panel because I built it myself. And I uh, I just basically don't like drywalling. So <laughs> that was what I did. Not a lot of ventilation, no. There's heat right here. There was no return. So I was either opening up the door or just getting very, very warm. And yes. So the reason why I started my journey with all of this, uh, all this paneling or all of this, uh, the sound paneling is because it was so echoey in that room that I couldn't, I couldn't stop it. There were some videos where you could hear it and it was just terrible. And yeah, drywalling is the worst taping and mudding the corners, the, all of it <laughs> just hate all of it i had i had no no i put the wood in the basement over the concrete i i backed so that's the other thing is i backed it away from the wall to make it even even smaller yeah look just like a sauna um wonderful space loved it but very much sauna like <laughs> but there is one thing that you guys will appreciate i had I had my PC on the desk at one point and not on the floor. <laughs> and now it's on the floor. And I know how many people are that, that really, that grinds their gears. And I apologize for that, but it's just, it's just where it's gotta go now. All right. Feel like we're making decent project uh, progress over here on a reservoir. The one thing this is going to be too low. So we're going to need one more uh, double floodgate over here. So I'm going to... I'll cut this off right here. And we'll do something like that. Perfect. Perfect. Um, you have your computer on the floor on carpet. Me too. <laughs> Ian, the wonder dog. We are kindred spirits. We, uh, we're living the same life and I appreciate you. 
Uh, former drywall hanger. It sucks to hang, finish, sand, and paint. Yes. Javelin Joe, uh, it, that is artwork. If you're able to do that, I mean, mad props. I think it's I think it's absolutely miserable to do. Uh, <laughs> under the desk right where it belongs, yes. I, I Wisconsin floor PC buddies. You know what? The floor, uh, I guess, if it weren't carpeted, it, because I'm in a basement right now, it would be cold. But uh, now it's just, it's just, you know, dusty. Whatever, it's fine. More spatter dock. I want more spatter dock, but we're at the limit of where we can go. So if we want to do more spatter dock, we've got to have, uh, we got to build up over here. You're, you're a Minnesota floor PC, buddy. I think that counts. Amen, that counts. I I only give Minnesota a hard time because I'm jealous of the Twin Cities. <laughs> uh, move the farms. Onto, so the farms are on a platform. Are you thinking that I should put the farms right here? That would have been really smart. <laughs> Definitely didn't think to do that. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We'll do that. I, I will bite. That makes a lot of sense. And... Okay. But here's the thing, guys. That's one more thing to build. <laughs> do we really need that one more thing to build? I think uh, we might. We might. Um... If you moved to another city, it'd probably be the Twin Cities. Uh, when I was moving back to Wisconsin, uh, my wife really wanted to go back to the Twin Cities. I'm from northern Wisconsin, and the climate in the Twin Cities is basically identical to where I grew up. And I know that if you're if you're not from Wisconsin, you might not realize just how much colder it is up north and how much more snow you get. Um, but I just didn't want to deal with it. It's an extra month of winter. Um, so I was really focused on Milwaukee, Madison, Chicago. My wife wanted the Twin Cities. And then after after declining it, I was like, ah, oh, maybe that wasn't the right idea. Part of it is uh, Minnesota, as far as the planning culture goes there, it's second to none. Like, they're one of the most, uh, I'd say it's, it's California, Colorado, um, and Oregon. Washington, Minnesota, as far as like the most progressive planning cultures where they're willing to try the most stuff, do the most things. Uh, also, New York City, obviously, but they're just like their own different thing. Uh, Crazy Maggie, you're, you're, you're a Georgia floor PC guy. Love it. Love it. Georgia floor PC buddy. Uh, your friend went to school in Eau Claire and yeah, it was nasty up there. Yeah. Um, so I grew up north of there. So <laughs> like, it just brutally cold. And I promised myself I would never do that again. Oregon. I'm still doing it wrong again. There's a line by point that differentiates northern and southern Wisconsin. It is. And the, and the landscaping changes too. So, and I guess I prefer, I prefer the prairie. I think it's pretty. So, although if, if, if. Honestly, I'd probably, if I could live anywhere in the state, it might be Sheboygan. So I've talked about Wassa being a place that I love. Sheboygan, though, kind of is like right in the middle and being on the water. It's a little more temperate. It's pretty. That'd be a place. Same here. It gets cold uh, here, but like Michigan. Oh, yeah. But it's, yeah. Michigan is the exact same state. Yeah, the, it's, yeah it's, 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 it's another mitten. That's <laughs> uh where oh, wait wait crazy make it where'd you vacation last February I gotta know uh hello from someone who usually watches on YouTube via the Xbox One ooh that's niche I like that just wanted to say thank you for streaming this game you become addicted to it you become addicted yet don't own oh the Jamie channel you gotta check it out like if if it I, someone said it was on Epic Games for 15 bucks as much i mean 
I should like Epic Games just because I should like competition, but I don't. I like Steam ride or die. Uh, but 15 bucks for the game when it doesn't really matter because you can't mod through Steam. It's a pretty good deal. Pretty good deal. Uh, Wisconsin's a really beautiful state, and I usually only give it a hard time because I think every Western Wisconsinite driver that comes into the Twin, Twin Cities doesn't know how to drive. So, Eamon, what you're saying is we are your fibs. <laughs> and if you're if you're from Wisconsin, you know what a fib is. If you're from Illinois, you might know what a fib is. Um, and if you do, I'm sorry. I've never, definitely never called you that. Definitely didn't grow up in a tourist area full of friendly Illinois buddies. And... <laughs> uh oh it's 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 20 bucks on steam right now although i would say check it out then 20 bucks is a great deal you can't be on the floor in alabama you can't be a floor alabama pc buddy because you have a husky and he's currently going through his biannual undercoat blowout for us everywhere banjo is doing the same thing i the my only saving grace is that banjo doesn't like my office um as as was evident in the last stream when he just kind of Stared at the door. <laughs> um, huh. We need more beavers. I'm going to do it. You prioritize everything. You prioritize nothing. But this is a priority. So we're going to prioritize it. This is not smart. Don't be like me, friends. But we're going to keep doing it. <laughs> Uh, don't prioritize the rubble. I mean, I want the, I want the, we get logs here. It's like, it's like 20 logs. Granted, we don't need any. We don't have any storage for them, but still. <laughs> I, th th their existence bothers me. Bibs are like mass holes in Maine. It sounds like, yeah, I think so. <laughs> the thing is, okay. I just want to let you know, if anyone in here is from Chicago or Illinois, uh, Chicago is one of the greatest cities in the country. It's definitely the best city in the Midwest. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the people are wonderful. I love Chicago style pizza. It's one of the best. It's one of the pizzas. Um, you guys drive like psychopaths. And I feel like anytime I see one of you guys on the roadway, I need to, I need to get as far away as possible because I think you guys are trying to kill me every time I see one of you. It's just, it's terrible. And I don't know why you have that much rage, but you got to calm down. Like it, it, you don't need to, you don't need to be that upset or that much in a hurry. I get it, especially when I see you guys going up to Manaqua from Chicago. That is a hell of a drive. I totally get it. I'd want to go 100 miles per hour too. But here's the thing, it's not worth it, man. It's not worth it. Calm down. Uh, Planter Duck, yes, Chicago is one of the best places to live. I completely agree. I, it was super disappointing to not move there <laughs> i wanted to live in chicago just once i have family in chicago um and i just i wanted that experience but it just it didn't work out it didn't work out um i probably should have applied to uh the mpo in chicago cmap but i never did i went i went straight for jobs that were totally outside of my wheelhouse i was like this is what i'll apply for i'll apply to work in some random suburban community and not get the job because i wasn't qualified Storage under the apartments is inefficient. Can't live with that lack of housing. I under you're talking about over here. I can't move them though. Now they're there. I made a mistake. <laughs> you guys drive everywhere in the U.S. Why aren't you scared to drive in Chicago? That's why. <laughs> uh, the building we lived in at the height of the Chicago. Uh, the building we lived in was a highlight of the Chicago River Archi Chicago River Architecture River Cruise. Oh, that's awesome. Um, I mean, the architecture of Chicago, uh, is the, the entire city is just, it's awesome. The history of it, uh, the, the importance to planning, it's, it's, and that was part of, part of it. And for, for, for anyone who doesn't know, um, uh, Planner Duck, I assume <laughs> You're an APA member. I think you're ASAP certified, uh, just like me. Um, our our association is in Chicago. 
Um, so very important city to, to planning generally. Why is this not? Are we not making extract? We'll, we'll prioritize that. That's our problem. Uh, you took that tour. Uh, my Charty. Uh, hi, Phil. Hope I hope you had a great vacation. I did. Vacation was wonderful. Uh, being able to get away and hang out with family, watch some, uh, watch movies, watch Mrs. Doubtfire uh, for the first time since I was a kid. Um, lots of hiking. Saw the Meteor Crater, Grand Canyon, um, Petrified Forest. We hiked Soldier Pass Trail a whole bunch in Sedona. Uh, just wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Um, also happy to be home. I, that's I think that's one of the things that vacations always do for me is they make me realize uh, how much I like home and being home and seeing familiar things and familiar places and yeah. Does that beaver condo complex have some trendy millennial <laughs> millennial name like the Mulligans? I think. What is the name of this place? I do think it needs a name. I would I would definitely uh, be. I mean, it has to. It's got a rooftop bar after all. Rooftop bar. It's got a, a dance hall right there. Yes. The weather is too quiet. I agree. At least we've been able to build all of our big projects now. When I wonder, I wonder. Let's get rid of this thing. We don't need that anymore. Oh, I hate that. One log. It's going to be there forever. I don't want to get it. Um, so where will this go? Okay. So we've got all these things now. We don't need this one either. Pick all this stuff up. Uh, and let's say, let's just say we, we fill this, we load that up. So now we route this all over here. Raise this up. How high can we get this? Oh, not very. <laughs> We're going to flood this way, which is going to be fine. And when we kill this, I'm just, I'm messing around right now, trying to figure out exactly what we've done. Oh, we didn't finish right here. So this will be, this is the, this will be the weakest link. So we'll just prioritize that. Um, Ethan, uh, do you have dual monitors? Because if you do, you should have the stream on one and Timberborn on the other. We could play together. That's, that's the way to do it. You want to catch the beavers dancing. It's the time. All right, all right, slow down. And who do we got in here? Uh, let's see. We'll, we'll, we'll get a nice side view. Oh, look at that. That's that's just adorable. Brandon Lopez cutting a rug. Uh, drink Jabber. One Shoe Doty. So I, I think it's Doty Bot right there. Love it. Uh, Whiskey Sim. Mufasa. Uh, Biddy White. <laughs> These things are awesome. Fluffy Kittens. And Spencer Smith. So uh, just lovely. Just just lovely. This was the right choice, guys. Oh, and you know the easier way? Probably just going through this. Marshall Kilroy. <laughs> yeah, they do dance, and it is it is absolutely adorable. Wait, wait, why does this one have a backpack? Who who is that with the backpack? They oh they, oh wait. Multiple of them have backpacks. Lucas, 57. 15. Lucas wants to unlock the uh unlock the iron teeth. Hauling post. That's so the hauling beavers like to dance. Interesting. Back brace? The haulers wear back braces, yes. Yeah, you should be checking the backpacks at the door. Not good. Dance so hard they broke their backs. <laughs> With the sound effects as well. Uh I don't do we do we have any? Let me, let me see. 
It won't let me pause. Of course, now it's gone. <laughs> now they're done for the day, so it doesn't matter. Yes, uh, thank you guys. I, I have no, uh, the, the first time I ever built this thing was because of you guys. So I, I, I appreciate that. Um, uh, oh, we're so close. Is it the steps? There's our bad water tide. Oh, and I bet you it's, I bet you I didn't focus on, oh, we did. So we got that and this, and then we'll, we're gonna have a oh, 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 whole bunch of new beavers and we're not doing all that well with water right now, which is a little bit concerning. I don't know why. Oh, I'm an idiot. That's why. Shoot. So by doing this and trying to see what I could do with flooding and not doing anything successfully, um, I started killing off everything and pumping water out of this place. Why is this not working? Why is this going so poorly? Is it just that? Um, yeah, the party's over. We have an ad break. Okay. Well, in that case, uh, Omegi, lovely to see you here. Thank you for uh, the, the prime two months. Appreciate you. Uh, have I ever been to Toronto? I have not. I've never been to Canada. That is a regret of mine and a place I want to go. Although if we go to Canada, my wife and I have talked about two places, uh, Montreal or uh, Victoria. Those are those are probably the two places that I. Victoria just looks beautiful. They have a botanical gardens that uh, my wife really wanted to see. And it just seemed like Montreal was so different compared to any place else in North America, which is one of the reasons why I was personally so keen on, on checking it out. Uh, this game does have mods. Uh, I'm using the Thunderstore, which gives me the naming mod, which is the, like, the only one that I really care about. Um, I would highly recommend go check out Vainglorious Gaming's uh, recent, vo uh, recent VOD for, was it last Saturday? Um, and Vainglorious, I don't know if you're still on here, but you were experimenting with a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of mods. To the point that you lost me. <laughs> like, so I'm just like, oh my goodness. Um, if you ever go to Montreal, go to Quebec City. It's gorgeous. Oh, I'd be. Vancouver also seems amazing. Uh, honestly, it seems like a, a lot of places in Canada are pretty outstanding. So, it's. I want to get there. Uh, British Columbia is a nature paradise. Oh yeah. For sure. I could definitely see that. Um, Montreal is pretty difficult to be in, though, if you don't understand any French. Oh, yeah, I don't understand a lick of French. I I can make out some Spanish. I'm sure that's not at all helpful. <laughs> Just They're both romance languages. So as, as, as far as that will get me, not very. <laughs> Uh, was on the other monitor checking out the one tile challenge map coming up with a strategy oh i'm loving that i'm loving that what is so i i wonder if we're gonna have the same strategy um they will hate you in quebec for not speaking french <laughs> Well, that's a, that's a thing. My potatoes are inaccessible. Wait, 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 DJ. What potatoes are inaccessible? What are you talking about? Potatoes are inaccessible. Are you talking about these potatoes? They're accessible, aren't they? Um, yeah, they're getting to them. They basically walk up here and walk behind. Uh, Ghostly Wings, hi. Hi. Uh, you can't understand any uh, any of what, uh, uh, Quebec French as an amateur French speaker. Montreal isn't too bad. Most, uh, speak French. Okay. That's, that's, that, or most speak English. That's good. Or that's, it's not good. It's, it's, well, it's good for me. <laughs> I don't know if it's good for them. Okay. I don't know what, I'm very curious, DJ. I believe you. But I also don't know. 
I don't know how to how to solve it. <laughs> the one thing I know I want to do, I'm going to set both of these to harvest. And maybe just all of this stuff to harvest. I have a feeling this is going to be a bad one. But at least we were able to protect this. And yeah, we'll see. You're Australian and all you know about Canada is maple syrup. <laughs> Canada is very... Uh, it's, it's huge. It's very empty. It's very cold. I actually met a guy and when I was at... So first of all, I think whenever you go somewhere, the people who are the most friendly to me are always other Wisconsinites. We can, we can just kind of like pick each other out of a room. So I was going out to breakfast at this place and I bumped into another Wisconsinite. And he was from La Crosse. We ended up just talking about his Super Bowl experience in uh, Oklahoma City. And then the other one was a Canadian from Winnipeg who was uh, waxing poetic about how cold winters are there. And he said that his, it routinely gets to negative 50. And I assume because he was talking to me and he knew that I, I didn't, I, I don't know uh, Celsius, that he was talking Fahrenheit. And when I heard that, I was just kind of, flabbergasted because northern wisconsin we would get to negative 20 and that was yeah not good uh <laughs> yeah winnipeg negative negative 50 i, I want to know if that's if that's true phil looking looking at a sign in french well i can't tell this word i, I can tell this word is masculine yeah, yes so the question is is the hotel masculine or feminine <laughs> that is always the the fun part of uh of spanish <laughs> what is this Am I going to embarrass myself by saying it's a, a masculine hotel when it's actually always feminine? Uh, remove the path by the cattails unnecessary. It is unnecessary. We had that there specifically for this. Um, I could, I could, I'll get rid of that one. We need this one still. And then eventually we'll need to get, we can stop it right here. Negative 40 is about the same in Fahrenheit and Celsius, so the numbers might not mat matter there. So, okay. And ultimately, when it gets to that cold, it's just kind of take your breath away cold, so it, it doesn't matter. It's the moment you say that, it's it's brutally cold and, and miserable, and no one's happy. Your next camping trip is around Nova, Nova Scotia? Ooh. Uh... RB the tree, as someone who kind of speaks Spanish and French, you've got to say Spanish is much easier to distinguish gender than French is. Oh, so I could really make an ass of myself is what you're saying. So I have to take the cattails. I had to take out cat. Yes. Good, good call. Okay. We've got a lot to plant over here, though. As soon as these are done, someday, we're going to be planting a ton of stuff. I feel like... Uh, Things have been slowing down in a bad way. Oh, 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 oh. We're blowing some stuff up. Not because this is the right time to do it, but because that will make this a little bit deeper. And I'm totally cool adding a platform there. So we'll get a little bit more water to back up through here. That's going to be great. That's going to be great. Uh, I just want to say Calgary is an awesome place. I've heard that. Um, Calgary planners at American Planning Association, I want to say 2019, or maybe it was 2020. They gave a presentation, and I know that I, I, I they were actually advertising for American planners at one point. I, I saw when I was looking for jobs, Calgary was uh, advertising posts. Seemed like a very cool city. I might have looked at it, but it's a long ways away. <laughs> 10 Celsius is too cold for you. So here's the thing, uh, Brendo the Offendo. You think it's too cold for you, but reasonably, you get used to it. It's when it gets to... It's when it gets to, like, in Fahrenheit. Zero? So I, uh, let me see what that would be in Celsius. Um, zero to C. Negative 18. We'll say negative 18 Celsius. That's where um, 
that's where it starts to hurt to be outside uh where you you're it's where your eyes you feel pain in your eyes it's where you uh when it's colder than that it's when you have a runny nose and it starts to freeze on your face and uh when you get to like negative 20 fahrenheit which let, let's see negative 20 f to c negative 29 that's where when you go outside and you breathe and your breath starts being taken away and it just it's kind of painful but at the same time the one thing i will say when it gets really cold there is a calm that you just you don't experience and part of it is that nobody wants to be outside and the other part is the lack of humidity and then the other part is just the still and it's it like the sound of walking through snow when it's super cold uh there's a piece to it that i really enjoy so i i i did it's something that i didn't realize that i missed until it was gone um and it's a very specific thing that i think anyone who's lived in a snowy climate probably gets um but i certainly i i liked it a lot and i i, I like it a lot and i missed it when it, it didn't i didn't have it yes the squeak 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 the nice crisp crunch it's yeah it's it's something special exactly arma uh uh Amon, Amon, you totally get it uh steel airship you understand what i'm saying it sounds different outside when it's really cold and you yeah you still get the you can still get the cold it's not as cold you probably get the the best cold <laughs> where it's where it's reasonable cold Anything past negative 15 Celsius, negative 5 Fahrenheit for me is where you actually can't stand being outside. I feel you there. Um, we are forced to live uh, with that. We don't. Uh, we don't get. We don't get snow days for stuff like that or cold days. We just keep. We have to keep going, which is unfortunate. Diana, you had no concept of the cold. Uh, I think that we keep it as cold as we do to keep the prices down. <laughs> That's all it is. You bro, do you do you guys still have snow right now or no? There's a lot of tolerability for weather. It depends on how well your city town is built for. The Midwest has sky bridges and tunnels and stuff. Well, uh, not a lot of places. So Minnesota, I mean, the Twins, uh, Minneapolis has the sky bridges. Um, at least where I live, we just kind of suffer with it. Um, but it's not that bad. I mean, you have, like, we had two weeks of brutally miserable cold. But for the most part, I mean, it was like, you know, 32. Um, so at freezing. I'll, I'll, I'll make it I'll, I'll be better about it it was at freezing and that's totally tolerable you might not like it but it's not it's not bad uh just had this year snow making with negative 44 degrees Woo! negative 40 negative 44 negative 20 all cold uh here here in michigan we only had one cold day at school we get to negative 20 wouldn't chill yeah we had so we had we had a solid two weeks we actually had the most snowfall we've ever had in like a 24-hour period followed by one of the coldest days we've ever had during the warmest winter that we've ever had so i mean it it really speaks to how strange things are uh with with regard to climate change i mean it's just um you just it's 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 brutal it stinks it definitely does um be between the alt the, the crazy cold right now it, my fear is that uh the growing season is, is super screwed up because it's today was 55 for instance and when i got back from arizona we hit 70 it was like the warmest day ever in february so yeah pretty wild currently 32 uh 90 fahrenheit and you're dying uh so Caribbean. I assume that you are near the Caribbean. <laughs> that's that's really warm. That's really warm right now. Um, let's see.
Currently just turned autumn here, but it still feels like summer. Zigster. That, uh, I love autumn too. Ooh, bad water tide started eight days. Oh my goodness. This is the real deal, folks. This is what we've been preparing for and not finishing the job. So we're going to have to see if we can make it through this. We don't have very much water. Uh, if anything makes me uncomfortable, I think it's that. Um, oh, we still don't have a reservoir built. And this one is the nice start of one, but it's not there yet. Shoot. Well, it's been real, folks. <laughs> I think we're about to have a real bad time. A real bad time. I'm going to try to let some more water through here quickly. And I'll just pay close attention. Get this thing filled up. Oh, 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 oh. Close that one. Close this one. Got a little bit of bad water in there, but we're okay. And then we'll turn, we'll start turning these off. Where can I pump water? Well, you've got to pump water through this. Ooh. Ooh, this is not good. Okay. So you can pump bad water, and it'll still be fine. I haven't wanted to do this. Oh, uh, guys, we're just going to we're just going to pump some poop water. I think that's what we got to do. Oh, this this stinks. Okay. Literally, it's going to literally stink. Um This is our our number one priority. We are going to pump the poo water and drink it. And it'll be fine. The beavers will live. Okay. Um, I wonder if we could go for an even better water pump too. So we're going to go for a large water pump. We need treated lumber for this. So we're going to have to build that as well. Oh my goodness, guys. I should not be doing what I'm doing. I'm going to... Oh, this is so foolish. Yeah, we're going to pump poop water. We're going to... Oh. Then we have to clean this up. So we will clean this up. We're going to clean up our, our mess. But we've got to be able to pump something right now. So we're going to do that. We've got to treat our lumber. So we got to get the... Wait, do we, wait we, have this, we have this unlocked. Are we, were we doing this already? Are we doing this or did I, um, oh, we are. I just don't have a pile. Oh my goodness. Where are we even doing this? Uh, wood workshop. Oh, shoot. Okay. I'm sorry guys. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take care of a couple of things and then we've got a lot of time to chill and stress <laughs> about my poor choices um there we go these are the top priorities we have other things prior oh we've, we've got that built too that was wonderful low priority to catching these piles and okay okay so now we're going to really cook on this. Are we? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yes. City planner panics. I feel, I feel like I've made a lot of poor choices <laughs> and we are, this is probably the next poor choice. Um, I'm really going all in on pumping bad water and drinking it. <laughs> um, the next planner is definitely going to blame the, blame the current planner. What what good planner doesn't blame the past planner or the engineer? The engineer is always blaming the planner. I mean, truthfully, this seems like an engineering problem. Some engineer came through and was like, oh, we could do this. We definitely have the, the right filters for this. So don't worry about it. Okay, here we are. 
Load it up, Jeff, Chris, and Wild Paul. Pump the bad water. And uh keep everyone keep everyone going. Oh boy. Gross. Gross. What are they doing? He's just hanging out. Why are you just sitting there? What, what are you doing? What is going on? You won't pump the bad water? What's going on? I'm... I'm so confused. Oh, no. Oh, once the contamination is about 50%, they stop pumping. Oh, well, this didn't go to plan. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, now I've got all these resources invested in these pumps. And now I need to figure out how we're going to save the pumps. Oh, I've really, I've really screwed up here. Well, we can solve this. There's there's no problem too big. There's always there's always a fix. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here's what happens when you panic. You make bad decisions. And now we have two large bad water pumps. <laughs> Which is the choice? I I think it's the boldest choice. I think that there aren't many other choices that we could have made that would have been more interesting. Unfortunately, oh, oh yes. Okay. Well, this is the perfect time to kaboom all of this, I suppose. So we'll at least we'll we'll take a win here. Um, let's see. Blow this up. So we can get down to that level again. And let's prioritize that. We're gonna we're gonna make we're gonna make yes. Is it all bad water now? Uh this is. We are going to need to uh basically reroute the bad water around or open this up. So I guess we could temporarily open this. But yeah, we've got we've got problems. This is dry now too. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh my goodness. Let's turn this one on. Um, well, we got an ad break. <laughs> I'm gonna slow it down for a second. Uh, I will have the old Rasputin as well. Um, I can't wait to blow all of this up because it's it's kind of what I have going right now. You guys see where this is going, right? We will run out of water. We're about to have a real bad time. Um, the only thing I could think of is, okay, okay. How do we sell, how much water is in here? Hold on. Oh, that's not very much. Oh, I thought that was way more, um, hmm. Okay, yeah, we're just, we're going to have a bad time. I hope that we pull through. I can't guarantee it. We didn't build a reservoir fast enough. I could pump this little bit of water. It's not, yeah, we got five days still. Oh my goodness. Wait. <laughs> right before we kill all the beavers, we unlock iron teeth. Thank you for pointing that out. No, there's no clean water anywhere on the map. This is 100% my fit. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You pointed it out. You were right. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Hold on. This is our saving grace. Okay. This is going to be really stupid. But it's got, I think it's what we've got to do. Okay. So we will build a pump right here. And this is clean water. So I've got to bump it up. And then let's see. 
I think we can. I wonder if we could just. Okay, okay, okay. I feel. I feel like we've got this. We're gonna. It's. This is gonna be super hacky. This is not good. This is not. This is reaction. This is not planning. But it's what we've got to do. All right. And now let's see. Right there. Right there. Right there. And all of this and that thing. And. Yeah, we can keep going for that, too. It works. Okay, okay. I'll take it down. We'll calm ourselves. Oh, you're not sure you're with this idea? Uh, Carbine, I don't... I'm not with this idea. But I don't know that I have an, an option. Look at this. It's 50%. That's exactly what we need. We also need water storage. So we'll put a large tank... This is, oh, this is terrible. This is just, this is one of those things where down the line, someone goes, why is, why is this like this? And it's like this because we had a panic situation and, uh, we've, we've got to do what we got to do. That's it. All right. We're speeding along. We're going to see what, what happens. I feel bad. Uh, needs path next to the stairs. Huh? We've got path. Keep keep going there, buddies. Oh, we're oh no. No, it's getting it's getting dirtier. Uh uh oh how do I Oh there's no way to fix it. Oh no. Oh. There's a chance this works. But just the chance, it feels like it keeps slipping away. Oh, this is brutal. Just brutal. Well, at least we have this. We've got that going for us. <laughs> and a little bit more, let's see. Um there. Um Wow. Caprio, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. I, I appreciate that. I really, really appreciate that. I, uh, 25 minutes ago, I'm terrible. Thank you so much. And it's actually six gifted subs. Planner Duck, five more. Thank you so much. I missed, oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. Lower worker days. That would have been really a good idea. At this point, I feel like I need to work them into getting this done. Oh, I see what you're saying now. Right there. That was what you were saying. Okay. Once this is done, I'll lower the worker days to 12. And we'll see. There's four days left. Three, three and a half. Maybe. We might make it. We are, we're five treated planks away. We don't have any. I wonder. I should just... Okay, we'll just some treated planks right there. Um, if we live, we need to make that reservoir. Yeah, we need. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I completely agree. Okay, grab that. Go over here. Let's see if we can pump it. Let's see. Oh, this is going to work, everybody. We've got 300 water left. It has to work. We have no options. Uh, the other thing that we needed was the storage. Okay. Rocking and rolling. Joey, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? <gasps> Joey's pumping water. Oh, there it is. Oh, yes. No death wave. We have prevented the death. We're... <laughs> Oh, boy. So I know this was a little bit of an unorthodox plan. I th It worked. It worked. <laughs> Woo. Well. Bottoms up. That was very stressful. Would not recommend. We're going to lower this down to 12 hours. 
Prioritize my haulers. Prioritize this. I, I don't even know what we do with this normally. I guess we could keep it going. I. It's just, it's super random. We also have this one over there here that we have to fix at this point. I feel like it would be foolish not to. Oh, man, what a mess. What an absolute mess. Uh, we should try to make Timberborn streams into 20-minute videos. I, I should. I would need to be organized and talk to you guys less, though. That would be that would make me sad. Uh, set the new storage to water. Oh, oh yes, yes. Good call. Feel like drinking that bad water might cause a worse problem. I so I think they filter it. The productivity is just worse. So apparently this water is bad, but not that bad. <laughs> Be Swiggle how are you doing tonight? I can still talk to you. We can inspire more talking points in the video. I should. I should be recording these. But I am I am not. One of these days soon. <laughs> One of these days I will. I'm glad you're here too. I'm glad you're here too, buddy. The solution to pollution is dilution, and that's exactly what we're doing. Under two days, no one will die. I'm I'm disappointed that we didn't get this thing built. Once we have this, it should be fairly efficient to get back and forth. Um, and truthfully, uh, getting rid of all this doesn't seem like it was such a great idea now. But we did it. So, <laughs> uh, what am I drinking? I am currently having the old Rasputin. Now, what I'm glad that this one is is number two. Because this is supposed to be a warmer beer, or so I've been told. And it is very, very good. So, VOD stick for th 30 days. Uh, where's the direct link to download? Oh, yes, that's true. I could download it. I wonder what the quality is like. Though. I think it's only 1080. So, normally, I will start the recording. I forgot to. James. James. 10 gifted subs. Thank you so much. There's a lot of gifted subs that have gone out tonight. I want to thank you all for them. And um, just know, jump in the Discord. You'll get access to early uh, videos. You will get to vote in the primaries for governor. And I hang out in there. That's that's the first place I go on Discord. So we can chat. Unless, of course, I'm, I'm speaking directly with people, which I do too sometimes. Uh, <laughs> Myth Mort, you got 710 channel points now. I'm proud. Save those. I want to do another crowd control stream soon. And, uh, oh, there we are. It It's ended. So I want to do another one of those soon. Um, but I want to prevent all of the movement when there's disasters. And if I can figure that out, if I can figure out the mod to prevent all the movement, we're going to do it again. And I think I could survive it if it stopped moving. 8,100 channel points batch. That's impressive. Um, that or when we have some sort of celebratory stream, I'll do something super random. So crowd control, most of the games aren't city builders. Um, one of them is uh, Stardew Valley. So that's one that we could do. And then there's a whole bunch of just like older games. So like Mario 64 and stuff like that. So that could be fun. Totally out of left field, but that's one of the reasons I wanted to start Twitch. So we could do some out of left field stuff. All right, there we go. We'll just add all the bad water to the collection over here. Let it flush its way through. And oh, it back it went backwards through. I did not expect that. That was a mistake. I should have closed that up. Well, I might as well open this one now too, and this one. Actually, if I close this, I'll flush this through. Okay, we're we're almost back. Four water though. This is pretty rough, guys. It's pretty rough. Uh, let's see. I'm going to open this, turn this on, we'll open this up. And that should hopefully get this thing working. See what the productivity is? It's one. I'll close this one. 
Okay. Yeah. That should start feeding water through here and hopefully clean this up. We'll start pumping tons of water. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Um, the Jamie channel. If you tell Twitch, make a highlight of past broadcast that's about to expire and then drag the yellow box to fill up the whole bar, you can have Twitch keep a copy forever and you can make that highlight, uh, make the highlights later. That is super. Hold on. Sometimes you get little gems. You've got to remember. So I appreciate that. That one is going next to the shopping list where I have to get the Yorkshire Yorkshire tea, the Edmund Fitzgerald beer, the Twinnings, which we actually already have. Um, yeah, lots of good stuff. There we go. On the list. Thank you. You have lost nearly done uh, highlight VODs before that you could have just made from a non-expiring highlight VOD. Ooh, yeah. Always learning. That's hey, that's the thing with content creation generally. Always learning. Yeah, we got water. We've got to we've got to we've got to exp uh, detonate this stuff over here though, so we can add our water pumps back. So we'll blow all of this up. Oh, thing of beauty. Thing of absolute beauty. And let's get these water pumps back. We should probably go with large pumps now, though, right? So we'll extend this out even further. And. There we go. That is going to be a thing. That'll be hopefully useful. Um, Tyler Ball, thank you so much for the uh, for the biddies and hype train. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, the Slatch, thank you so much for the uh, the tier one. I appreciate you. Glad you caught me live for once. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, uh, James. Again, uh, James and Planner Duck, you guys are, are just amazing. I've already said it once. I'm going to say it again. James, Planner Duck, Caprio, thank you so much for all of the... the uh... Oh, oh the, the worker times, yes. Thank you so much uh, for all of the, the gifted subs. Appreciate you. Look at that. Look at how deep that is. I love it. Great idea, guys. This is going to save us. It's not, it's not all that we need. We need more than that. But that's a great start. And this is still working. <laughs> this thing is still, it's not great, but it's its still working. And we got this one. Productivity's up. We're going to refill that water quickly. Uh, a box, a box g -wer. A box, a box gwer. Gwer. Hello, hello. <laughs> uh, working hours back to normal. Good. Uh, time to unlock the large tanks. We got them. We got one. Just one. Probably should have more. Okay. So now... Two unwell beavers. I think we really escaped um, in, as, in as good of a situation as we could be in. Now, where do we go from here? We've got to finish this. That is a thing that we are still doing. Um, I want to be able to fill this up. We probably need... At some point, if we're going to have this be a bigger reservoir, we need to build up around here or at least replace this. Yeah, we've, this is probably our next thing. We're going to replace that with a double floodgate. Um, hmm. I don't really need a triple. We're, we're, we'll, we'll go with the double right here. So the double floodgate into this. And actually, we don't even need that to be. Hold on. I, I get I get this tendency to not use uh, the levees. And they're just a lot cheaper. And it'll still do the trick. So I think that'll really help out there. We just need to wait for this to be done. Um Uh, 
Cuckoo Dad, thank you so much for the uh, for the uh, for the biddies. I appreciate you. And CMDR Shepherd, thank you so much for the tier one. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. And James, uh, you're welcome. I really enjoy your content and love the storytelling. Thank you so much. Thank you for the the two months. Appreciate you. Uh, and I known rider. I know no rider. <laughs> thank you so much for the prime. Uh, happy level six hype train. Woo! Thank you. That is, is that the is that the that might be the largest hype train that we've ever had. Oh oh, we fourteen. When did that happen? I feel like an idiot for not knowing that. Either way, thank you guys. Wow, that's wild. Um. Okay. We're making some progress. I don't think we're going to finish our big project tonight, but we're going to keep making progress towards it. What is going on here? Oh, I see. We could be unblocking some of this. We've got a bunch of stuff happening over here, but I'm not going to worry at all about that. Um, this is probably going to be very foolish, but as I'm looking at this, I can't help but think if only this were rerouted to go straight here, we, we can't take on more projects. It's 11. Oh boy. Uh, James R on YouTube. Thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs or 10 gifted memberships. I appreciate you. Thank you so much, James. That, that is super generous of you. And anyone who just got that, anyone who just got that, make sure you jump on the discord and check out City Hall. Uh, Peace, Wigglehausen. You don't need to support me, but I appreciate you, buddy. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for the Prime. Appreciate you. Uh, Chuck, Chuckle Squad, five gifted subs. Chuckle Squad, thank you so much. Appreciate you. And Batch, thank you for the biddies. Appreciate, appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. Really, really appreciate that. So the question is, do we continue to take on projects when we know we don't need to or that we shouldn't? Or are we responsible and stop? Uh, you remind me of that old squad leader. Uh, does the name Porsche sound familiar to you? It, uh, no, it does not. I apologize. <laughs> uh, Be school cause it's it's free on your end of uh, things. Take some of Daddy Jeff's money. I, I'll do that. Caprio, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are amazing. Seriously. Uh, the support is it is certainly appreciated. Not necessary, but really appreciated. I, I, I want to reiterate that the streams are for me. It's 100% just like I get to hang out. <laughs> I, uh, I used to spend a lot of time in Discord. And I think and most people notice that my time in discord is way way less than it used to be um but i've been able to do the exact same thing with streaming and i've loved it and it's just been it's been amazing so um definitely not not the reason i'm doing it definitely appreciate it it's always you know very appreciated so thank you so much so on that note now that things have calmed down i'm going to ask you guys one question in a poll uh, I want to know, Brain Freeze, you're about to start a City Skyline City dedicated to me on your YouTube channel. I'll take a look. I will take a look. Uh, go shoot me a message on uh, on Discord, and just in case, to remind me. Um, I want to know, should I take on the huge Reservoir Project? So I would basically, this is going to be a, a one minute poll and you can buy votes. This project would be going over here. We would add dams and levees right here and right here. And then we would uh, blow this out, send the bad water this way. Uh, or yeah, blow it up right here. Basically, send the send the bad water around the corner, or even not do that. Maybe we just stop it all together at this source and swap things up there. So that that would be the big project. 
Um, either way, I am committing to finishing the projects before the stream ends. So uh, if if you guys want to do it, you I hope you stick around with me. I, I, this, I'm guessing the State of the Union is done. So <laughs> there are more people here than there were then, so I assume. <laughs> Yes, we've got to kill the source. And oh boy. <laughs> I'm not sure that anything has ever united the world like creating a large reservoir has. So we are doing it. All right. So on that note, I'm going to get right away to this water. And hold on. So I want to get down to here. Let's work backwards. Um, let's see. We gotta. That one's in the wrong spot. Okay. Once we have this. What am I doing wrong? I'm just not. Sometimes I just don't see it. <laughs> uh, there it is. And then we'll come all the way around here, right there. And for the water, we're going to cap this with the bad water rig. 4,000 science. And boom. So this will allow us to collect bad water in a safe way. It'll stop all of our craziness. And it'll reuse these platforms for something beneficial. And then we can unblock this. We can send fresh water out this way. Maybe even damn it off here it'll yeah it'll be good and then along with that we are going to take on a monster project over here and oh, i just love that it's letting me go as far as i want now it was always one of my big complaints before is that you couldn't um we are going to i think we'll just levy this levy and then damn and that's about the height that we can go, so that should be fine. And over here, we'll do the same thing. Mm, what is going on? Okay. There it is. And now we just need steps up and down. There we go. This is insanity. And I appreciate that you guys are willing to watch it. <laughs> uh, pardon my style. What? Uh, what's up, Mr. City? Been enjoying the YouTube. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Um, building lots of stuff and enjoying it. Uh, enjoying Timberborn a lot. Just doing weird things out here and loving it. Uh, school housing. The districts were a neat idea in theory, but just not executed well. Yeah, they were frustrating. That's... My main problem with the districts is they ended up being more frustrating than anything else. And I'd have a whole district die when everything else is fine in the other district. It's not not fun. Uh, Proton Tai, we've watched an empty chair before. This is nothing. <laughs> I wonder at this point, it's out of my own curiosity. I want to know how many people have watched this at this point. Oh, oh. hi, Maya. <laughs> 82,000 views on that. That, mean, that makes that one of the most viewed streams in the last while. So <laughs> you guys are nuts. <laughs> we have over 100 beavers. Finally. Finally. Uh, we have plenty of food and plenty of water. I'm inclined to go crazy um so how do you guys feel i'm thinking about going up we'll finish this level off and then go up one more um i yeah i, I want to know how you guys feel about that so i'm gonna ask a poll i know some of you can't see that right now i apologize um poll uh should we go up another 
few levels to our condo tower. Yes or no? One minute poll. Yes. <laughs> um. Oh, Gary, Gary's Gary's heading out. Thank you so much for being here, Gary. Appreciate you. Always nice to see you in here. Uh, build more food storage and maybe another farm. Not a bad idea. I think that we, we've got a lot of space right here for it, truthfully. Probably should. Oh, this is... I did not realize how fast this was going to go. We are... Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Okay, great. <laughs> uh, and... Uh, I wonder. So we've got all of these over here. We should plant more of everything. Okay. So more cattails. I, I always forget. Are these the cattails? They are. So we'll put some cattails in. And I'm curious. Is there value? And let me see how far this goes. Okay, down to here. Is there value in uh, eliminating these other ones over here? Or should we just keep them because we already have them? And I've, I've been yelled at in the past. I think I'm going to... I'll throw some cattails for the rest of this. I've been yelled at in the past. For, oh my goodness, a regular drought. That feels so quaint. Um, you've been voting yes? Oh my goodness. No one by four votes. And Caprio contributed 80 channel points. Wow. Uh, time to unlock a new housing style. That's why you went with no Vainglorious. Ah. That is a fair, that is a fair point to make. We'll just unlock everything. So what it what are the, okay, yeah, this is the one that. I always struggle with. I, I end up putting this one in the water. Um, and you can like have it face towards us, but otherwise it's it's kind of awkward. This one is much the same. <laughs> I don't know if that's how you guys do it. Yeah, Beastful Housing, you missed the vote and it was so close. It was the closest vote. But Vanglorious, we unlocked these ones for you. Um, I don't know how we would use the, this. These wouldn't fit in our con, condominium. I'm going to, at a minimum, finish this bit. And then maybe we do start more. more um, if we just need to start more housing over here. And the way that I normally would use these ones would be something like this, where you kind of rotate it around. I don't know if this is how you guys use it. But you throw it in like that. Uh, it's dropped a 10. Diversify the food and decorate. We do need to decorate. Okay, okay, okay. Let me see where this is at. I'm going to speed these up. And then we'll do a bit of decorating. Um, Where's this one at, too? Wow. I can't believe how far along we are with that. We actually have all the metal blocks that we need. The treated planks are going to be a problem, and so are the gears. But it's a lot better than I thought it would be. So we'll actually finish that sooner than I would have I would have imagined. Um, and over here, okay. So yeah, I'll finish this off. Then we'll decorate. But I, I don't want to start decorating until this is complete because I we're gonna need this for our drought, and I don't want to distract at all. And I think this this is gonna save us. I don't know how long this drought's gonna be, but I feel bad about it. Uh, is this my biggest beaver town? No, my biggest is about 200. So we're getting there. And I feel like this one is clearly going to be it. Every time that I've almost made a mistake and killed everybody, you guys have bailed me out. That said, I don't think you guys really believed in the in the whole drinking bad water thing, but we got that working. <laughs> okay, this is going to be the, this is going to be it. This is the end of the condo. And there we go. Uh, I will decorate this. This is all low priority, so it shouldn't really matter. Um, 
how do you how do you how do you decorate this and make this look acceptable? I guess maybe something like this. And we're gonna need to make some sort of scaffolding to make this work. And then for this one, I'm inclined to do something like this. Oh, hold on, hold on. Did I not? Oh, I've got to, I've got to finish this. <laughs> I didn't actually finish the path, so we'll finish the path, and then I'm gonna basically add another tier to connect these, and then we'll figure something out for the roof decorations. Maybe we should. Let me see. What do you, what do you, uh, noodle, noodle people? Good night, good night, good night. Thank you for being here. Um, great to see you. Rooftop pool. Ooh. You're a big fan of the trust the process philosophy of viewership. Most of the time, you guys don't mess with me. <laughs> Sometimes you do. But for the most part, I feel like you guys, you guys don't want to see failure. <laughs> Although you should. I mean, it, it definitely makes for more interest. So whatever you guys prefer, I guess. Do we get to this? Oh, that's a bummer. We didn't get there, but it's it's fine. Oh, uh, let's see. We got all of these, so that's how everything ended up okay. And I'm gonna I'm gonna actually get rid of these two over here because I don't think they're very useful to us anymore. And let's see. We'll close these up. Seven day drought. We can we can we can survive that. And we can even, oh my goodness, we can close up everything. That is, that is, that is really something special. Uh, and I didn't have this open. Okay. I think we're ready to go. Turn some of these pumps off too. These are monstrous. Okay. There we go. What do you guys think? Uh, there are trees near that. Uh, local wood cutting and storage. Uh, over near the dam site would help. Oh, you are right. They're going a long ways away. We'll, uh, I agree. I agree. We'll, we'll, we'll come up with something. I screwed up real bad right here. I don't know what I did. Oh, shoot. What did I do? What did I do? I just, I don't even know. No. Oh. Well, we'll be fine. It just isn't going to be as nice as it could have been. That's a bummer. Um, you guys don't tend to tend to want the high drama, although you probably should. Uh, I was wondering whether city collaborators might feel ethically obligated to plan interesting cities for your series. Ethically? <laughs> um. No. <laughs> Yeah, this was never deep enough. And it will get there, but we're not there yet. That's a bummer. Well, these ones will exist. These will be fine. Honestly, I wonder if we shouldn't be swapping out our carrots at this point and starting to plant some wheat and doing something more advanced in this area. Probably get our happiness up a little bit. Um, this is why you prefer dams to levees as opposed to floodgates in this game. So... Back before bad water, I completely agree. Um, we need to get this in a spot where we only have one levy that really controls everything. Uh, ultimately, that's our big problem right now is we've got a lot of levies. And if I miss one, everything gets screwed up. Well, we've still got water. We've still got food. We're, we're fine. Um, and yeah, we have lots of stuff to blow up. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna, I wanna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a beat on all of that, and I'm gonna do something else, another project, underground pile. I, I agree with B. Swigglehausen. We should have something else over here. So I'm thinking a forester, and we'll get rid of all these berries. We already have all the berries over here, so it's kind of overkill. 
and unnecessary. Uh, let's. Let's get rid of all of these. It's painful to do, but we got to do it. And then once that's gone, another log pile on the underground pile for logs. That'll allow us to swap some of these other piles over for more useful goods. And then hopefully we'll have uh, wood over here for other projects. Could put it right by the dams. Are you talking right over here? It's almost done. Kind of sad to see that the mega factory hasn't expanded much. We haven't needed it really. That's so we made this thing so big that oh 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 it, it's supposed to expand though. Hold on. So that was one part of our so the next mega factory project was supposed to be this. What? What is it mad about? What am I not seeing? Oh, what am I? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh, I didn't go far enough back. Shoot. So I'm going to need to pull it forward because I can't go backwards. So yeah, we're, we're still working on the, on the mega factory. It's not done. Uh, the reason I can't go back, though, is it will dig into the water and it'll leak back into it. So there we go. Um, and yeah, I didn't realize this was this far along either. I, I wish it would have finished just a little bit sooner. Beast will house him. Would have been nice. Um, so Jortman, does this is this going to make this better to have this when this is done? I'm thinking we are going to need power going to this thing. That's the uh, the only complicated thing. Because I think you have to go up to get to it. Building those into the water creates huge holding reservoirs. But the nice thing about the location is once this is done, we can blast these two right here and fill the whole thing in. So it's going to be amazing. It's going to be, it's, it's going to work really well for us eventually. But I think it's too soon to do that. All right. There we go. And now. All right. Oh, shoot. I've got to connect this up to the side, don't I? Oh, wait, wait, wait. So I'll look at this. I always struggle with the power for this one. So does the power have to go in the side right here? Or is it the front? I feel like the last time I did this, I got it wrong. But either way, we don't have access. Um, nope. Uh, too deep only. Oh, yeah. No deep water pumps. Cinnamon. Thank you for being here. Sleep well. Uh, and... <laughs> This has been a fun stream for me, so I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you were here. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, I'm going to blow these ones up, and I, we'll see if that works. I'm not convinced that it's the right approach. Uh, hey, CPP, I'm, I'm from Michigan, but currently in Stevens Point for work. Anything you recommend to do in places or eat if you're familiar with the area? I went to college there, but it's been a long time. Um... Go to Polito's. They're on, uh, we think. There is, I don't know if the Sky Club is still around. Uh, it is. If you want the authentic Supper Club experience, it's a little more upscale, but the Sky Club is good. And then there is a sushi restaurant right on Division. Or at least it used to be. <laughs> I'm looking at another monitor. I mean, hold on, hold on. And it might it might be gone now. Bummer. Um. Oh no 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 no. Go to. But now it's Korean Fusion, uh, Bro Kagi, uh, Korean Fusion on Division. Go check it out. 
that that would be uh, my recommendations. So pizza, Asian supper club. The other one that I would have recommended has been gone for a long time. Uh, it's a place called Plovers, and it was basically just like a a, a super crappy drive up um, burger place. But yeah, I love Point. Good good place. What's the supper club experience? Uh, you will get uh, your a multi course meal. You'll be able to get a, uh, an old fashioned if you want there. You'll get your dinner roll and your side salad and your your chunk of meat. And uh, yeah, it's 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 if you've never been to a supper club, it's worth going. Purple, thank you, thank you for being here. Oh, we've got to get back to yeah. I've I've deviated from this. We've definitely got more decorations that we've got to get. So we've got the the statue. We we were talking about uh, a pool. Carousel. Lots of different things that we could do. Um, we'll come back to that. We, we've got some time for that. We do not have any monuments. Um, requires access to water. Oh, this might be a reason. Turn these back on. Um, maybe we go with one of these. Yeah, we got 20 unemployed beavers, so we might as well uh, start building a bunch of stuff. Part of that, though, is we've got all these water pumping beavers who can't pump water right now. We could pump. Maybe we just do one. Oh, we're almost done. Let's just we'll we'll uh, pretend that everything's normal. And now we've got four unemployed beavers. Doesn't feel quite so good. Uh, let's get all this stuff open. Ready to go. Closed. Open, open, open. All right, all right. Might even just keep that closed and send all the water this way. Perfect. Yeah, they're essentially laid off. We, 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 uh, we actually don't have extra beavers. Once we get these couple more homes built, we'll be in a better spot. We never finished off the roof here, though. Um, going to hold off. The hauler shop is your low priority absorbs. Oh, that is really smart, DJ. And that's the other thing. I'll put that. The, I, I will. I will take your, your advice there. We'll put it low priority. I've increased that to 10. I like that. That's smart. Uh, the pool is called the Lido. This requires access to water, though. So we can't put this on the roof. This has to be in the water. So we could put this. This is another one that I don't know that I've actually built. So this is one where is this how we would do it? Okay. It's definitely cool. That's it. so DJ, this is exactly how you do it. Good. That's really smart. Um I think I think we've got three four huge projects going on right now and I need to stop. <laughs> I need to I need to take a step back because we've got this one right here. This one is nothing's even so actually it's really five and I never finished this one over here. I said I was going to add a forester and an underground storage. Uh, and we don't have access to this now. So that's another problem we have. Okay. I'm doing this because I really want to blow this up. Although I don't know how necessary it is right now. We're just, we're just doing it because it's going to be fun. Um, and then we'll need to blow up underneath here and then that'll be done. Uh, what's with the massive dam in the map corner? 
What are you talking about? Jortman. So we've got this one that we're making um, in the corner. Are you talking about this? So this is going to be our bad water holding solution. So basically, once we block this off and we uh, add some levees, bad water, if it gets to the edge of the map, will just flow off the map. So we've got our three main sources over here. The problem is this is just huge. It's taken forever. And uh, it's also going to, I think I overdid it. Basically, I started thinking about this as a reservoir and I should have never done that. Um, so I probably went a level higher than I needed to. Hmm. Yeah, I went a level higher than I needed to. Let's take it down a notch because then we'll actually be able to finish it tonight. <laughs> um, so we'll take it to this and then I'm going to draw the rest of it in so that we can actually see what we're doing. Um, so right there. And so like this right here will actually be blocked. This three spot right here will be levees uh, where we'll have it open most of the time. We'll have some levees over here. And then during bad water tides, it'll just flow that way. So there is a method to the madness. We're just not getting very far. And I think a big part of that is we've made this way too big. We're doing more than we actually need to do. I, I have a tendency to do that. Okay. That should do the trick for us. Um, and then I want to grab that. Good, good. So for the rest of this... Really, it's it's just a couple of pieces. This is actually closer to being done than I guess I had realized. So, we need some steps right here. I'm I think I'm just gonna get this all set up. So just bear with me for a minute. And let's see. It needs to be two levels higher than this height. So right there. So one level. Oh wait, 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 wait. I just need to keep building this. Um, city builder with supply chain and survival elements. Which one is that? Um, just making sure you saw the mention on the YouTube stream chat. Um, I probably missed it. Hold on. I am... Uh, I am moderating. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. We're not doing that, Elijah. We're not doing that. Thank you, but no. <laughs> uh, very good. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was super. I was in the zone, so I totally missed that. All right. We're not selling courses. We're not doing any of that stuff. That's not what we do. I don't do that. You shouldn't do that either. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think this is the height that we need to get to. And if we get to that height, we should be good enough. And then right here. We'll go with the three levy. There we go. That's it. That's it. If we can build that, it's done. All right. That feels, it feels like there is the chance that we could finish it. I don't know that we actually, I don't know how long it's going to take. I mean, we are going to finish it. I, I don't care how long it takes, but uh, yeah, I know that's the thing. DJ, I, I have this this uh, tendency to just keep going forever. <laughs> uh, I 
Mick Fuddlebutt. Hello. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is this is one hell of a damn at this point. It is we have we have gone off the deep end and done a lot. Um I kind of want to lower the priority on some of this other stuff. Like I, I care about this, but not nearly as much. And ultimately, we've got to get this connected to power too. So like that's another thing. This is probably more useful. Let's we're gonna okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna start to prioritize things in a way that actually makes sense. So we'll prioritize all of this housing. So it actually gets built. And then this is so close to being done um, with the exception of the treated planks. I'm inclined to just leave it. Um, and then over here, this is already good. So I don't, I don't, um, let's see how our little explosions going. There we go. I'm going to, uh, We're going to blow this up after we finish this. Okay. We're, we're, we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. I just got to... I've got to finish this one last thing. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Uh, let's see. DJ, you hit a new high of seven or of a uh, four fifty today. Wow, that's impressive. Bangalore, so you have a district with six hundred beavers. I uh, I feel suddenly very embarrassed. <laughs> I feel like I'm not doing anything over here. So it starts to lag at four hundred fifty. DJ, what's your uh? Oh, Banglorious, you just gave us our next stream purpose. Thank you, Iroh. I appreciate you. <laughs> uh, I think that bots are where we go next. Once we have bots, we'll have everything that we need. 3060 uh, XC. That's a pretty good system. Uh, your last YouTube series, the goal was to replace all jobs with bots. So the beavers could chill all day, reach 65 well-being. Woo! That is awesome. Uh, Sam, CPP, I have a question. The big dam, is it going to be used as a holding area for, area for bad water all season or just during the bad tide? Just during the bad tide. Now, there's a part of me that thinks that maybe we should have water pumping in this as well. Um, I mean, we reasonably... We could start our new uh, village over here near this and have basically an unlimited water supply most of the time and then disable it during the bad tides. And this should allow us to, to get rid of most of our levees over here and replace them with dams if we wanted to. So I think that there's a lot of different ways it could go. Um... Mythmore, you had nearly 800 once back in update two. Those were the days. Man, that's a long time ago. <laughs> you had seconds per frame, not frames per second. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I've never thought of uh, Inglorious to automate all, all of the beavers. I mean, that, that they live in luxury then. That sounds perfect. If you're a beaver, what more could you want? That's all I can also tell that you are a much more benevolent beaver ruler than I am. <laughs> Cause here I am just like, yeah, uh, I don't, I don't care. I just want them to keep going. <laughs> oh my goodness. You were playing Mythmort at four FPS. That is wild. Uh, you're very interested to see whether a bad tide prevention wall is going to work smoothly or just create a giant loop of pool. It will work. I 
I have I am a hundred and ten percent positive that this is gonna be perfect. I I feel it. I feel it. Um now when it gets finished, that's a bigger question. How long is it gonna take? It's taken about a million years at this point. Um what is going on? Like, I wonder what we could do to speed this up. We've already got our wood pile here. I think builders. I wonder if the builders would help. I will uh, I will increase the number of builders that we have. So I incre improve the priority there. I don't know where we took from. Probably food. <laughs> uh last time I was 110% positive in the in a uh in a stream, a super tsunami went over your wall. That's a good point, Skedaddle. Um, yeah, I'm still shocked by that. <laughs> it's funny. I, 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 uh, I, I was looking. So, we, my editor and I, uh, were working on a short for that, and that part of the stream is in the short, and it just, it's still. I'm still surprised by it. I shouldn't be surprised because now I know what happens. But I'm still surprised. <laughs> that stream was like a fever dream. We're gonna do it again. It's gonna be a lot of it's gonna be a lot of fun. But I feel like I don't wanna overdo it on those and have you guys think that that's all that we're gonna do. And I know that for some people, it really stressed them out. <laughs> I mean, I will I will be upfront and say I was very stressed out the entire time. I was also having fun, but I was very stressed out. Very stressful stream. <laughs> do you want to buy my course on how to be an epic YouTuber? Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, Mr. Ben Dover. <laughs> Teach me all of your YouTuber ways. I want to be the best YouTuber in all of the world. All of the universe, like DadBot. You should put a builder's village on that bad time dam so they all can't escape their duties. I should put them over here and really trap them. I'll just put some grilled spatter dock, a little bit of water, and a builder's hut. And uh, like one small thing, yeah. Hard to believe becoming an epic YouTuber only costs $9.99. It's a steal. I think you guys should all do it. <laughs> right along with uh, make sure you get all the Bitcoin, not financial advice. And uh, and become the epic YouTuber. Once you do those things, your life will change forever. I will tell you what. I think if you want to be an epic YouTuber and make all the simoleons, the way that you do that is by shilling Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> that's that's my hypothesis. And I can say bad things about them and they will still continue to contact me and ask me, would you like? <laughs> How do you feel about Raid Shadow Legends? <laughs> yes, Mr. Bendover got me. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna say anything bad about NordVPN. <laughs> not, not, that, uh, not that I have a Nord sponsorship coming up. Lucid Ghost, thank you so much for the Prime. And uh, Ghosty Man, thank you so much for the uh, for the Prime. Peaches Malba, thank you so much. Four months to your one. Uh, wait, wait, wait. It wasn't your three months. Just kidding. It's happy four months. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Peaches, great to see you here. Always. <laughs> Vanglory, is he going to go for raid? That's the real question. The nice thing about it is they seem to accept that they're a meme. And they allow you to be super uh, offensive towards them. <laughs> Hell no. Obviously, Green, thank you so much for the Prime. Appreciate you. Before we continue, let's hear from today's sponsor. No. <laughs> yes, so now we're not doing that. Uh, Lucid Ghost Official, I'm disappointed in myself. I thought I was subbed to you on YouTube for this whole time. Uh, mainly because I watch all your videos on TV. Listen, I totally get it. I watch most YouTube on TV as well, um, which might sound surprising, but that's that's where I do it. Planter Duck, 
Have a good night. I have to get ready for meetings in the morning. Have good meetings. Have a good night. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for all the support. Really, 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 really appreciate you. As always, thank you so much. Um, someone needs to advertise a uh, raid bug spray. <laughs> you know what? I actually need some raid bug spray. This house, I, I've talked about it on stream. There have been monster spiders that just like crawl down the wall. Um, because it's warm now again, we're getting back to spider season. And there is a chance that behind me, you guys will just see a spider that's like, I don't know, the size of the end of my microphone just going down the end of the wall. If you do that, I'll probably freak out, grab a grab a vacuum cleaner and suck it up because I just hate them. I know they're not friends. Spiders are terrible and I hate them. Uh, spider season here is in the fall. They're just everywhere all the time and I just, I just hate them so much. I know that they're helpful. It doesn't mean I have to like them. Killed about three since uh, the weather's changed. So I was my, so my wife got to me and she said, be nice to the spiders. They're helpful. So for a while I was, uh, sucking the spiders up in a hand vacuum. And then I would, uh, I let them outside. So in the basement, it's a walkout basement. And if I go that way, like out that way, uh, there's a walkout and I can walk right out and, you know, into the backyard. So I was letting them out. I'd walk out in the yard, I'd let them out. But then I saw one jet for the door and make its way back in. And after that, I decided that I'm killing all of the spiders that I see. I don't care. <laughs> or I'll flush them down the toilet. That's the other way. Maybe that. Maybe that's the more humane way. Pete is going to get me. I don't want that. Uh, Ian the Wonder Dog, thank you for being here. Sleep well, buddy. Thank you so much. Uh, you have 12 spiders, 5 jumpers, 8 tarantulas, 1 velvet spider. Oh, yeah. In their little enclosures, that's fine. I remember in fourth grade, we had a tarantula in, in our classroom. Didn't bother me a bit. I just don't like when they're just there. Uh, we are. It's it's time. Hold on. Big drought. So we're going to close up shop. Um, We are not. We are not full enough for this. I got distracted, as I normally do. And as a result, whoops, <laughs> yeah, whoops. That's, that's all I have to say for myself. Um, hopefully we can get a little bit more, more, more water through here before it dries up. But I don't, I don't, I, it's not looking promising. We're in trouble. My bad. Uh, we get a lot of orb, uh, orb weirs. They're large and make even larger webs, but they're harmless. So mine are just like the standard house spider. They're large. They're fine. They don't do anything. They don't even make very large webs. I just still, they, they're just so gross. In the South, we love spiders, mosquitoes, flies, and roaches are much more hated here. Yeah. I mean, we do have a lot of mosquitoes too, and that is a consideration. And it, I mean, it, it's very moist where I live, in humidity and water everywhere. So, good morning in Norway. Uh, anything with more than four or five legs is not allowed. Yeah. Yeah. Don't don't even get me started with the the other stuff. <laughs> As much as I love the basement, there are things I don't love. The different bugs. Um, you've gotten you've gotten down. Bad water with simple triggers haven't gone beyond that yet. Oh, you must be talking about Vangelis, you're talking about your uh modded build, huh? Okay, this is surprisingly good it feels very calm too calm um out in arizona we only get mosquitoes during the end of the rainy season uh then 120 degrees kills them all <laughs> i can see that i definitely saw uh that was one thing that oh that 
terrible. Uh, I definitely saw a lot of uh, flies and whatnot while I was out there. And I figured it's probably just a temporary thing. It seemed really wet while I was there. Oh, are we ready to bomb? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, that's good. That is really good. I think so. I, I have not been good about letting beavers be beavers and go in the water. So rather than building this up, I might just do that so that they have their wet fur. And that will get them back to work. Oh, we have a farmhouse right here. And uh Gwyneth is in here. Alright, we oh we're gonna we're gonna far I I I shouldn't have done this. Uh, we're gonna call them all again. We'll get rid of that. And I think we'll get rid of this here and plant more food. I think we're gonna go for something new though. And it's unfortunate that I put this here because I'm gonna demolish that as well. What a what a foolish waste. <laughs> but we're doing it. I know that I've just upset people, and I've, I'm very, I'm deeply sorry. But this is a much better spot for uh, for food food production. Okay. I think it's time that we finally invest in wheat. And we should be able to cover all this area, I'm guessing. Yeah, we can go even further than I'm going. Okay, there we go. There we go. Um, <laughs> never not let the beavers be beavers. I know. More food storage too. I think. So here's the here's the here's a different question. Should we stop with all the carrots? Is there any value to these at this at this point? Um. How do I figure that out? There's there is a way. Um. That's enough wheat for eight grist mills. We're going big. <laughs> Probably too big. Um, eventually, they could be turned. Oh, interesting. So, what do you what do you guys think? Should we uh, should we convert some of these carrots to something else? I guess I don't know what we do. More sunflower, more potato. Also. I think you're you're right. We will need storage for all this wheat. And I'm just going to go big. Um, there it is. It's going to take a while, so I'm not going to worry about that all that much. Uh, surplus carrots are important for... Uh, Snowman noses. Uh, trash poda. I agree. <laughs> Keep the carrots. Might as well. Uh, don't you get well-being? Oh, that's right. That's right. So, oh, we do get well-being. It's not a lot, but we get some. Grilled chestnuts. That's an interesting one because we have chestnut trees that we're not harvesting. I wonder why we don't have that. Bread. We'll, we'll get that soon. We have maple, too. So we can't do the maple pastries till we have the wheat. So we'll be able to make both of those. At the chestnuts, I'm, I'm confused about. Um. Oh. Shoot. We are just not, we're not roasting them. So grilled potatoes, grilled potatoes. So one of those at some point was grilled chestnuts. And I figured that we didn't need anymore we don't have any storage for it all right i'm gonna try to figure out if we can use if, if we've got some empty storage in our silly storage area and yeah 
Okay. Grilled chestnuts for both of those. That'll help us with our food. And then over here, we'll have our wheat. That, that's going to help a lot. Uh, a grill, a gatherer flag, and a grill. Prioritize those farmhouses. So the beehives, I haven't done the beehives yet because I have well, I was told, and I don't know if it was a previous stream or the one before that, to wait until you have uh, the beaver bots because the beavers will get stung by the bees and then they'll be injured. Chart, that is, that is a, uh, honestly probably the best advice that anyone's given all night. Um, okay, let's see. Medicines, paper, I'm not super concerned about that. Pine resin, not super concerned. Uh, the maple syrup, we actually should be doing something about that. And the cattail crackers, grilled potatoes. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, Clads, thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate you. Clads, I oh from Hey Guy Bud, Hey Guy Bud, thank you so much for the stream or for the uh, for the raid. Uh, how are you doing tonight? How was the stream? What were you guys? Were you guys doing Timberborn? And Hey Guy Bud, thank you so much for the tier one. Uh, wow, thank you so much. I I I I I think this is the third raid ever, so I appreciate that. Lord of the Llamas, thank you so much for the reset tier one. Some late night plan checking comments and CPP. Yes, please. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Iyarl. <laughs> thank you so much for the Prime. And obviously, Green, thank you so much for the Prime as well. Um, hey, guy, but the Beaver City is going really well. Um, we almost killed it. So basically, let me sh let me show you. I think we're, we're, our bad water tide is, or our uh, drought is done. We had a bad water tide. It was eight days. And we ended up pumping mixed, I'd say brackish bad water out of this little deep area right here. And that saved everything. We were able to continue to exist. And now we're doing things like capping this bad water by putting a bad water rig in. We are uh, building an excavator over here to try to excavate some soil. And we are building this absolutely massive dam and this has two purposes. One, it'll be a water storage normally. And when we have bad water, it'll loop the bad water out right here to the outside world. So that is what we are up to. Um, are we playing Project Zomboid tonight? I need to buy it. <laughs> we, are, we, are, we are supposed to be trying out. We have Chair Simulator that we need to try. And I did not add any mods yet. Just the naming mod. So we've got people like Dan, Steven, and... Uh, uh, the MacBray uh, Tavern uh, showing up. So, yeah, that's that's all we have right now. Yeah. This is a dam. It's a big dam. It's a big damn dam. I feel good about it. I feel like it's going to be good anyway. We're not quite there. It, it's, it's not good yet, but we're working on it. Uh, we should actually, now that I think of it, we should probably start getting rid of some of this nonsense over here too far um i'm gonna clean up some of this and then i think i mean we're almost done we need to think about having our path all the way around here and then finishing this section but I, i'm amazed this is the very last thing that we built um and we're we're getting there so how does the huge uh dam keep the good water in Oh, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> now that I think about it, I'm wondering if it's all going to flow out this way too. It'll, it'll keep enough in. Um, so what I was thinking is that, uh, and this is, I guess now it's something I'm, I'm a little concerned about now that you bring it up. I don't know if, I, I guess I assumed it was going to fill up right about here. And then we could have water pumps off the side here and basically start up our second district. I don't know if we need to do districts. I guess we don't need to do them anymore. Um, but we could basically do another colony over here next to this. Have water. We've already got food. We should be good. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, do you need a mod to import the list of names? I think you need a mod. 
because I, I basically the mod lets me point to yeah to names.txt but yeah uh phil welcome to be yeah welcome on my journey in the car for a late night diaper run hop with ponderosa <laughs> been there <laughs> uh, i use timberborn for mods but uh timberborn is not from what i hear the best place to get mods for this game uh it is mod.io that's the best place but i have never used it so i don't have the spiral staircases or any of the super cool mods i don't have any of that i'm super lame but i would i would highly recommend you know exploring it there's a there's a healthy modding community for this game uh wow we're getting so close here the treated planks I, there was some disappointment that I didn't in, improve the size of the factory district. I'm getting real close. The problem is I've created this mess and the only way to fix it is to really do a lot of relocation of things and we're stuck unless of course I could try to connect up this with our factory and then create a gigantic mega factory. It's probably where we go next. And then I could start more stuff over this way. Um, yeah, I use Thunderstore for mods. Uh, sorry, yeah, I use Thunderstore for mods. <laughs> I don't use Timberborn for mods. I think the Spiral Staircases is probably the one mod that I really would like. Because I've had to create some pretty ugly, chunky stuff over here. That works but isn't nice um hmm, i need to get people up here we're gonna make a temporary situation to get up this way i think okay do something like this just to get up here and build this nonsense and then Actually, we might even keep that there because we were supposed to build something up here eventually. We're not quite there yet. Okay, there we go. Temporary scaffolding. Ooh, what am I doing? I am... I got everything blocked off still. Or a couple of spots. Uh, we've also done... We've done a lot of excavation tonight. So we blasted all of this. Made a little reservoir here. I, I feel like we've done a lot tonight. 13 beavers aren't working. Slackers, indeed. <laughs> where where are these slackers? We. I wonder if there would be value. Um, so if I were to build... Uh, Red Oxer, thank you so much for the raid. Two raids in like 15 minutes. Welcome, Raiders. Thank you so much. How was the stream tonight, everybody? And what did you guys play? This town has grown a ton. It's huge. And look at that. We're almost there. We're almost there with this thing. Finally. Ooh, actually, this is bad. Uh, it was good playing through Final Fantasy 1 for the first time. I will admit... I have watched people play Final Fantasy. I have not played through it myself. I should. Uh, Miss Noma, thank you so much for the uh, for the uh, tier one for six months. Thank you so much. Super generous of you. Really appreciate that. As someone who's sunken a lot of hours into Oxygen Not Included, who has just now sunken a lot of times into watching this game, I can confirm it does seem to scratch a very similar itch. I've never actually played Oxygen Not Included. Should I? This city looks great. Need to watch the VOD later. I see it's uh There's been a lot. We almost killed it, but it's 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 doing well now. I feel like we're at a spot now where it's we can we're kind of almost on autopilot. Uh once we have the dam done, I think things are really gonna take off. I just don't want to leave these resources behind and I feel like we're about to. Um, so that's what I'm, that's what I'm really waiting on back here. We finished all of this up. 
We're all blocked in. I want to add this one. Actually, I can. Hold on. Hold on. So the thing I've been waiting on is silly. I'll just add some more steps. And truthfully, we can probably keep some of this stuff anyway. It's not bad to keep infrastructure like that. And get rid of that. Get rid of this. Add some levees. What is going on? It's not letting me add. That is bizarre. I don't know what's going on. Um, <laughs> do I have a mixed use zoning plan? Uh, listen, uh, Sunder Beast, I can make you very happy. Look at this. We have a bar. We have a warehouse, which... I've worked on some some warehouses in urban areas, not not welcome most of the time. And then we have housing right there. And there's a dance club. They're all connected. This is mixed use right here. It's good. <laughs> uh oh, the path. Thank you. That is the problem. That is definitely the problem. Couldn't see it. Okay, there we go. And now, I, I think what I'm going to do. I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff. And we're just going to go for it. Levy time. It is time for the levies. So I'm going to throw in the triple flood. Actually, we got to go higher on the... Uh, on the levy, so we'll go up a little bit more. Triple floodgate. And then. I want the, oh, I don't need to go that far over. I, I, I wouldn't go this far over. Ah. I want this to look clean. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna adjust this a little bit. So basically, I want to get rid of all of those. And then, let's see. I think something, yeah, this will this will this will do the trick. We'll get rid of those, add in these paths all the way around it steps down here to get our resources all right all right and maybe even one right here just in case i don't oh i don't think that we'll need these there we go there we go all right all right all right ran the chevy to the levee <laughs> Oxygen not included is so good. You guys are going to... I've already picked up one game tonight and two free ones. Um, You don't think they'll ever pick up those... Oh, my log storage is full. Hmm. We'll just go for it then. I don't... I, I just want it picked up because it's ugly. That's the, that's the very best reason to pick up uh, the lumber. Because the, the lumber all around is ugly. Time for underground storage. You're probably right. I had the one and I demolished it because I wanted to do the farm over here that we never finished. <laughs> Time for underground. Okay, you should you should cut them. There is a rubble deleter built into the game. I don't want to do that though. I I well, okay, okay. I didn't first of all, I didn't realize that there's a rubble deleter. I will do that right here. Oh, thank you. Banglorious, that was driving me nuts. <laughs> uh yeah, we're good on food and water. We do have all this wheat now though, and 
we don't have any way to process it. So that's probably one of the next things that we should be thinking about. We need a grist mill and a bakery just for these. But I'm reluctant to build more stuff because we've already got all these other things that we're waiting on. And I just want to finish something. <laughs> Um, the dead trees behind the farm are free wood. You talking about these ones? Those are, are you talking? Oh, these over here or over here? There's lots of, yeah, there's a lot. We have so much, so much wood though. No need for it behind the dam. Oh, all of these. It's a good point. Um, so, but here's how you make me, you get me to build more things. <laughs> <laughs> More things that I shouldn't be building. So this is we'll, we'll, we'll keep this as a low priority thing. Um, I do it will make it a lot cleaner, and I do appreciate that. This too, we'll get rid of those, and. There we go. That should get us partway there. Um, yeah, I agree now. Now we need the underground storage for sure if we do this. So this will be highly temporary forever. So there we go. Cut instead of destroy. I want them gone though. Yes, cut instead of destroy. But wait, 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 wait. But if I cut it, I have to have a lumberjack. I don't want the logs, no. So we'll destroy, do the same thing. So basically, if I destroy, if I destroy, do I get the, the wood or no? But they'll never get cut if there is no storage. So no point in building a lot of extra storage if you don't need them. No. Okay. Okay, then I'm going to get rid of this because I don't really care. I just want this stuff gone. This is like, like reasonably, this is, this is a vanity project. I want it gone because I think it'll look better if there aren't dead trees poking out of the water once we have our dam here. <laughs> uh, Jaren, thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Yeah, I love playing Timberborn. Timberborn is without a doubt one of my favorite games right now, and it has been for a while. It's it's just a blast. So I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but happy to play it. Uh, cut gain logs to up the storage limit. Okay. It would be more realistic if I left them. Maybe, but we're supposed to be making the most beautiful beaver colony, and now I mean our, to that end. That is going to be our excavator. That's going to be a, a big part of it because we can fill things in. We started to, to square this up to make it look like a nice, well-planned, well-manicured uh, waterfront. These are all things that are on my mind. Uh, you wish your area had that philosophy? My boat met its end due to a tree. Oh, bang glorious. That stinks. I, uh, I will be honest, even though I'm in the land of many, many lakes, I, uh, I never trust myself with a boat. I'm always afraid of that. And, um, I don't, I just, yeah, it's one of those things that's always got to me. Uh, crying autumn. I'm happy that I, I'm happy that I could, I could help in any way. Um, thank you. Thank you for being here and jump in. I try, I'm, 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 I'm around. Thank you for being here. Lake Valley. We, <laughs> you're a pretty new watcher and curious about the other games that I like. Uh, City Skyline, Civ. Um, I am a big fan. Well, I used to be anyway of NBA 2K. 
I'm less a fan now uh, that it's microtransaction hell. Uh, and then anything Nintendo. I mean, reasonably, when the Switch 2 gets announced, I'm a day one buyer. I'm, I'm day one if I can get my hands on it. I That's Nintendo systems, just generally Nintendo games. Yeah. DJ. Yes. Oh, so Animal Crossing. It's funny you mention that. I uh, I got Animal Crossing for my daughter's birthday, and I've never seen her more disappointed to receive a gift. Um, but I bought it so long ago that I couldn't return it. So I opened it the other day to try to play it with her, and uh, you know, I, I even I, I I said okay, we'll return it, and I took it back, <laughs> and we ended up going to Barnes and Nobles and letting her get some books. So, um, still wanted to play it. And she was so disappointed in my idea to play it that she left the room. And I ended up watching a YouTube video about Animal Crossing all by myself. So I have it. I haven't played it yet. I think I'm going to play it by myself. Um, but lately, my wife has been dominating the Switch, playing Tears of the Kingdom. We were all kind of playing it together. And she finally made it out of the eight-hour tutorial. And now won't put the Switch down. So... I think I'm done with the Switch until she's done with Tears of the Kingdom. Um, yeah, she does not want me to play Animal Crossing at all. Um, honestly, reasonably, I, I had never emulated anything on the Switch. But after all of the, the crazy stuff that's going on there, I'm almost half tempted to, to, to give that a shot now. Uh, I hear it looks so much better on the Steam Deck. I always intended to get it set up. Um, yeah. Sounds like a child that can smell a cash grab and hates them. <laughs> yeah, so... Isn't Animal Crossing a cute little animal city builder, in a way? That was why I got it. I thought that I could... She could build her village. Bet your kid only wants you to play Animal Crossing with her. My kids, uh, it's either Kirby's... Uh, what is it? It's like a Kirby eating. Kirby something. Kitchen. Kitchen. Um, Kirby's Dream Buffet. That's that's the one. Kirby's Dream Buffet and uh, the most recent Kirby. Always Pokemon. And... Uh, I, I, I would love to, to, to show her Mario Odyssey, but she doesn't care. Oh. Miss Noma, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, ho oh boy. So I think to answer your question, we're gonna need to blast right here. So you can see what the water's doing it's flowing out the end of the map. And that is precisely what we want the bad water to do. So we'll fill this up. We'll just load this up right there. And then hopefully the bad water wa uh, washes around. So I wonder if I need to blast this out lower to get the bad water to leave faster and then add a levee right here as well. Maybe that's our solution. Uh, Gourmet Race is by far one of the best tunes out of Kirby. I'll have to I'll have to look that up. Um always looking for new music to incorporate into videos. I incorporated a uh, Pokemon Arceus into the last one. I play Minecraft with my kids. Yeah, I uh I I mean I don't really know what I'm doing, but I still play it. It's fun. Um, so what is it about Animal Crossing that defends your kid? I have no idea. I, I, I am just baffled by it. It's like, to me, it's the least offensive game in the world. But just like showing it, she's because it's, it's stupid. I don't want to play it. Both of them actually have said that. So it's just bizarre to me. I don't, I don't know what about the game is so offensive that neither of them want anything to do with it, but. 
Yeah, it's it's bad. Look at that. We're finally getting this thing built. What I really want to see, though, I wonder. Maybe I just I, I don't know that I I haven't prioritized this. We're doing it. Oh, look at this, guys. This is a thing of beauty. We're filling up. We're holding water back. Actually, I should let this go. <laughs> um. Yeah, things are just looking good. JD Biss will have a great evening. City looking awesome with all those beavers. Thank you so much. Sleep well. Uh, what do they normally play? They usually play Minecraft. My kids do. That or Roblox. Although I just... I really struggle with Roblox. I don't get it. I don't know if it's just me being old. I just don't find it to be fun. It seems like today... Uh, my oldest is playing a game where you were... The goal was to become infected and infect other people, um, I guess. And I asked her, and then she was just walking around like reading books in a chair. And I said, well, why don't you just do that in, re in real life? Like you could read a book in a chair in reality. You don't need to play this game. <laughs> but again, that's just me being old and not cool. So Roblox is low quality games of instant gratification. That's what it felt like to me. And I'm glad you say that. <laughs> because I just don't get it. And I I I really want to. Like I want to be the cool dad that like plays the cool games with my kid, but the cool games are games like Minecraft to me. And yeah, I just don't get Roblox. $2.20 is coming back to Oceania. Uh, it'll be a long time until City Skylines 2 beats modded City Skylines 1. I don't know. Um, I think... I think they really screwed up by not releasing access to the uh, access to the store right away. Or the uh, access to mods right away. And I'm really curious about all the region packs. Once those come out, I think the biggest issue outside of the bugs, which are clearly very for being generous they're problematic <laughs> um the the big issue is just it there's just not a lot of assets and if if we would have have had access to a store for more assets i think people would the perception would be a lot different uh vanglo i don't know if you can ever fix C, uh, cs2 until they fix zoning oh man i hope they can fix it it's it's amazing to me that uh, the zoning toggle wasn't part of the vanilla game. Just crazy. Lego Fortnite is a whole other thing. Might be another kid-friendly city planner-like game. Okay. I I will uh I will take you up on that. I will take I'll check that out. So the zoning is uh, in City Skylines 2 is both like, I, I, I don't think it's a deal breaker for me, but I hate it, if that makes any sense. I've figured my way around it, um, but I think it limits creativity and it forces you to really stick to very precise grids. And it also forces you to use that terrible grid tool. Uh, White Mike, good to see you in here. I know you just released the one tile challenge. Do I plan on adding it to the thunderstorm? I will be honest with you. I didn't even think about it. <laughs> yes, I should. I will get that on there. I, I hadn't even thought about it. Jesse Kitty, thank you so much for the, uh, for the biddies. Appreciate you. You just downloaded Magnolia County. Yeah. I, so I, I'm at that weird point now where like, if, if the new uh, solution is released at any point in time, like Magnolia County, it really should be formatted correctly for um, for the map installer and not using my my little uh, batch file. But I'm afraid to touch it, and it's kind of the same thing with uh, if I if I if I make this other map available, I'm probably going to use what I know, which stinks, and I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, if I wanted to get into Animal Crossing for the city building aspect, look into Animal Crossing New Leaf where you are the mayor. Ah. 
What is is that? Is that we you? Hold on. Animal Crossing new. Ah, 3DS. We do have a 3DS. And they still sell it. Let me see if I can get them into this one. Um. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, batch. It is a batch file. Um. Zigster, you struggled to download the Magnolia County save. How do you do it? Um. Well, so first of all, what do you mean you struggled? Um. So basically, you should be able to just extract the files and then run the batch file. It should just move it where you need it to go. Um, but otherwise, if you look at the text document, there's a path in there. Copy that path, paste it into, into File Explorer, and you should be able to just paste it right in there and it'll work. The weird thing is it'll be a read-only file, um, so you'll have to open it up. And if you want to modify it, you'll have to, you can't overwrite it. But yeah, the batch file, if you, if you run it, I, I know. So I thought I would be, I thought I'd be cutesy with it and make it look like, um, something you'd find on the pirate bay from like 15 years ago. And I think I made it look sketchy. <laughs> so I'm sorry, everybody. For legal reasons, obviously modifying and or emulating are obviously not something that you can recommend anyone do. I think that for video game archival purposes, emulating should be fine. I I, I have one of those little uh one of those little uh SNES emulators that Nintendo released. And it's kind of wild to me to think this is like just straight up playing ROMs. And uh you can add more to it, uh, and it'll work just fine. But of course, Nintendo doesn't want you doing emulation unless it's their emulation. <laughs> oh my goodness, we're almost there. And for this, where are we at with this? We're almost there. Oh my goodness, everybody. We're actually going to finish things tonight. And then we can do Chair Simulator. The real star of the show tonight. I'm really curious... Uh, if, if, if that's actually gonna be an option in Twitch to switch over to it. Uh, Jerome, you saw my video of SimCity 2013. What a shame how the game turned out. See us fill the gap. Still, there's something missing with the older SimCity, that the older SimCity games, like the music, storytelling, the city sounds, etc. Sometimes I still listen to the cities. The SimCity 4 music. I completely agree. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I can't... I just wonder if they would have released an update that would have uh, opened up the whole map, how things would have turned out. It would have, obviously, they, there were issues with the game be beyond that, but I think there were a lot of people who would have been willing to be a bit, a bit more forgiving. The map size was just a deal breaker. I mean, it was a deal breaker for me. It was a deal breaker for a lot of people. Nintendo thinks any game played on non-authorized hardware is the def uh, is definitively a pirated game, but like I have a physical game cartridge. Yeah. So here's my problem with that. Uh, I was one of the few people to buy a Wii U, and I have digital games on there. Uh, some digital games that are not available anywhere else. So let's say my hardware crashes and they shut down the store, so I can't get the world of goo on the Wii U, again, because they shut down the store, but I paid for it, uh, and that game just disappears? That, that doesn't seem right to me. So I, I think that unless they are gonna keep their stores open forever, or they are going to give you physical media for everything, we should have the ability um, to emulate things that we've purchased and paid for. You can store software in any format you want. You might. Uh, you might void a 20 plus year old warranty, but they can't stop you legally. Just makes you feel bad. Uh, just make you feel bad about it and think it's illegal. Yeah. DJ, the Wii U, totally an underrated system. Loved it. I, I, uh, I mentioned this before, uh, but I stayed in line and I was number one in line and there was no line at Best Buy in Denver. Super sad. <laughs> 
I uh, hope to see this, Phil. I have a question. Do you think that Colossal Order made the same mistake as EA with SimCity and forgot the roots they won with? No. Reasonably, I think that Colossal Order um, didn't have the time to finish their game. I think that uh, it was a... Uh, they... I don't... I don't think that they would have wanted to release it like this. Um, and I mean, bluntly, I could tell you from being in early access, uh, most of us were taken aback by the state that it was released in because we thought that there was this big update around the corner. So, and I think that they would have loved to deliver that, but the, the problems were just too big. And the push from uh, the publisher to, to get it out there, the publisher c controls, I mean, the CEO kind of uh, uh, insinuated this at one point. The CEO will control all communication about when things are published, and that is because they control that. So I think that – I don't think that they missed out on their roots. I think that if the game would have been finished, um, it would have been game like a, a contender for game of the year. Uh, I think it would have definitely been simulator of the year, not Pikmin. So, uh Yeah. Wii U was lovely and misunderstood. I completely agree. And I think the proofs of the pudding there, half of these games on the Switch are just Wii U games. Donkey Kong, Tropical Freeze, Mario Kart 8, uh, Breath of the Wild. <laughs> these, are a bunch of, these are a bunch of Wii U games that, you know, it's kind of wild to think all these games ended up getting re-released and people love them. Piracy isn't stealing if buying isn't owning. That's a take. <laughs> That's the one that gets Nintendo to go after you. <laughs> but true. Like if I can't if I can't own something, yeah, that's tough. Um Wii U was three years too early. Then they did to perfect that tablet thing. Yeah, the, the, well, the thing about it is when I got the tablet for the Wii U, I thought that I'd be able to go a reasonable distance away. And it just it, it wasn't that like you get through a wall and it just cuts out um so the an idea uh, example in my first house i thought that i'd be able to go so we had my first my first baby i thought that we'd be able to go from the living room take the tablet into the baby's room which is on the other side of the bedroom or the other side of the living room and i couldn't it couldn't shoot it through the wall so as a result, totally, totally useless <laughs> in terms of the tablet. And the tablets, they 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 die, so they have a limited lifespan. So there's there's all sorts of reasons why uh, it, the pro the system had problems. But it wasn't the games. And truly, if you were playing with a normal controller, it was awesome. Uh, Zixer, you would have rather had CS2 uh, get released one year later and been an amazing game. I kind of wish that they would have just delayed um, until console release. Because, I mean, reasonably, it seems like when the console version gets released, a lot of the uh, performance issues will be resolved. Because, I mean, just reasonably, from having worked on uh, console release releases, if the performance isn't up to snuff, Sony... They're not going to let you release it in the PlayStation. No way. Uh, same thing with Microsoft. If there's a bug, it's not coming out. It crashes the system. No way. So I think that's honestly the biggest reason why that got delayed is like you just... Uh, Microsoft wants the performance maintained at a consistent uh, FPS on the Series S. So the Series S is probably the limiting factor across all of them. So yeah, it's... I think that delay would have been helpful. I don't know. I don't know. It had to be a year. But I think, I think at least through console launch, whatever that's going to be. Shame that City Skylines 2 has somewhat ruined the reputation of the game. I believe they should have waited until it was more polished. I'd rather have a game be polished in a few months than have a poli uh, uh, polished and pushed by a few months than having a polished game than a buggy mess that with missing features. So that's the, that's the, the funny thing about it all is... People were looking forward to City Skylines 2, but up until last summer, no one had a date. So the date was very fast that was pushed out. And so I think people were like, well, cool. Like, we'll, we'll take it, obviously, if you're going to give it to us um, that early. But 
that was a self-imposed deadline. Like it wasn't like they announced the game in 2022 for uh, a fall 2024 or 2023 release. Um, they could have said whatever they wanted. Poplar Ponderosa loaded up Smallville. Isn't it small? 600 meters by 600 meters. Good luck, buddy. They are closed. I want to I wanna save a bunch of water. We haven't been having bad water tides. We've been having a lot of... Uh, we basically been having droughts. So I want to see what happens. And it looks... It looks like we know what's going to happen. It's not going to fill up beyond this point until we add another floodgate. So that's good and bad. I mean, at least we know now. Uh, let's see. So that's going to be three levels above this. We've got to build that. Um, give me a second, everybody. Gonna get this thing going. So the real question to me at that point is... Oh, shoot. Actually, I gotta move this back. So I think I need to go all the way back. Ah, uh, no, no, no. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work the way I want it to. Um, I don't know how big. I mean, I have to make this thing really big. I think we're gonna we're gonna save this part. I've gotta give that more thought. Uh, every blank space has to be filled. I had the right idea. Yeah. So I think I need to go all the way along here and then just keep this spot open, and then fill all this up. But it's going to be much more uh, lumber effective to put that back here. So I'm going to get this set up. We are not going to finish this part tonight. This is this is a lot. And part of it, part of the reason that we won't finish this is this. But I'll get it teed up. So I'm breaking I'm breaking my cardinal rule right here. <laughs> um. Do I use CDs? No, I got rid of them. Why do I use single levies? Uh, mostly because that, isn't that all we have? These are floodgates. So, yeah, we, we have the... Oh, that's all we have. Um, no, my CDs, I basically... Uh, when I moved to LA, I didn't want to take them with, so I put them all in iTunes. I loaded up an iPod mini, and I gave all my CDs away. And I, I deeply regret that. <laughs> ah, I feel I feel like I should finish this. But I want to play chair simulator. It's almost 1 a.m. my time. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a responsible person. Oh my goodness, did I just oh no. Okay, never mind. I, I started to get worried that we weren't actually going to be able to let water out anymore. And that would be a problem that we'd have to fix right away. But we're okay. We're okay. Uh, let's take a look at this over here real quick, though. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. So that's huge. I'll lower this. Um, we're going to have just clean water flowing through here. And I've been waiting to do this for a while. Finally, finally. Oh, there we go. There we go. And I'll need to get rid of some of this stuff as well. See all the progress, all the progress it made tonight. It's been, it's been amazing. I can also get rid of these. and collect our stuff all right
right, all right. Look at that, everybody. Look at that progress. That is good. I think once this is gone, we will need a, a dam here. Mm. Okay. Pooch, good to see you here, buddy. It's going really well. Going really well. Uh, will the dam even fill up as the water will just overflow over the source blocks? I think so. I think it'll fill up. Yeah. Not 100% sure, but I think it will. So. The water flow is just terrible now, though. And I'm wondering, that's all the way down. Yeah, I've just killed the flow because so much of it's going backwards now. Oh, so much regret. So much regret. Hmm. Well, that is that is going to be a problem for the next one. That is, we we're we're three quarters of, of the way there, and this not a high priority. I think we'll leave that one. Um, yeah, I'm going to finish this and then I think we are probably going to call it and do something stupid and try a new game on stream. <laughs> we'll try uh, a couple minutes of chair simulator. Okay. Okay. Damn right here. Good. A problem for future CPP. Agreed. <laughs> uh, we are, uh, so I've seen a lot of people playing the store simulator. Is it is it fun? Has anyone here played it? I haven't. Move the blocks a block or two for the edge of the map so the water doesn't gl uh, doesn't glitch. That'll happen. <laughs> that is not what CPP means. <laughs> If it'll glitch, I'll definitely move it. Um, so my guess is I've got to. So I guess the, the thing I'm the most concerned and curious about with this is how we handle this area. Um, I, I guess I just don't know. So that'll be the thing that we're experimenting with the most next time. But there we go. That's that's the general setup. We'll need to provide access to it. We got to knock all this stuff down. Um, but we're 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 making good progress. Probably would be really inefficient, but a town on that big hill in the center would be cool. Yeah. So that's that's kind of where I'm leaning. Like that this should be its own little district without a district center. And it'll be a little town. And once we have all this built, the water should fill up all the way to the top. Now, the thing I'm wondering is if I need to place floodgates right here. And then it seems like I've created this whole thing for no reason. <laughs> that might be where we need to go. We'll have to see. Uh, you did something like I'm doing on the map. You just have to block the, the back exits off and it'll fill up. Okay, that makes me feel a, a little better. It's just the interim that's kind of uncomfortable because we had so much water flow before and it's just it's just ruined now because of what we've done over here. It's to the point that this is gonna, I'm probably gonna sneak a stream at some point sooner than Thursday because this is gonna bother me all week. <laughs> We'll see though. We'll see. I also want to make sure that I get the uh, the next video done. So, all the priorities. You know what that large reservoir what reservoir needs? An amusement boardwalk pier with all the rides and pleasure items. That honestly sounds pretty darn cool. 
Uh, crying Autumn, there's a thrift store in your city, huge selection, especially of music, sadly. Doesn't have any CDs of bands you listen to. That's because the I think anything that is reasonable and good, people get it right away. There are people who make it like their mission. I just don't have time for that. I wish that I did. Oh, and guys, I said I wasn't going to do this today. And then you see it happening. You see it, don't you? I can't help myself. I just, I just can't help myself. And I blame you guys. If you guys weren't sitting there supporting this, I wouldn't be doing this. <laughs> you want annoying merry-go-round music too? I'll pick some up on epi ep Epidemic Sounds. <laughs> 4 a.m. stream. <laughs> Hank, you just got here. But you, you are in the same time zone as me. You're in the same city. So uh, you shouldn't be supporting this either. <laughs> Honestly, this doesn't seem like it's going to be that bad. So I feel like even though I shouldn't. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Whoops. Even though I shouldn't be doing this. It's just so hard to stop. It's just so hard. <laughs> Especially when things are, are moving this fast. Uh, there we go. Oh, just so It's so tempting to just keep going. Who needs sleep anyway? I know, right? I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm waking up. And the main thing I have to accomplish tomorrow is taxes. So that makes it really attractive to not do that. <laughs> oh, the beavers shouldn't sleep. We could take away their well-being and force them to work on this forever. You know what we should do? I wonder if there's anything that we can turn off. You stop. Uh, maybe we'll stop this. Yeah. Stop that. We got two beavers now. They don't know what to do. I've got things for you to do. I think we're going to build a temporary. And I always say temporary. And then it ends up being permanent. Builder's hut. Then I also want to look to see if we have uh, stuff like this. Oh, my goodness. Look at all of the gatherers that we have over here for berries that are full. That is absolute nutty. There. Five beavers, all of which can become builders and go build this stuff for us. There we go. Uh uh, Vegasaurus, good night. I can probably chill on the water pumping. Are we full? We are. Yeah, I could chill on that. Even more beavers. Now we could probably get some more haulers. And truthfully, we should probably get rid of those ones anyways. Um. All right. Good. 14 beavers. That means we get even more. And we'll just temporarily do this. And I made it super ugly, so I know it'll be temporary. Uh, Malphone TV. Milwaukee resident. Hello. Had some new Glarus. Two women. And, uh, nice. Nice. I also had I had some uh, Papa Murphy's. And now I'm having a North Coast. Salute. Is there anything in the science trees that you've been looking forward to unlocking? Um, honestly, I was looking forward to unlocking landscaping the most. And I got, I got it. So at this point, I don't really know. Oh... This doesn't even matter to us anymore. Outside of I don't want all the beavers going in the bad water. Um, we should be able to make it through this just fine. Yeah, that's true. I So I think the main thing is probably 
some of these monuments. I'm going to go for it. Let's just unlock all the monuments. All the monuments. There we go. And the decorations. I'm going to go for all those too. How many can we do? Oh, yeah. This, honestly, super satisfying <laughs> to go through and just unlock all this stuff after this like yeah i don't i don't know what we need um all that science production force maybe we turn it into something else oh shoot all the bot stuff that's actually what we should be working towards we unlocked a lot of stuff i feel good about that and then all of our metal so yeah we've got some stuff to do We've got stuff to do. <laughs> I made it super ugly, so it'll be temporary. So it's gonna be there for two hundred years later, and uh, yeah, this will be. This, these are historical landmarks. It's very clear that that's that is what will happen here. <laughs> I'm wondering how much of this we can get done in the next little while, and if if we just finish this bit so let's say we just get to that I wonder how much that does for us all right here's where I prioritize everything and nothing so I think I'm gonna try to get the bottom layer and if we can do that that should that should really uh Help us get a long way. Uh, Malphone TV. Yeah, you got to get this game. This game's awesome. It's it's amazing. Do all the well-being stuff. I think that's a next time thing. Uh, the Jamie channel. Have a good night. Thank you for being here, buddy. Thank you so much. And uh, Caprio. Thank Caprio. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the support. Thank you for everything. Hank, thank you so much for the biddies. Uh, just a kitty. I think I, I think I got you. But I'm gonna thank you again. <laughs> Lilith, uh, Siegel, one of the best city builders, just came out a few months ago. Plays a beaver management game. I love this game. I will I will uh, gladly play this game. <laughs> and for an early access title, there are surprisingly few bugs. Uh, Crying Autumn, get some rest. And uh, thank you for being here. Appreciate you. Hope you hope. Uh, hope you're doing well. Yeah, Pooch. This is early access. I have never experienced a crash. No serious bugs. Um, just lots of content that comes randomly and free. So it's been uh, it's been uh, an excellent experience. This is the way early access should be. Yeah, the bad water stuff, like Jamie says, all in a patch. That could have been DLC. They could have easily, um, and I, I. So I think about a game that my wife plays a lot, um, Polytopia. They have like little five dollar patches here and there, and I really think that for bad water, they could have, if they would have come out of early access and said this is the full game, and our first patch, our first DLC is bad water, a ton of people would have bought it. I would have, no problem, like just no problem. <laughs> and they would have earned it. I mean, it's a, it's a, it really changes the game in a, in a big way. Yeah, bad water. Uh, that's what we're about to experience. So as soon as that happens, I'm basically just going to close these up. Um, it's basically poop water. Okay, so now I need the beavers to escape the bad water and I can stop you from going over there you're done <gasps> no no you found another way how dare you okay cool we're just gonna have a bunch of sick beavers oh no oh no okay okay I will get rid of that. The solution? 
we'll have a two hour we'll have a one hour work day you guys are all done leave go away stop working oh my god they want to go oh, they want to chop down the wood now oh look at this guy look at this guy just raj no leave get out of there negative nine hunger thirst and going through bad water perfect all right so now that they're all out and they could have a normal day okay now it's good i want to see I, I i will stop when this thing is done so i think that we will just get this thing going we'll make that the highest priority and then we'll call it how long do beavers live for i don't know truthfully 50 some odd years um we can't organize by age either does anyone know yeah we've got medical beds we've got six of them right here but we have we're doing fine actually at max well-being you've seen them hit 80 vainglorious whoa we're at 19 this is like next level for us uh and i've uh I've, i forgot all about this so we were supposed to add a grist mill and um a bakery for this so this is going to be wildly inefficient, but I'm going to I'm going to actually add that now, I think. No, I've got to I've got to stop myself. Got to stop myself. <laughs> uh, so let's get this thing built and then we are going to switch. Happier the beavers, the longer they live. That makes sense. 60 to 70 for an average happy beaver, 84 blessed guys. <laughs> add it or I will forget it. You know what? You're right, and that disappoints me. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm gonna just. Hold on. Get rid of that. I wonder if we could sneak one over here. No, I placed this really in a, in a silly way. Um, so the, I, I just, I'm wondering how much power the grist mill actually needs. 60, and this produces 150 or 244. So what I've done here is pretty silly. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna rearrange some stuff. Mm, what I think we're gonna do is We'll add this right here. And another grist mill. And then... So we've got one bakery right here. I think I'm going to add the second one. We'll just have a little bakery district. And even though this is a ways away, I think it's going to be... No, oh, no. We'll we'll add the bakery over here. It's, it's close to the resource. That's probably where we should put it. And then next to it, a warehouse for the bread. And reasonably, we could have a couple of bakeries if we really wanted with the maple. Um, bread, bread. And this is wheat flour. And I got rid of, what did I get rid of over here? What did I, oh, a grill. And the grill was making grilled spattered out. Okay, so we replaced everything except for the storage. I think I'm still short on storage somewhere. Uh, DJ John Mary, thank you so much for the biddies. Appreciate you. Good morning. We've been at this for a minute. <laughs> uh, but we've had a we've had a big day. We've done a lot. Let me. While we're waiting, we're about to end uh, our, all our work here on Timberborn, but we've built a lot. We capped our bad water over here. We opened this up. We've added a ton of these large water pumps 
Got a ton of water, uh, a ton of food. Made a little reservoir right here. But the big thing is we made this gigantic reservoir and dam complex and then found out that because we weren't backing the blocking the back end, we killed all of our water flow right here. So uh, good intent, bad execution, but fixable. Uh, I Yeah, I played Banished a ton. Um, probably more than I should have. I've, I've got a ton of hours into that. Uh, Ring loves me. Thank you so much for the tier one. Appreciate you. Three months. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and uh, Malphone, thank you so much for the prime. Appreciate you. Uh, for both of you, make sure you hop on the Discord, early access to videos, all my save files, and the ability to vote in the primaries for the governor of Magnolia County. So definitely want to check that out. Okay, once we're done with this, we're going to move on to the next thing. But we are short on treated planks. That's our big deficit right now. So I think we're going to try something. I'm going to try to connect up uh, our, our little complex right here. So this is probably uh, a foolish thing to take on right now, but I think in the long run, it's the right choice. So basically, I'm going to turn that shaft right there, pull this one down, and then just try. I think I should be able to connect this over the top and get into the, into the top right there. I don't know if that'll work or not. Oh, actually... Right here is where I should be doing it. Uh, yeah, we'll get rid of this and those. And... All right, all right, all right. I think I've got it now. Um, I'm just trying to take this power and connect it. Up. It's through the building. Uh, but once we have that, as long as I do this right, and this is going to be the, the, the big sticking point, I should be able to turn it and have more factories over here and continue our factory district. Oh, so I don't love what I'm doing right now. This is going to get really ugly really quickly. Um... Okay, uh, attempt two. We're going to spin it around. So basically... Um, something like that. And then I'll turn this. Oh, that's not going to work either. Oh, I'm screwing this up. And I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep working at this. I'm not looking at chat until I get this figured out. <laughs> I, I've got to get this figured out. So if you're if you're wondering, that's what's going on. Okay, there we go. All right, all right. That was a lot. <laughs> um, I'm so low on... So I barely have any... Oh. Wait, I don't have any storage, but I don't also don't have any. So at one point, I thought I made more storage, but I just used them all very, very rapidly. Now, I need to figure out a way to get up to this thing. There we go. So over here, I'm going to add more of that. Um, another wood workshop. Uh, 
I don't know the I don't know the best way to do this yet. I think we'll I'll do it like that. I don't know that I love that though. There we go. So that should be connected. Um, I need a la the ladder mod and more vertical power shafts. That would be really helpful. Um, yeah, I I as I do stuff like this, it makes me realize just how desperately I need to get into to some of that modding because this is kind of ridiculous. And the factory does grow once more. Bite the bullet. I said I was going to do it this time, and I just I ran out of time to get it implemented. Um, so yeah, for the for the next one, I will. I definitely. I there are two things that I, I I was meaning to do that I didn't do. One of them. Ooh, I almost made a huge mistake and blocked the battery. Um. One of those things that I was going to do that I didn't uh, was actually. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. What's wrong here? What's wrong here? It's not working right. Ah, uh, this is a problem. That's why you always bomb out holes underneath your gravity batteries. I, I, we could do that. We've got plenty of materials. I don't know why this isn't working. Um, not generating enough power. All right. I guess right now that's true. I'm wondering if this is actually connected though. The wind isn't blowing, the water isn't flowing. Oh shoot, you're right. So I'm it's we're suffering by this is part of the reason why we're suffering. Let me lower this down. It's still not gonna move us very fast. Um so I just want to make sure that it's actually connected to this. Yeah, we're getting the maximum HP. This is now part of that complex. You can see that it's a huge power number. So it is connected. Yeah. It's the main reason that you prefer iron teeth engines for the win. And now we can finally do that. Never done iron teeth. Um, yeah, huge bummer. Once this goes up, if it ever will, which I don't think it will because we're, yeah, we're underproducing on power. Oh, that stinks. Let's see. What do we actually need? We don't need any gears. I wonder if I turn these things off, does the amount need to go down? I am still alive. I'm still alive. <laughs> I said I was going to finish all the things and we're close on this. We're 13 treated planks away. And then I started doing things over here and yeah, I shouldn't have done that. But once this is done, we are done with Timberborn for the night. It's 11 p.m. in California. It is 1 a.m. here in Wisconsin. It is super late. <laughs> uh, would closing out the left gates on the Mega Dam not improve the water flow to the right? No. So it doesn't. So even if I close these. Oh, actually, it's better now. Because this is closing up. So we are actually ending up in a slightly better position. Okay. I wonder, what is the flow? I mean, it yeah, it's barely coming out. It looks, it's pretty bad. Um, it's, it's. And it, it, I don't really think it makes a difference whether we have this open or close, closed because it's basically at the level that it's at. Um, the one on the right is too short. Yeah. I mean, ultimately, the problem is we've got a couple of levees down here, um, and we had to add the levees to, to get it to this level. 
So without being able to block it back here, all the water, it's not, it's not a matter of the left fighting the right. It's a matter of the left and the right both fighting the back. A buddy of yours in New York City works for Blizzard and loves that he can uh, keep West Coast hours. Not that he sleeps anyway. Honestly, when I was in Arizona, I realized that maybe I never left uh, the uh, maybe I never left the West Coast time zone. <laughs> You've been a night owl your whole life and love it. Me too. Just reasonably, if I weren't doing this right now, I would still be awake. So it's not it's not as though I'm changing something. I usually go to bed probably between like 1.30 and 2. So this will be a little bit later, most likely, but not, not dramatically. Um, and then even if I were to try to go to bed at like, let's say I were to try to go to bed at midnight, a pretty reasonable hour for most people, um, probably late for many people. I still would not be able to sleep. I would sit there and I'd toss and turn. I, I I hate it. I wish that I could sleep earlier, but I just can't. Ooh, wash in the wind. You're going to start a 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. job as a night owl? And yeah, I'm doing loads because I get, I get trapped in this game. I just never want to stop. <laughs> <laughs> I've I've done kind of a kind of a stupid amount. Um the goal though has been to get to 300 and I do feel like once we have this we can just kind of cruise towards our next little mega colony. DJ John Mary, you aim for 11:30 uh p.m. to midnight. You have to be up for a 7 a.m. school run. Oh. Yeah, so I I get lucky there. Um I put the kids to bed uh, along with my wife and I do after school stuff and my wife does uh, morning stuff. And I don't think I've ever been happier. <laughs> <clears throat> Turn the science back on. Yeah, I guess we got 13 beavers, don't we? Um, might as well. Is that going to impact our power? It will, but it doesn't matter. Okay, now we gotta get this thing connected to power. And then we've we've done it. Everyone, we've done it. So hopefully that this is what I'm unsure about. I, I was mentioning this hours ago. I'm not sure if I if I can connect it on the side. I might need to blast in the front and connect it in the front, but we'll find out. So you got an easy line cook job. You got 15 years of experience. Hooray for underemployment. That's a that's it's a bummer, but I'm I'm glad you you, you got the job. Hopefully you like it. Um, I think there's also something to be said for having a job that you know you can do well. I've I've had a lot of jobs where I felt underprepared uh, day one. It's kind of a that's yeah, not a, not a good spot either. Batch, uh, if you're working in the morning, you aim for two or three at the latest. If you're off, you try to go before five. Uh, five is five is even. That's a mu that's a bit much for me, Batch. I can't do it. Don't your kids like go nuts and wake you up? My kids are early risers, so I just I can't. They won't let me get away with that. Oh, it's a thing of beauty right there. That is a thing of beauty right there. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, I'm going to I'm going to drop a couple of these to hold dirt. Won't hold much, but it'll hold something. Um Well, reasonably, I think we could We could probably be done with this. Um, boy, do I, boy, oh boy, do I want to see this through. All right. You guys are going to choose. Um, what should we do? 
Finnish timber born. No chair. Timber born. No chair. Chair. Leave timber born. So it's all up to you guys. If you say Timberborn, no chair. We won't do the chair simulator. Uh, or if it, we'll just continue and we'll finish this project out. If you want to see the chair simulator, we'll do that now. If you decide not to do the chair simulator tonight, we'll do it in the next one. And we'll start it out with that. <laughs> so either way, you're going to get to see chair simulator. The question is, do you want to see it now or later? Do you want to see this project through or not? So you got a minute right now. Chair simulator is losing. And we are going to finish this and then do a little bit of GeoGuessr. What do I want? Um, self-control. <laughs> I have no self-control. <laughs> and reasonably, the funny thing about this is you guys are voting for uh, the uh, for Timberborn. All we have to do is sit here for a couple more minutes and it's done. So it's 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 probably for the best we will do uh we'll do two rounds of geoguesser and my vod link seems to be broken um on youtube right now well, so it's not it's not a vod right now and the stream that's ongoing i i am still unsure of how to handle uh, the VOD channel. Um, bluntly, so I'm probably gonna leave this listed, and we'll we'll uh, we'll do that for a second. Mostly because I was having a problem with my recordings; they were off. So, uh, the chair sim. Someone mentioned uh, while well, this is going because we got a second. Well. So at the start of the stream, someone mentioned that Chair Simulator is a real game. So we've got Chair Simulator. We picked it up. It's free. You uh, sit in the chair. But if that one's not good enough for you, we also have... um Lively Chair Simulator, where you are the chair. Also free. <laughs> And both had very good reviews. So we've downloaded them. And uh, this is what we will start out with next time. We will uh, simulate being a chair for a while. So it's going to be a good time. <laughs> but for the time being, this is what we're doing. <laughs> Toilet ring. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I, I clearly missed something. Uh... <laughs> um <laughs> I'm going to get yeah, we're going to get some achievements. It's going to be amazing. Uh how am I liking streaming? I I I love it. I it's it's an absolute blast. So I the longer I make YouTube videos, the more I plan the videos and make them really complicated, maybe more than I should. Um, but it's kind of just who I am. And the thing that's nice about streaming is that I, I can't do that. So all of those things that make YouTube videos complicated for me, it's just, it's not there. And I love it. That makes it really fun. Oh. I can't reach that, but I can't. I, how do I get over there? Oh, no. No. Oh. Well, that complicates things. So I don't know how we uh, how we figure that part out. I need a place with a gap. Actually, actually, I see it. I see it. So I'll just do something like this.
this is ridiculous. <laughs> but we've got to do what we've got to do. Um, the roofs are left unfinished. Are they? We created... No, they're good. So we didn't, we didn't add anything up here, but we added the scaffolding to finish these. So... I'll actually get rid of that because that wasn't something that we actually wanted. There we go. We'll figure that out in the next one too, but yeah, we got our roofs done right there. It looks good. <laughs> Nature will not stand in the way. The mega dam will be completed no matter what. Um, the question is, can we close this off before the next issue? And I don't think that we can, uh, which really stinks. Oh, that, that kind of, it kind of kills me actually, because <laughs> we're so close. Uh, I think we also need to get rid of some of this other stuff, um, so that I can move this stair away from there. Or, silly, here we go. Now we can access it. And then I'll add this back in there. Uh, Mal, Malphone, thank you. Uh, Malphone TV, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. That's super generous of you. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Um, yeah, that's super generous. I, I, I really, really appreciate that. Uh, duplicate fan, thank you so much for resubbing. Uh, you've been subbed, prime sub for three months. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Uh, anyone who just got a sub, uh, check out the Discord. There, all my saves and early access to videos is up there too. Oh, the link on Twitch goes to. Okay, I'll fix that. Bomi, thank you so much. I'll, yeah, I'll get that. I, it probably won't be today, <laughs> but. I will do it tomorrow. Uh, CPB, uh, look at those guys go. I know. One day, and now I'm so torn. I don't want them to die. So I'm going to have to stop them. But they're doing such a good job. <laughs> uh,. Washing the wind. You're a better person than me. Have a good night. Thank you so much for uh thank you so much for being here. Appreciate you. Uh yeah, have a good weekend. Oh my goodness. It's so close. I think if we get this, we'll be able to block things off. And once this bad water tide is done, it's gonna be easy. Not at all worried. Uh, but getting through this, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna set the working hours to one, and I'll. I'll uh, zero. I need to get them out of there. They're hungry and thirsty, because they're so far away from the storage. So they 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 need to walk and go and actually drink water and eat food, and they're just too far away. Um. So yeah, I will, I'm going to be adding a brand new village over here and that'll help, but I'm not, I don't, I don't want to do it yet. Uh, great to see that our, our well being's at 19 or it was at 19 or is that, yeah, now it's 17. All right. <gasps> whoops, 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 whoops. Ah, bummer. Well, I could prevent some of this. Um, yeah, not great. Let's see. This one is six days. I'm not overly concerned. It doesn't really matter. It's just we need the beavers to not go back here and work. Um, so I'll get rid of these and then we'll just let's hang out for a couple minutes. There we go. Uh, you're playing some CS2 and a company bomber fuel spawns right next to the crematorium. <laughs> uh, keep the beavers free I probably should what I'm going to do is not pump all the water out of here 
We can pump it out of here though. That's fine. And this one's good too. All right. Yeah, we're we're at this weird equilibrium spot where we now can completely stop the bad water from impacting us, but we don't have enough water to save it. Um, it stinks. What well, the next stream will for sure be Thursday. But if I can manage one on Saturday or Sunday, I'll do it. I'll leave a I'll I'll I will notify on Discord well before well in advance. So yeah. <laughs> PJ, I know. Uh, oh oh oh! I can do that. I can do that easily. Uh, socials. Here we go. There you go. A whole bunch of different links. DJ, you're at work? I guess I am too, yes. But uh, this is like, this is not really work. It's fun. <laughs> uh, ad break. So I will, uh, I, I, I guess I won't do anything. I wasn't doing anything before, so we're fine. Um... Well, I remember, did you buy any Yorkshire tea? I had not been to the grocery store yet, but it's on my radar. Uh, you're heading out? Batch, have a good night. Got some Taco Bell? <laughs> Enjoy and play some Timberborn. Uh, and I, Batch, that reminds me. I want you, if you if you haven't, uh, or I want you, do, do, you have, do you have City Skylines too, Batch? If you do, I want you to give that... Uh, Give the one tile map a try and let me know how you do. All right. Give that. Give it a try. Let me know how it goes. I want to know if you beat me. One hour. You'll try, but it won't, it won't go well for me either. Don't worry. <laughs> I should look over logistics again. I don't know that there's much to... Well, at, at this point, I blocked it off. Papa Ponderosa. Uh, how much cheese? That's the real question. Did you cheese a lot? If you cheesed a lot, then maybe you got you you got a good, good population. If you didn't, probably pretty rough. You haven't played in a while. Yeah, that that'll make it harder. Um, that's the thing. It's, you start to re, you wouldn't want to live in that city. <laughs> it's like, it's probably like Hong Kong, but like with like poo water everywhere. Uh, the logistics of having too many things, especially unprocessed things. Yeah. I, I think that's probably how we'll start the next one. Cause I think that we need to give this all look over. Cause I mean like wheat, for instance, uh, we've got a ton of wheat. We should be turning that into wheat flour and then baking it, but I don't know that we're actually, it's not, it's not working. Something's not right. Uh, for the spatter dock, how are we doing with that? Um, we must be empty. <laughs> Holy cow. I rule. Thank you so much for being here. Have a good night. Sleep well. Uh, there's a little tile in the wheat field that's unplanted. Okay, I, I will do that. I will definitely. Oh, and we finally got our trees. We'll get this fixed for sure. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I, this shouldn't bug me, but I, it does. So I'll. Get rid of that too. There we go. So we'll balance that in the next one because we've got a ton of balance issues. And then let's see, two days left. I'm going to put these back, but I'm going to pause them. 
and we'll see uh i wonder do i need another levy right here i probably do oh no 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 i won't okay so it's just a waiting game right now it's kind of a waiting game um in the meantime i want to thank you all for sticking with me i i this is this might be my longest stream yet five hours and 30 minutes that's like up there i yeah i'm not sure if i've had if i've had one that's longer so thank you all so much we're getting a lot done uh i can fix three uh three tiles you can fix three tiles of no trees by the center reservoir <laughs> you don't get some sleep you've been here since you got home at 3 p.m i appreciate you um Building up endurance for the 24-hour charity stream. I still need to do that, the charity stream. That, the 24-hour. Oh, boy. Maybe. <laughs> I can fix three tiles of no tree plantings by the center of the reservoir. Okay, hold on. Are you talking about... You know what? I will just... Okay, hold on. I'll just get rid of some of this stuff. I don't know if this is what you're talking about. Um, unless you're talking about some of this stuff in here. Just north of the factories, you will find it eventually. So here we are. See that? Left of the uh, left to the grist mills. There's the grist mills to the left. We'll have probably one round of Geo Guesser. We're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it low key. Unless you're talking about these three right here. I don't think we reach those. We reach one of them. So we can plant one. Ah, uh, what is that? Chestnut. um also just past that one emergency brackish water pump looks like a blockage that i could destroy uh oh yeah although if we fill this in we need to build a dam which is no problem but we just need to be aware of that it's definitely something that is doable right now Okay, there we go. Oh, and there. All right, bad water. Uh, I gotta get back over there. Give me one second after this. There we go. Um, yeah, good suggestion. That's very helpful. Now over here, let's see how bad it is. Um, I think I can let most of it out this side now. Honestly, I'll let them. I'll let them both out. Whatever, it's fine. All right. So now this—it's the marathon. We're gonna finish this thing. It's gonna fill up. It's gonna be glorious. I can't wait. Um, hold down shift when you're demolishing, and I want to hit confirm. Okay, hold on. I'm going to try this. I'll try it right here. Oh, Vainglorious. That is awesome. That is awesome. I like that. I'll mark all those too. Works on buildings. That's great. Uh, you know that major four-way junction is in, in the tree grove, southwest quadrant, Southeast quadrant, bottom right corner. Southeast quadrant. Are you talking right here? I can get, oh, I can get a couple more right there. So that's a pine and a birch. Boom, right there. You were, oh, the four way, the four way, the center. So are you talking? Yep. 
You're fine at finding what's your <laughs> That's that that's the joy of having multiple people working on this. Um See, I am definitely not seeing it. <laughs> uh can we get the neighborhood and street names to uh, to identify? Yeah. I is there if there is a mod for that, I would take it. <laughs> that would be so nice. But yeah, I don't know that we have anything. Oh, these are all dead too. I actually want to clear all those out. Uh, and then we'll replant those. Yeah, that's that that stinks right there. Actually, truthfully, <laughs> I rule. Go to bed. Go to bed. <laughs> Oh, I, they would have. Oh, replant dead trees not marked for cutting. Okay. So these are all of our chestnuts. That's why we're not actually getting chestnuts to roast. Oh, yeah. I didn't even think four-way junction of waterways, but oh. We had that closed. So either way, I'm glad you're talking. Got a whole bunch of stuff closed. Okay. So let's see how this is going over here. This is our main priority after all. And. Oh my goodness. What are they? Oh, I hate that. They're walking behind this. Someone will get stuck back there. Oh. Where the scrap metal pile is. West to the path junction. Scrap metal pile. West to that junction. Oh my goodness. We have lumberjacks right here. Oh, this is totally a waste. Um... Potato fields right there, not planted. Potato fields. <laughs> oh, those ones. <laughs> All right. There we go. <laughs> Chart, I got you. I got you. Uh, I'm going to get rid of these, though. Now that I see these, I can't unsee them. And we should be able to grow right there. And I want to plant stuff there. More potatoes or something. <laughs> it's been two streams. <laughs> and it would have been three. It would have been three had you not gotten very, very specific. <laughs> oh, it's so close. I don't know why they're not building the steps. Um... Just build the steps. Just build the steps. Oh my goodness. Just build the steps. Um, what do I think about a rooftop bar being on the a second of the four floors? I like it, but we're not touching that tonight. <laughs> uh, one last try. The farmer does not cover the potatoes in the second level behind the warehouses. Farmer does not cover the potatoes. The farmer does not cover the potato. Oh, right there. Gotcha. Okay. So if we get rid of this and add a staircase right there, it should cover it. DJ, I got you too. <laughs> so I'm sure there are other things just like that that I've been missing. But... I feel like we've done it. We're, get, we're getting our potatoes. <laughs> okay. Uh, D3 Hardison. Hardison, thank you so much for the Prime. Appreciate you. Um, 
of course, we've got so much stuff prioritized at this point that nothing's getting done. And I just, I now I desperately want to see these things through. Um, oh my goodness. Yes, we are embracing our inner. I wish I, I could, I could put a district over here. I call it Idaho. This is basically Idaho. <laughs> <laughs> all right i'm afraid to look back we're getting some of our stairs now finally you call it samwise or duncan you know hey guy bud that's the problem with timberborn one more one more thing just one more one more mega project <laughs> i just need to finish that one extra project and it'll be fine but then you don't <laughs> and then you keep going <laughs> okay so we need to find a way up uh let's see oh finally this is okay you guys were talking about things being satisfying for you i've been waiting for this for so long the ability to add that that's been the thing that's been getting me so i feel relieved now <laughs> which is such a bizarre thing to be to feel relieved about but i feel so good oh wrong. that's not what i wanted to add <laughs> oh finally 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 High priority? Yes, everything will be a high priority. Actually, I want the bottoms to be a high priority. Because with this level closed, I believe that we should be able to increase our flow back here. And I'd love to be able to take this up to like this. Um, and I think that as soon as as soon as that last bottom row is done, we should. <laughs> chart I, I i apparently come up with the best ideas at the same time uh it's probably not true but we can pretend there we go and potatoes 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 oh my goodness you guys that was so helpful i just i'm so much happier <laughs> Uh, make the second level priority two and so on. Not a bad idea. Well, and this is why I don't do it. Because <laughs> I fail at it. There we go. And right there. Sit. Or maybe it's just doing it for me. And there's no way for me to fix it short of just doing that. Okay, there we go. All right, all right, all right. Priority works from the top down. Hmm. Uh, between the forests, you cut down. Okay. Uh, priority uh, also connect that far side to a path. Didn't I? Oh, I didn't. Shoot, that's probably half my problems. Perfect. And I, I wonder if I shouldn't just do this too. At least for the time being. Sometimes, especially when you're this far away, it can cause problems. Um. Yeah, I can see how the floodgate automation mods can improve your game experience too. The micromanaging is fun, but at a certain point when you've spent this much time working on something... Sometimes you just kind of want to see it work. <laughs> How was the tempered uh, plank? We're 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 uh, tapped out there. Probably should have more. This is an ugly spot for it, but it's okay. It's in between the two. It works. Hype train, guys, guys. I am over here in the zone. I'm cooking and there's a hype train going on 
Uh, so thank you so much, uh, uh, Shamazing. Thank you so much for the Prime. Appreciate that. Appreciate that so much. There we go. There we go. All right. Uh, I'm going to also resume some of these other things. We've got... I'm The one thing... We'll need to really think about power again once this thing is done. Because uh, I think that there's a lot of potential here that's wasted. All the way up and down the river. We can blast out now. We can add new uh, new uh, levees and things of that nature. So, yeah. Hey, guy, bud. Thank you so much for the biddies. Appreciate you. Why are there two uh, small windmills? Oh, uh, funny you mentioned that. We were going to replace those, and I just forgot. <laughs> um, yeah. Just forgot about them. There we go. Now there won't be two. <laughs> uh, Magic Merlin, thank you so much for the Prime. All right. Oh, I, I'm wondering. If we didn't have all this water, it'd be so much better. Um, nothing I can do about that, though. We are able to... It looks like we're actually able to... We're starting to fill up more. Or the potential is there. Oh my goodness. Oh, we're almost there. We're almost there. They're tired. I kind of want to make them work all night. It's, it's, I know it's the wrong thing to do, but I am so excited to see this thing done. It's sometimes, and, well, and I also want to see it full. Uh, all I need is water wheels on that bad water stream to the north for unlimited power. Oh, this one up here would be pretty nice. That is a, it's a pretty, it looks pretty nice. It does. This is interesting. You can see how you can easily, I mean, we'll probably cap that reasonably if we, if we get that far. Um, but I think that right here, we're going to add water wheels up and down here, um, and just have a ton of power. I'm not, we're going to blast out right here blast out right here and go all the way up and down it's gonna be really good uh was the potato replanting finished um no <laughs> even though it's a high priority everything is high priority so nothing is and we're not doing anything apparently i know the stairs aren't done yet i don't know why is it possible to build a gravity battery that drops off the edge of the map? Oh, I don't know about that. Might need a third farmhouse. I could see that. I also probably, I had both of these set to priority, uh, to the uh, harvesting. Oh yeah, we'll do that. We'll make that a high priority too. Because <laughs> everything is. <laughs> um... No, 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 no. Okay. Get away from this area, everybody. We're not going to worry at all about that. And can we actually finish this? Can we actually block our bad water tide? You have to be the only person who, who uh, on the planet who marks things low priority instead of high. No, I did that same thing. So I marked this over here as low priority for the longest time. Um, and now, thanks to your guys' help, I marked the hauling post as low priority so that as we have extra workers, we are, uh, we're adding there. So, no, there's... there's you know there's a spot for it but for building i i'm almost always a high priority person <laughs> too far to be reached oh that's irritating oh that's so irritating oh that kills me to check out skystorm on youtube for some impressive mega builds that sounds familiar 
You guys are working 24 hours a day. We're finishing this before the bad water tide. I don't care how you feel. Get thirsty, get tired, I don't care. You're you're gonna build. Keep it going. Uh, I have a bunch of different haulers at different priorities. That's smart. <laughs> this, this is this is my dictator arch. I've gotta do what I gotta do. Oh my goodness. I mean, I I want this stuff done, but ultimately at this point, if they, I think if they get this level, the bad water will be blocked and we can finish building the rest. And that's my main goal. <laughs> City dictator place. <laughs> uh, so Papa Ponderosa. Are you, did you, did you finish? Because if you did, I just, I want to know how it went. You don't have to tell me the number yet. You can leave that in the comments. I'll look for you. Uh, joined kind of late. Did I have a beer? I, yeah, I did. I had two actually. I've been slowly sipping, sipping on the, uh, uh not sipping, <laughs> slowly sipping on a North Coast Brewing Old Rasputin. And earlier I had a Blackhawk, Chief Blackhawk. I rule. Go to bed. I am not responsible for your uh, your degeneracy. It's not my problem. <laughs> Chart, you're supposed to be in bed too, I think. Prison architect. At some, I I think that one could be fun. Your eyes are propped open with toothpicks. <laughs> It's 8 a.m. time to get up. Oh, my goodness. 9 a.m. gain. Uh, it is almost 2 for me. I'm about to get yelled at. I have a feeling my wife's going to bust in here and just go, What are you doing? Go to bed. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Here's what I'm doing. As soon as this is done, this is high priority. We can do this. I'm gonna make them suffer through the bad water, cause I don't care anymore. So if they uh, if they uh, can't seem to figure it out, they're gonna deal with it. <laughs> She'll just flip the breaker. <laughs> Jokes on her. I have backup in here. I've got if uh, if uh, if every everything were to go and hit the fan, I got 15 minutes. <laughs> so I think we're finishing this either way. Geoguesser, that might be harder. <laughs> All right. Let's see. It's not a lot of bad water. It's just a little bit of bad water. So if they can get there fast enough, we should be fine. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I could survive the, uh, the apocalypse of this dream. 15 minutes with uh, that. Yeah, no. <laughs> I, 15 minutes. 15 minutes on my on my Mac. So I don't know how this would do. <laughs> so some of it's done. And look at that. Look at that. That's a, that's a thing of beauty right there. The poo flowing, trying its best. Unable to contaminate the entire community. And I'm, I'm, we're going to fill this thing up too. So, e oh, whoa, whoa. I forgot about that one. I forgot about that one. Shoot. Oh, no. Oh. Well, there's a twist. Um, whoops. That's what happens when you get a little bit too cocky. You think things are going well. And then you overrun the entire city in little literal crap. Here we are. <laughs> um, 
I don't know what to say. I don't I don't know what to say. I I I was so good all night and then I got fixated on this project. And, and here's the thing. Great project. However, I don't know if it was worth it. Um this one is five and a half more days. So we're definitely gonna have some sick beavers. We're definitely, I mean, this is working right now. You see it. The the poo water's coming out. It's rapidly running straight towards the edge of the map. It's perfect. But I totally forgot about this one. <laughs> yeah, Supreme Planner never makes mistakes. This was uh this was always what was supposed to happen. I wanted to, to make some of you get sick. <laughs> so that's what's going on. Kodiak the Kodiak died of old age. Better that than the than the Punami. Is it poo flavored water or water flavored poo? I mean, at the end of the day, does it really matter? The funny thing is, we haven't had any contaminated beavers yet, but it's just a matter of time. I don't know what's going on. But this this poo is, is flying fast. So I could stop it. I just feel like there's no point at this point. Um... How many are unwell? Are we able to see that? So is this unwell? Too much time, but it will get sick in a few days. Okay. Um, all of the beavers, so many beavers. Um, we're gonna have some problems. Yeah, it's gonna be bad. Put a hole in the path. Cut back the workout. Oh, yeah. We're, we're still rocking at 24 hours. <laughs> I suppose I could just do this, too. Okay. This would have been the smart way of dealing with it. We didn't do that. We didn't do this. This makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> we still have a path for the bad water, our old one. I just forgot about it. Oh, yeah, we've got meds. We're good. Well, we got 40 meds. Probably not enough. I'm going to I'm going to build some storage. Is that I want to say that's this. Uh, yeah, right there. Forty meds only cures four beavers. Oh shoot! Uh, that's bad. <laughs> okay. Well, now we've got a lot, theoretically. Okay. Well, we're still contaminating all the beavers. But it's it's a little bit less. We got five that are sick now. Um, we're gonna have some problems. Yeah, we don't have enough beds. You don't need beds. Aha. Could I high prioritize the herbalist? I don't think we. Oh, well, actually, we should. There we go. American living in the Netherlands. I am wicked sick, and seeing that you're still alive has made my money. <laughs> That's the one. Yeah, I've I've uh, been live for a long time now. <laughs> we are. Let's see. Ooh. Uh, ten seconds till it's been six hours. Um, we're going because we're not we're not done until this is done. Uh, builder beavers like that are trekking through bad water. Need to cut that path. I know, I know, I know. All right. I just really wanted it done. <laughs> it, I know it wasn't. It wasn't smart. Uh, yes, you finished. Uh, finished the hour. You got about two thousand four. Uh, two thousand four hundred. I think I can do much better. Whoa, that's impressive. Heading to bed now. Have a good night. Have a good night. That is impressive. 
Um, wow. Wow. Uh, go until I hear birds chirping. Dear God, no. <laughs> We're not doing that. <laughs> um, so two minutes. Or two two days. We're gonna we're gonna finish it up. Uh, first go in Smallville, only nine hundred. So apparently, Poplar Ponderosa has figured out the cheat code. I think I know what it is. Contaminated don't work. So yeah, I yeah. Lemon Floaty, thank you for following. Appreciate you. Um, shoot, that stinks. So we got 18 contaminated and one, two, three more on the way. Well, hopefully, hopefully they get better soon. <laughs> yes, it literally stinks. This is, this has not been good. Uh, thankfully, we're at a point now where we don't have to worry about food or water. It's just kind of all happening in the background. We could definitely balance things and make it better, but we're producing so much and have so much in storage. It doesn't matter anymore. But the rest of this really stinks. <laughs> each beaver has their own little well-being meter and adds another tick or two with each exposure. You could be wrong. No, you're right. Uh, I've got my face cam over the notification area. Oh, I don't know that I can fix that <laughs> in any in any serious way. Um, right now, it's just saying beaver's unwell. Beaver is contaminated. Yeah. I did not mention that beaver, uh, that uh, Timberborn is 20% off right now. But definitely, if you want to check it out, this is the cheapest time it's it's been for a while. And I am missing. I well, I can see it. You guys can't. <laughs> um. All right, one day, we're almost there. We're almost there. How long does it take for a beaver to to heal from bad water contamination? It must be pretty quick. It's eight a.m. UK time. Go to bed. I. Tintin, I know, but I'm a, I'm a man of my word. And when I said, we're going to see this project through, I said, we're going to see this project through. <laughs> now, what I didn't imagine is that it would take this long. Oh, they need 10 antidotes. And then as soon as they get them, they're good. Okay. You know what? As, as great as Tenacious Biscuit is at this... I bet you that they could use some help. <laughs> I could benefit from the info. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Just like Civ, I, I, I need to use my one more turn. I, I need to wear my one more turn shirt next time. Um, Did I notice the barrels that have bad water in them? I, yeah, I, I'm filling these ones up. So I have these from up here. But I've got this off because we've got so much bad water, I don't know what to do with it. Um, okay, bad water's done. Let's empty out. And we'll get it going again. All right, game time. Time to actually finish. This is your priority. Let's do this. This is going to be it. Uh, 24 to 48 hours to heal it provided with antidote or beds. Okay. Well, we've got our antidotes now. Um, oh, we're out of we're out of uh, dandelions. Oh, and that's not going to help. <laughs> uh, let's see. There we go. Of course, I'm blocking all of the fresh water coming in. That all we have is stagnant bad water. Um, hey, CPP, finally catching you live. Yubaka, thank you so much. It is very late for me. <laughs> so that's if you're in Europe, that's probably why, because I should be in bed. 
but I appreciate you being here. Uh, anymore, I do control early, so it's not even a thing to worry about, okay? Do you think it's possible that the cure for bad water uses bad water that gets refined somewhere in the process? Maybe that's some of the advanced stuff that we don't have access to just yet. Uh, let's see. I've got to open up some of this other stuff to clear out, too. Oh, it's a thing of beauty. It is a thing of beauty to see the fresh water come in and clean everything out. There we go. There we go. All right. Last few rows up here. And then we're going to fill this thing up. Yes. Back. Oh, back to the potatoes. I. <laughs> At first, I thought you said back to the process. We're good. We've got to fix this. I don't know. Oh, too far from a district. Really? That is frustrating. Oh. Oh, that's going to bug me. Okay. It's fine. We will we will take care of this. I can't I can't leave it. So that's good. So we've got this resolved. We're planting. We've got our extra Oh, not enough workers. Oh, because of all of our sick workers. Um that's a bummer. All right, there we go. There we go. Um, missed the beginning. <laughs> uh, we did not get mods yet, no. So still the same ones. I had a birch. So, yes, I know what you're talking about. I know exactly what you're talking about. Oh, and I'm lost. Let me see. Um... You were talking about this. But I can't reach that. So that's why it is. Oh, 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 never mind. There we go. There's one spot. <laughs> um, Yeah, just the supporter names. That's that's what we have in here. It's why uh, Richard Stockton died of old, old age. Along with Tim McCabe. And uh, Sager. Just grown up. Awesome. It left many hours ago. <laughs> uh, Chart is getting hired as my chief potato officer. I mean, that's fair. Uh, Chart's been very helpful. To the left, uh, in the potatoes, to the left of it. Hold on, hold on. Um... right here or am I finding ones that you didn't find again <laughs> oh that one's not even possible I don't see it I don't see it I found it it's unreachable yeah uh, for this one I wonder if I could just nothing I can't do anything Oh, we'll just, we'll like we'll like we'll ignore that. Oh, put some dirt there. Actually, I love that idea. <laughs> that is perfect. Um, let's see how we're doing over here. Oh, so much progress, but so little progress, too. It feels like they're really going slow. And all of our be beavers are are healthy again. Um, oh, we're not starting any new projects. <laughs> we have built some projects tonight. Our problem now is everyone's dying. It's been so long.
It's important to have a healthy beaver. Yes. <laughs> and we're almost there. Four sad beavers, but mostly happy at this point. <laughs> DJ, you're trying to get me in trouble. I'm going to read something like that off and it's going to be clipped immediately. <laughs> I know, Chart. It's time for another gigantic Hoover Dam. Just, just a quick one. <laughs> this, this, I, I really. So when I put that poll up, I thought it was gonna. It was like five minutes away. Um. I, I don't know why more. Where are they going in? I don't know. Wait, 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 wait. Injured. Yeah, I don't know where they're... I mean, there shouldn't be any bad water anywhere at this point. Um, so no clue where they'd be walking through. Doesn't make any sense to me. Hello, Serb. Sarb. Sarb. Uh, should build a log storage close to the building side and put obtain. It will be much faster. So you're saying if obtain wood. Okay. There's some light bad water in the middle. Is there? Oh, you mean right here? Is it? It seems like it's okay. No, not there. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see it. My terrain is probably ready. You were right. It is ready. And that means potatoes. There we go. I dig it. I can't believe that this still okay, it's not I thought it was high priority. Um I wanna see these gone. <laughs> How's the dirt storage? Not good. We've got these two. That's it. Um, probably could use more. I'm going to go with some more small ones just because we don't have a lot of space over here. We'll do something more comprehensive with that soon. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Not overly concerned. Um, hey, man, love the YouTube videos. Also consider some quick and cheap well-being improvements. So that your beavers live longer and work faster. Absolutely. I think the next one, that's what we are going to do. Down to six, five. I think at this point, it's all about not having enough dandelions. How long since just another minute? Um, at least 15. <laughs> at least 15. And now they're just brutally slow <laughs> okay you know what high priority everything those are all a high priority to me now we'll see if that if that gets them going uh we've also got a lot of vaccines is that what the, is that what the, or vacancies a lot of vacancies okay a lot of vaccines <laughs> um what could I back beavers off from? Science. I don't know that there's much else. I mean, it's all really haulers and stuff. 24 hours a day. Should we do it? I feel like they're, they're working hard now. Oh, I should at least have 16. That's part of it. You know what? 
You're right. We're doing it. And how many treated planks? It's not. It's still not enough. I want more than 86. Um. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. Uh, it has been a. It has been a long time. We might. Uh, GeoGuessr might might go. <laughs> at this point, might be the first time we don't do it because I am exhausted. I feel it now. <laughs> uh it's de it's detrimental for build speed okay we'll go 16. i will let them go oh no we'll do one round of geoguesser just one should we do another damn <laughs> you want to do south america again you you like pain <laughs> oh my goodness it's so close at this point i feel it i feel it Sloth Speed Creations, thank you so much for the Prime. Appreciate you. Australia. I'd be down for Australia. I feel like I don't know where anything is in Australia, but I'm down for it. Martin on YouTube, thanks for being here. And yes, uh, Thomas on YouTube. I, I only have one district. <laughs> We have one inefficient district where all the beavers are traveling forever to get all the way over there to build a gigantic reservoir. And I'm about to raise this up and start locking the water back. Time. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no. Wait, wait. Okay, actually, it, it, it will still work. So we're blocking that one over here. Um, so this is going to have to do 100% of the filling. Um, use 24-hour shifts, and that didn't include the travel time. Oh, interesting. It's filling up. It's filling up, guys. This will get contaminated with all the bad tides, but that's okay. We'll clear it out. It'll be just fine. Uh, what's the plank storage production? We are just filled up on everything, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah. Tons of planks. We've got, we built this little factory complex right here where we've got just a ton of planks, gears, uh, treated planks. Got uh, we got a centrifuge right here, science, but that's turned off. It's it's kind of wild. It needs more power. Um, yeah, I think we're we're pretty far down there. Underground storage is a, is definitely a, pr a priority in the next one. And water wheels. That's so that's that's. I want to basically blast out this whole row right here, add three, and go all the way down. Last the channel route to all the yeah to all the small freshwater sources when bad tide starts you don't have to contaminate the reservoir yes that's a great idea I also want to put the water underneath the roads right where it belongs <laughs> we're gonna and actually that's the thing I should be doing right now is, this, is where do we store explosives um I want to begin to store a bunch of explosives uh and then let's see for our centrifuge we've got a whole bunch of uh, we're storing a bunch right there of the extract so we're good there i'm gonna set that and forget that i do not play dwarf fortress although i've heard tonight that i should uh did i see biffa build a battery tower yes it's very impressive. <laughs> uh, no diminishing returns from water wheels. I think so. But if we channelize it really well, it should be okay. And I feel like we're at, this, we're at the point now where we can really master the terrain and do whatever we want. I mean, just look at what we have right here. I mean, this is, at, I mean, this is pretty wild. This is a lot of water that we're storing. And we're going to be able to, 
to, to take all of that and use it for power. My log pile in the reservoir is now flooded. Oh, yeah, that's right. That can go away. Oh, so close. So close. Oh, my goodness. A uh, flywheel mod is better than the power tower using gravity batteries. <laughs> One big pool. Exactly. Now, I don't know if they can clear all of this while they are uh, underwater. But I'll add that sort of thing. We're not obviously not going to get to that tonight. <laughs> uh, chart, I could be. <laughs> but that would require me to think. I can just path out the dead bushes. Oh, that's a good point. I always forget about that. That is... There we go. Much better. Uh, and we, we're getting our next level. There we go. Oh, it's beautiful. The drought's approaching. I don't care. <laughs> Uh, and we should finally, once this, uh, once this is done, it'll flow out the top here and we'll be able to lower this as much as we need to through any drought. No problem. Now, this is a city builder. It is a beaver city builder. So if you've ever wondered what that would be like, Timberborn answers the question. <laughs> um... Yeah, the path trick is... I, I, I guess I hadn't realized it either. You guys are going for this first? I guess I'll take it, but... Um, not a huge priority. Um, city builder with supply chains and survival mechanics. Yes, don't forget the gates up. I am honestly not overly concerned right now. I probably should be. <laughs> I'll lower it down to two. I want to see this thing get filled. So I'm I'm probably being being foolish, but I'm just so excited. <laughs> <laughs> See this thing. And the drought's not going to get me. It is really nice that you can go anywhere. I like huge quality of life improvement. As a Canadian, you often wonder what uh, would have happened if you let the beavers thrive. I suppose this game would answer that. It would. <laughs> they would create a better world than we could. With many more dams. All right, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring this up to two and a half again. This, this has got to be done. You're going 24 hours a day until this is done, guys. I'm sorry. High priority. Everything else is normal priority. I think at one point I had this to a higher priority than it should have been, and I'll give them that path. Um, they would have definitely damned the whole Great Lakes. <laughs> I think you're right there. <laughs> they definitely wouldn't have added a canal. All right. Look at this. Three. Oh, my goodness. Three more. Three more. It feels like they're messing with me at this point. We're so close. Uh, I can live with that priority in this game. Uh, it was everything at the highest. 
I, I don't have everything at the highest, but almost everything. <laughs> They died. That's amazing. Okay. We will plant this too. Not that it matters. Everything is dead. Also, not that that matters. Beavers taste good? That is, uh, that is something that I would have heard in my hometown. <laughs> good night for real this time. Good night for real. It's got to be super late by you right now, is it? 3.30? 4.30? Go to bed. Thirsty beaver swimming through uh, Beaver Lake Mead. Yes. One last block. One last block. Uh, is there a way to block off the spring that is currently filling the area so I could redirect it in such a way as to protect the lake when the bad waters come? Um, yes. Yeah, kind of. Yes. I think if, if we added something right here, we could. Wow, really? Really? We let the drought happen before we filled this thing up. Gates. Yes. I'm going to probably lower this so we have a flow of water, but I don't want it to go in the wrong direction. So, yeah. I should profile my next dam project so we have something to anticipate. Uh... I, the next project is going to be a city right here. Um, the next project is we need to get the 300. We need to get the 300. Uh, that's the big thing. Um, so I said that my goal was always to have the biggest city I've ever had. I got the 200 before. So 300, that is the next dream. And beautification. There we go. Oh my goodness, guys. And we can now lower this. And we can survive the longest drought. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Love that so much. <laughs> yeah, I should let them sleep. But now there's so much farming to do. <laughs> And that's good. I like this. I like this a lot. That worked out really well. Thank you for sticking with me, everybody. Uh, no earthquakes. <laughs> oh, my goodness, if there was. Terrible. Okay. I will I will fix this. We'll take it back to 16 hours. I'm going to save. Oh, my goodness. So, points. We. I'm, I'm wondering. We were on, at the start of this... Cycle 12, day 13. Now we're on cycle 22, day 17. We've played a little ways. <laughs> okay. I've got I've got one round of GeoGuessr in me. One. And then I'm sleeping hard. I'm going to pass on so hard. So let's do this. Uh, party. And YouTube. I'm going to paste it over here first. And I'm going to give YouTube 15 seconds. Spook, good to see you. All right. And... Should we just do a world? I'm almost thinking we should just do a world. What do you guys think? I want to see it in the comments. If you guys... You can see the... Well, yeah, that's fine. You can see the code. If you can get in, then I say go for it. <laughs> world is good. Yeah, we'll just do a normal world. We'll see how, we'll see how it goes. And let's see. How many people are still here? It's been so long. <laughs> We got 400 on YouTube and 266 on Twitch, which I think is better than the start of the stream, which is kind of wild. Um, let's see. I'm a little tired. 
There we go. Updated. Oh, it switched back to Timberborn. It's not. It's not. I'm trying to update the stream on uh, Twitch, and it's not having it. All right. Now we're good. Uh, we need to get to at least 50. We've got plenty of people to get to 50. But I think I'll paste it like two more times. Yes, you and Europe are waking up, and in the in the U.S., we are asleep, <laughs> or should be. <laughs> no damn levels. <laughs> Maybe next time. <laughs> we get to fifty. I'm put. I'm. I'm. I'm pushing play, and we're gonna go. So the four of you, let's do it. Let's do it. Is there a dams of the world? Uh, I, I, let me see. Oh, there is. There is. But we're going to do world. Because <laughs> I'm boring tonight. <laughs> I'm boring right now. And we're going to power through this. And I'm going to finish in the top 10. Um, let's see. Looks like Florida. <laughs> Vic, you're still with me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Where, uh, uh, Miami? Uh, go for it next time. Now, next time we'll do it. Next time I will take on, oh, it's only midnight. That's yes, right. That's yes, right. You are on the you're on the West Coast, uh, so the time is much more rational. I nothing makes sense right now. <laughs> so I'm gonna say that we're in Miami, unless I can find something that tells me that we're not. <laughs> you're simply proud for knowing it's the U.S. It is it is super obviously the US. The the architecture makes me think Miami. Um things I have no idea where. Whatever. We're going to I'm just going to South Miami. Oh my goodness. Four and a half miles. You guys, I am, I am, oh, 14th. <laughs> Banglorious Gaming, number one. Nice work. Nice work. Wow. Diana, second place. You're still here too. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Southeast Asia. Um. It, you cheated it's where you're from <laughs> so you're literally going down streets that you've seen yeah gotta love the forest so we gotta find a place that has no paved roads outside of a city there's a so we're not in a city but there's a lot of people wait wait, wait what did that say kasuna Are we in a city or like the suburbs of a city, the Philippines, Cambodia? I would believe either, but I feel like this will tell me COVID-19. Oh, and a sign department of education. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Malabay city. 100% the Philippines. Okay. So I got to find this city. I can find that city. <gasps> Here we are. Here we are. I'm going to say it's the outskirts. Five seconds. I'll take it. That's close enough for me. <laughs> Five and a half miles. Second place. Oh, ho, ho. DJ. It's you and me. It's you and me. It's you and me. And I'm gonna I'm gonna take it. This first place, that's the goal now. 
We okay. Maybe I shouldn't be so excited. I feel a lot less less excited now. We are in South America again, and that is the great decider. <laughs> Brazil. Oh no no no. Um. I got this game in the bag. I do not. <laughs> we are in a Spanish speaking country somewhere. Uh, Mexican food. Is this Mexico City? Or is it just some other Spanish speaking country that happens to have Mexican food? Chile or Peru? Ugh. I need a domain. If I can see a domain somewhere. Fairway 9. Oh. Dollars? Dollars are... That's... I would assume... Oh, I have no idea. Santiago. Oh. That was it was in Mexico. Oh, 59 points. That'll take me a little ways down, all the way down to 25th. DJ, nice work. Mexico City. I saw Mexican food. I should have guessed Mexico City. <laughs> uh, yeah, very cool looking place. Welcome to the 20s with you. It's a, it's a good place to be. Ooh, we're in Finland. Santiago is not anywhere close. <laughs> I feel like we've been here before. Are we in France? A Mexican restaurant in Mexico? I just, I wouldn't assume that they would call it a Mexican restaurant in Mexico. Oh. Library. Is this... Oh. Rue. Uh, it, it might be France. So, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that this is France. We have American restaurants, but we don't we don't really call it American restaurants. I think it's like Brew Hub or something like that. Um, like if I go to like a burger joint, I don't like, oh, it's an American restaurant. We do. Uh, highlight of your week catching Phil live and getting to watch your partner talk to Phil playing a game of GeoGuessr. Appreciate that. Um, oh, gosh. Outside of Paris, because that's what you do. It's going to be in the south of France. Oh, not too far. All right, 27 miles. 25th still. Final round. DJ, excellent work. I can't. And, oh, my chair is beating me. Oh, now I feel, now I feel, I feel bad. Is this, what is going on? Well, this is definitely England. What does this sign say? Uh, not able to read it. My chair cheats. It can hear everything I say. That's true. That's true. No parking on verges, grass or wildflower, conservation areas. Oh, I know where we are. I think we're in the land where you get established titles uh, land. I think that must be what it is. Their conservation area. <laughs> Um, oh, geez, I'm looking at the ground again. Public right away. I, mean, I don't know how you figure out where you are now. Church, cottages, private road. It's definitely the UK. Got that part. <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm in a place where I shouldn't be. 
and like the person who was doing this realized that they shouldn't be there, but they're already there, so they might as well catalog it. Um, right there. Farforth. You know what? I said establish titles land, which is Scotland. That's not Scotland. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, 27th. I will take it. And DJ Zigster, nice work. Good game. Uh, D. Collarwell, excellent work. Good game, everybody. Good game. 14th place, Van Vanglorious. Excellent work. DJ John Mary, 39th. Did you at least get the last one? You didn't cheat? <laughs> you know, Zigster, whenever someone says, I didn't cheat, I am immediately suspicious. <laughs> so, uh... You didn't cheat, and I'm going to believe you. Okay. We are going to say goodbye to YouTube, and we are going to find someone to raid, and then I am going to go to bed. So uh, if we could give YouTube a big heart all up and down the chat, I'd appreciate that. We'll say goodbye to YouTube. Thank you all so much for being here. It uh, looks like on YouTube, they knew where we were. They knew. So I'm going to also give YouTube some hearts, or we'll give, it, we'll give them this. I'll give it right in their chat. And Chart, you're on YouTube saying bye, YouTube. <laughs> so hold on, hold on, hold on. We got to end this right. Uh, here we go. Bye, YouTube. Thank you so much for being here. Longest stream ever. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. And uh, we got hearts on YouTube, too. So thank you so much. Can't wait to see you next time. Take care. And bye-bye, YouTube. And...